Resident Evil 4 Remake is a phenomenal game. Its faithfulness recaptures the magic of an original masterpiece all these years later, and its ambition innovates the game to go beyond what even the original could achieve in some areas. But there's a certain aspect of the game's design that I feel like is under-discussed, and that is its propensity to attract speedrunners. Resident Evil 4 Remake is the perfect storm for speedrunners. Its tight combat, fast-paced action, and heavy focus on routing of limited resources makes every move, shot, and detour an important aspect of the game's completion time. That, combined with its approachable glitches that skip long, dragging parts of the game almost exclusively, and even some built-in skips that don't require glitches at all, make it exactly what the speedrunning community needed to be an iconic speedrun for years to come. And with Capcom's repeated insistence on rewarding the player for fast completion of the series of games with in-game rewards and even achievements, it's no wonder that the Resident Evil speedrunning community has become a cultural phenomenon in gaming. Resident Evil 4 Remake in particular being the perfect storm of legacy, new blood, pacing, mechanics, and now community involvement. The early days of a speedrunner are always exciting. Tons of new discoveries, world first achievements, innovation, and of course, competition. While most of the world is racing their hardest to achieve an S-plus ranking, speedrunners are racing their hardest to break what may be the game's last hour barrier. Speedrunners are racing to beat Resident Evil 4 Remake in under two hours. The new game professional category in the original Resident Evil 4 is one of the most competitive and highly contested speedruns in all of Resident Evil. Its lack of difficulty adjustment and overall consistency make it the best choice for any speedrunner looking to push the game to the limit. Since the launch of Resident Evil 4 Remake, it was obvious that New Game Professional would be a popular category. While not as consistent as the original, or as perfect for speedrunning, it creates a challenge made of pure adaptation to the random elements that captivates the viewer and challenges the speedrunner. With how long the game is casually, one would think that the speedrun would be rather long, especially on Pro. But thanks to the collaborative efforts of the speedrunning community and a little financial incentive, the highest level speedrunners are on the precipice of achieving a new game pro speedrun that is under two hours long. Not only would being the first to achieve this goal solidify a speedrunner in the history books of Resident Evil 4 Remake, but it could also win them a lot of money. This is where I come into play. I am hosting an open qualifier speedrunning tournament for Resident Evil 4 Remake on the new game pro difficulty. The format is pretty simple. The event has an open qualifier that opened on March 30th and closes on April 13th. The top eight contestants at the end of the qualifier will be invited to a live event hosted on twitch.tv forward slash waifu, where they'll then compete in a two round head to head speedrun competition. All runners will run at once and completion time will determine placement. After the first round, the bottom four will be dropped and the top four will go on and do another run to decide final placements. The winner will receive a split of the prize pool starting at $5,000. The prize pool is open to contributions on the Match Arena page and will be open until the conclusion of the live event. While the game is highly anticipated as Resident Evil 4 Remake, especially within the speedrunning community, it was undoubtedly going to be highly competitive. But with how much money is on the line in this tournament, the competition is starting to get insane. This video seeks to recap the qualifying event and to tell the story of the route's development the times achieved, and the placements lost. There can only be eight that move on to the main event, but with all these big faces competing, it could be nearly anyone in that top eight. For the most basic breakdown, Resident Evil 4 Remake has 16 chapters and is roughly about 16 hours long casually. That's an average of an hour per chapter. The category in play here is New Game Professional Any% percent. that means runners are not allowed to use anything that gives them additional advantages that you wouldn't have on a first playthrough normally. That means no Armor Ashley, no DLC weapons, or DLC treasure map. No bonus weapons, and no charms. Any percent means any percentage of the game needs to be completed. So any strategies are allowed, including glitches. The professional difficulty is the hardest difficulty in the game, increasing enemy health and poise, giving them more aggressive enemy AI, and increasing the scarcity of resources. Not to mention making some items in the merchant shop much more expensive. To top it off, there are no auto saves and you can only perform perfectly timed parries. Almost immediately, glitches were found. In addition to tons of small intended skips like using the rocket launcher on the boulder or the wrecking ball room, the sniper rifle was found to be the most powerful weapon in the game. Not for its shooting though. By equipping the scope to the weapon, you could then displace Leon's hitbox by aiming and looking down. This could push the hitbox inside of walls. 
From there, you could do a variety of different functions, primarily clipping through doors. This would immediately skip two key sections. In chapter 14, there is a large regenerator section followed by the wrecking ball room. You can clip right through the double door and skip nearly the whole chapter. In chapter 7, there is an introduction to the Garador enemy with a large detour. This was also skipped with a door clip. Both of these tricks were discovered before even the earliest birds would have attempted their first speedruns, so there would be no runs routed with these sections done normally. The earliest pioneers would be two usual suspects, Distortion 2 and Spicy TV. Dist is a full-time streamer and god gamer. His reputation precedes him. But if somehow you don't know of his escapades, let me give you a brief crash course. A Dark Souls speedrunning veteran turned full-time variety speedrunner. Distortion 2 is known for jumping from game to game quickly, especially on brand new releases. Speedrunning them into the ground, dominating the hardest difficulty categories, and then moving on. He has had world records in Resident Evil 2 Remake, Resident Evil 3 Remake, Village, Dark Souls Remastered, Elden Ring, and many more. He also was the undisputed winner of the Resident Evil Village speedrunning tournament I hosted back in 2021, achieving a new world record in the first round, then missing that new world record by only 10 seconds in round 2. It's no surprise he would be one of the frontrunners in an event like this. His ability to break down a new game and create routes that will stand the test of time in a very short time frame, then grinding it down to perfection is nearly unrivaled. I say nearly unrivaled because there is one person who can rival him in such endeavors, and that's his friend and fellow god gamer, Spicy TV. Spicy is no stranger to running new games on high pressure competition, achieving fourth place in the Moist Critical Amok Runner speedrunning competition, having world record in many Resident Evil Village categories, placing sixth in Moist Critical's second speedrunning tournament with Exodus of the Earth, getting third place in Dead Space Remake, second place in Dead Space 2, and many more. These two are people that I would be shocked to not see in the finals. It's probably no surprise either that they were the first two doing runs and riding the professional difficulty. By the time the event had been announced, Distortion 2 had already started routing and finished his first practice run. A 4 hour and 15 minute time with a ton of time spent labbing and trying new strategies and making saves. For the time being, until the announcement of the tournament proper, not many people had approached the pro category. But Dist was on a mission. Spicy shortly after would join the fun. Approximately 12 hours before the tournament's announcement, he would get a 258 segmented. I'm going to elaborate on that a bit more. Normal speedruns are done what is called in a single segment format. This means they're done in one go. Resident Evil 4 Remake's in-game timer is nearly perfect. It stops on cutscenes and load screens. It never reverts on death or even when loading a save that you're currently playing on. This makes it the best timer to use when speedrunning way better than most other Resident Evil games IGT. There's one flaw though, and that's if you go to the main menu when you load a save, whatever time was spent between your last save and loading that save would be removed. So let's say you play for 3 minutes, then die and have to load a save. If you load from in-game, it'll add those 3 minutes from your last save to the timer when you load it. But if you go to the main menu, it will not. Essentially removing 3 minutes from your playtime by going to the main menu. This is essentially what a segmented run is. You're removing that three minute segment from the run, creating a run in multiple different segments. This is useful to figure out what your best possible time is, or in this instance, to estimate how the run would be in length, if it was done well. It was common for many runners in the early stages of this event to do segmented runs to figure out what their placements and time would be, but qualifying runs were needed to be done in a single segment. You could die, but you were never allowed to go to the main menu when loading a save. Even the earliest routes that Distortion 2 was doing used the egg on Bach Island for the Salazar boss fight. By making a small 20 second detour after the Delago boss fight, you can grab a golden egg on what is colloquially known as Bach Basoup Island, named after Bach Basoup himself. Someone you'll hear more about later. This golden egg actually is the perfect weapon to use against this late game boss, as it does 70% of his total health in one hit and stuns him leaving him open for a one cycle kill even on the professional difficulty. That only left a few boss fights to be sorted out. Even with the $160,000 requirement for rocket launchers on professional, it was evident that it would be worth any amount of treasure crafting to get a rocket to fight Verdugo with. Just like the original, the boss has an insane amount of HP, making killing him with that one essentially impossible, at least for a speedrun. The alternative being waiting around for four and a half minutes for the elevator to arrive. Three do go.
The final boss instantly dies to a rocket as well. And the final phase is essentially an auto scroller where you have to wait out for the special rocket. It can be sped up, but worst case scenario, you can wait it out for minimal time loss. So worst case scenario, you sell all of your weapons to afford the rocket launcher for Saddler, then you just wait out the second phase. That just leaves Krauser, Delago, Gigante, Double Gigante, and Mendez for proper boss fights. From the start, Dist would buy the bolt action rifle and rush its power and capacity upgrades, using it to absolutely destroy El Gigante with the help of a grenade. From there, he would route in the Riot Gun and TMP for the Mendez boss fight, where he would punish his eye with the TMP to end the first phase really quickly. The problem was money. It was a super tight money route that involved going to many out of the way areas to collect treasures to sell so he could afford this loadout. Even so, he would have to sell the TMP and rifle in order to upgrade the Stingray and Broken Butterfly when reaching the castle, making him absolutely broke once again. Later on, he would also sell the Broken Butterfly to be able to afford the Killer 7, that was then used to fight Krauser to great effect. But before he could even finish his practice run, a huge new discovery was found. It had been known for a while that you could displace your hitbox inside of a wall with the sniper scope, then hit a checkpoint trigger. Doing so would save your exact location, allowing you to clip through to a wall when you reload the checkpoint. Pro, unfortunately, doesn't have checkpoints, so it was skips like this that wouldn't be possible on that difficult. Hazeblade, another prominent Resident Evil speedrunner, on the other hand, proved this to not be true. It turns out that you can actually apply the same logic of checkpoint out of bounds with save stations. By clipping into the wall with the scope, then flicking to a save station nearby, you can quickly save and save your location inside the wall. Reloading that save then loads you inside the wall. By doing this twice, you can skip the Mendez boss fight on Professional. This alleviated a ton of the money route concerns within Distortion's route, while simultaneously making that boss fight a lot easier. Even with this solid early game route and even the discovery of a full skip for Mendez boss fight, the run had an insane amount of run killers. The very first one being only two minutes into the run with the bingo encounter. This section can be waited out or completed instantly by killing 15 enemies. Unfortunately, it seems the grenades in this game are super nerfed and can kill anywhere from one to 10 enemies at once, depending on the enemy grouping. But this is essentially completely random. The strategy basically involved going to the right side of the village early, stealth killing a lady, then drawing aggro by killing a villager from the back side of the house with a pistol. Then you jump inside to grab a grenade and kill as many villagers with it as possible. Then you run across the village and into the shotgun house. Grab the grenade and shotgun, then throw a grenade from the roof and hope you get to 15 kills. If not, you clean up with the shotgun. This strat is the best by far, and it's way more consistent than anything else. It was even the meta-defining strategy in the demo, but even so, it has a relatively high failure rate. Sometimes you'll get to the end of the second nade with less than 12 kills requiring you to dump out most of your shotgun ammo in this section, potentially screwing you in future sections when you reach other run killers like Canyon. Canyon is essentially a big RNG fiesta. Everyone approaches this room in completely different ways to this day. It's still mostly up to player preference, but at any point the dynamite guys can instantly kill you from practically uncounterable positions. At the start of runs, Cabin was an unknown entity. People weren't really sure how it worked. In the original, you just had to kill 40 enemies for it to end. But it was immediately apparent that this was much more nuanced in the remake. It was really easy to get overwhelmed in the cabin, and Utters would instantly kill you on Professional if he hits you. This is one of the scariest parts of the game, because the nearest save station is quite far away, and if you die you have to restart the whole cabin. It is a ginormous time lost. Next up is the Chainsaw Sisters, one of which is guarding a crank that you need to progress. The sister on the right is the only one that needs to be killed, but the house fills up quickly with enemies, all of which can easily grab you, stun locking you so the chainsaw sisters can finish you off with one hit. The strategy is essentially exactly the same today as it was when Dis did his first few runs, but with proper practice and a bit of luck, it can be made mostly consistent like most things in the game. I wouldn't use the C word exactly, but it works. If you're fortunate enough to get a random stun on the second shot, then you can assassinate the Bellows sister, making the section a lot faster and more consistent. The next largest reset room would be in Chapter 10 with the Novisadors and the Double Garador. This is especially brutal because there's no save station after the Novis, so you must do Novis and the Double Garador room in a row without dying, or you'll be forced to do both again. Especially brutal since Double Garador is one of the hardest rooms in the game. 
Two mini bosses that can only be damaged from a weak point on their back in a room full of enemies that can grab you and nearly instantly kill you with their scythes. Dist, at the beginning, figured out how useful heavy grenades are for this part. They can damage the Gyaradors without drawing their aggression and also clear fodder enemies at the same time. The problem was there was only one static drop for heavy grenades before this section in the entire game and needed at least three to kill quickly. Using just one and maybe a random drop then finishing with the sniper was the play here, but it was definitely a room that was played safer than faster in most runs. The island has many run killers. Firstly, the turret room has a strategy where you bait udders into kicking you through the laser, drawing the turret's fire, allowing you to pass behind him, skipping the turret room. Unfortunately, this trick is insanely finicky and can completely annihilate you if the turret decides to switch targets while you're running through it. When Mike is guarding you in the later half of Island, there is a number of memes that can occur. With so many enemies shooting at you and attacking you, it can be near unavoidable to take damage. And every time you take damage, there is a small chance that you'll be wombo comboed from hell and lose all of your health, dying before you could even open the inventory. Even after this, there is one final turret skip similar to the one at the start of Island. And this one is arguably even less consistent, as it relies on a Novisador grabbing you right in front of the turret. While nearly every room in the game is a run killer on this difficulty, these I have listed are the most likely spots for a run to die. Over the next two weeks during the open qualifier part of the tournament, lots of these would become consistent, or at least consistent enough. But some would remain run killers to this day. At this time, the event would get officially announced and a ton of new players would come into the category. Namely Trey D, local Resident Evil speedrunning legend, multi-time world record holder for Village 2 make and 3 make, Bakma Soup, super streamer and veteran speedrunner of many Resident Evil games, Orshalon, the machine, including his long-lasting rivalry with Trey and RE2 and 3 remakes, as well as many world records in a variety of Resident Evil speedrunnings, including OG RE3. Trance would also join in on the fun, an avid variety speedrunner who is most known for his YouTube content and tying Orshalon and RE2 remakes to which rival speedrunning tournament, of which Ray also got fourth. There were also others who weren't so in the limelight at the start who would emerge when the tournament qualifier went live, like Resident Evil 7 every category world record holder Captain Ezekiel. The tournament started with an initial prize pool of $2,000, but quickly shot up to $5,000 thanks to generous contributions from my community. This quickly made the prize pool quite something, one big enough to attract some outside attention. Many runners from all over the speedrunning sphere would come into play, like QTT, a Taiwanese runner, friends with distortion, known for jumping in on events like this, as well as Matt Gale, who ran in the most recent critical tournaments with Spicy, and even Holly, a prominent German streamer who has done some Resident Evil before, but not what most would consider true speedruns. Certainly no prior tournament experience. With the tournament in full swing and only eight times qualifying for the main event, the race was on. The smartest of the runners would spend most of their time theory crafting and doing segmented practice runs, as there was no real incentive to have a legitimate run at this point, with two weeks until the deadline. The most important factor was getting as much game experience as possible. No resets and practice sessions while trying to push and develop the meta would be the best move. Those who got too focused on achieving a good time early would waste away their precious time by resetting on rooms and strategies that didn't have enough practice to reasonably be done in a full game run. Spicy, Captain Ezekiel, and Distortion were the kings of this. They found the most of the strategies in this game, and even managed to turn a lot of those previous run killers into somewhat consistent rooms. Spicy would spend the entire first week of the game being out, even before the tournament, practicing and doing segmented runs, and by the 31st, the second day of the tournament, he had already transitioned to doing single segment full game runs, and achieved a 220. Between the strategies that the group had made and all of the practice Spicy had put in, he was far and away the best runner in the game. While most people were putting up three and a half hour times, Spicy was already closing in on that sub two hour mark. This was possible thanks to a few key findings that would make the run a lot simpler and much more consistent. It was found that Delago actually has no random elements. You can consistently one cycle him before he dives and regenerates his HP. With the help of a bit of practice, some runners could consistently save multiple minutes here. This was aided greatly by Holly's discovery that you can throw harpoons much faster if you let go of right click between each throw. When saving Ashley, you can put Leon's hitbox inside of the wall as you jump down the ladder, leaving Ashley behind, allowing runners to run from the church to the cabin fight without her, 
making the section much faster and way more consistent as you don't have to babysit Ashley. When in the actual cabin fight, it was found out that it is in fact much more complicated than the original. Instead of just reaching a kill count, there is a multi-phase process for completing cabin. First, you kill seven enemies, then a new wave spawns. Once those enemies are killed, they will start dropping boards that can be used to board up the windows. By letting the enemies inside and then killing them, you can farm the boards and board up all three windows. After a few moments, this triggers the second phase where enemies spawn in upstairs. During the second phase, after you kill five enemies, others will spawn in downstairs. Killing him ends the cabin. Knowing this isn't really enough though, just trying to implement this strategy will save lots of time, but cabin can be very dangerous very fast. So without proper execution, this section is still going to be a run killer for many people. The Bella sisters were made more consistent with more practice and the use of a flash grenade on the retreat, but this is still a point of contention. The Mendez boss fight skip was also made easier and faster by doing a new version of the skip where you use the merchant to clip out of bounds instead of the save station. The double Garador room was made much better by crafting three heavy grenades at the start of chapter 10, and you can buy the heavy grenade crafting recipe there. This allows you to make your own heavy grenades from home, but they come at a steep price. 12 gunpowder and a large resource each. This can be achieved by collecting some spinels from the merchant who gives them to you for completing side quests. Some of these side quests can be done on the way without much time loss, like collecting the Lunker Bass, desecrating two graves, and selling the Scratched Emerald. That combined with the spinels the Knights drops give you just enough to be able to buy two sets of 10 gunpowder, and the third set is picked up from random drops along the way there. Using four heavy grenades guarantees the Garadors die, and practically ensures that you will not die here. Then on the island there was a better strat found for the turret skip, where you use a grenade to launch the archer into the turret laser instead of baiting the attack from others. This was much more consistent, and you didn't have to watch the cutscene either, so it saved a bit of time. Mike's section was tested and it was found out the first part, where Mike blows open the door, is actually on a kill count, so killing enemies makes it progress much faster. That and the anti-aircraft turret could be destroyed early by using a heavy grenade and a light grenade. Flashes were crafted en masse to try and increase the consistency of the double turret room, but it's still an RNG fiesta. There was one new piece of tech that was discovered once again by Hazeblade. This time, when you put Leon's hitbox out of bounds on a save station, you could save his position out of bounds, then when you load back in, Leon will fall into the void. After falling for long enough, he will reappear in bounds and this for some reason breaks his animations. When you then pick up Ashley during the carry section at the end of the chapter, she instead gets carried like a duffel bag instead of a baby. Leon's movement speed is much greater than normal when this happens, and it saves about a minute. But it seems to have some random elements. Sometimes, even if you do everything correctly, the animations for some reason won't break, and you'll carry Ashley normally. This also occurs if you die on the way there. Dying not only loses time in the section now because you have to redo some of the level, but also it removes this glitch, losing you even more time. With this 220, Spicy solidified himself as a legend in this game and a definite favorite to qualify first. But that's not to say that others wouldn't follow suit soon. After all, there were still two weeks left in the qualifier and anyone in the top eight could go to the live event. Captain Ezekiel would get a 232 on April 1st. Distortion would get a 226.38 the same day, and then a 222 the next day. Spicy would then improve the record again, getting a 213 on the 3rd of April. Then on the 4th, Dis would take the world record with a 208.58 for a total of 4 hours. That's when Spicy would clap back with a 204.18. It seemed no matter what people did, they could just not catch up to Spicy. Some were close, Dis being the obvious closest, Captain Ezekiel and Ray catching up with a 219.15 and a 219.10 respectively, and Bach bringing up the rear with a 224. Further out from this, a huge gap would start to form. Spicy, Dis, Ray, and Ezekiel solidifying themselves in the top four. There would be a sizable gap between them and the other competitors for the rest of the qualifier though. This would signify a race for the bottom four of the qualifier. There were lots of people who are amazing runners who got late starts and were playing catch up. Orchelon and the Nevs, for example, started running standard until the day of the tournament. Nevs even started a few days later. By the 9th, with only 3 days left in the qualifier, they were fighting for the bottom 9. Orchelon, QTT, the Nevs, and Bach Basup would all have really close times to each other. Nevs and Bach would tie exactly to the 2nd at 6th place with a 2-12-48. For a whole 2.5 days until Bach broke the tie with a 2-10-47. 
The Nevs would then clap back with a 20750 a few hours later. Orchline would stay solidly at 8th place for about a whole 3 days with his 21254. Then he would drop down to 9th, where he would then PB again, not moving up in the ranks with his 21220. This would trigger the entry of a few new faces. S. Billy, who had the world record for the demo speedrun, would join the fight very late, but quickly climb the ranks to get a 213 flat, only 16 seconds behind Orchelon's 8th place time. Then, Zarian, another variety speedrun veteran, who was placed very highly in RE2 Remix Switch Rivals and held Resident Evil 7 world record previously, joined with a 21157 on his very first finished run. An insanely strong showing, solidifying himself at 5th place on the 10th of April. By the 11th of April, though, he had already dropped down to 8th place. At one point, 5th through 9th place was exactly one minute apart from each other. It's really going to be anyone's game in these last two days. Spicy, Dist, Ray, and Zeke would continue to optimize the game during this time. This would solidify their gap between the bottom five. Dist only beat Spicy's run that one time for four hours. After that, Spicy would hold a record, constantly improving it until he reached the precipice of beating the game in under two hours. He achieved a two hour and 28 second time that would stand for a whole three days almost exactly. In this time, Dis brought his time down to a 2.02.51. Trey would bring his time down to a 2.07.39, and Ezekiel would bring his time down to a 2.09.34. At this point, sub 2 was an inevitability, but who would be the first to get it? With how big PBs are in this game, it was certainly possible for anyone in the top 4 to be the first, especially with Spicy being hard stuck 30 seconds away for a whole 3 days. It was especially important as Spicy's 2028 wasn't technically valid for the tournament because he was switching frame rates to squeeze past enemies in areas not designated that you're allowed to do so in the rules. But eventually, his hard work would pay off. And on April 9th of 2023, Spicy would make history, becoming the first person to beat Resident Evil 4 Remake in under two hours on the professional difficulty. I ain't never seen a fucking 59 and I never fucking will, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, my god. oh cool. I can't even, I can't, I can't speak, dude. I can't, I can't, dude. Thank you for saving me. We fucking did it, boys. We fucking did it. In that very same run, he would also receive the news that he has gotten Twitch partner, making the run a trifecta, solidifying his placement in the qualifier. This run had a few new strats as well. Mainly the Double Gigante fight had a significant speed increase and consistency increase by killing the Iron Giant yourself with two heavy grenades and one regular grenade, followed by a bunch of magnum rounds to the face. This allows you to dunk the other Gigante and you no longer have to rely on Lewis not getting his ass beat and actually putting the dynamite on the Iron Giant. There would be basically no new strategies developed over the course of the next four days. The rest just came down to pure execution. Spicy was basically done and never did any more runs, at least ones that would PB. Distortion 2 would practice a lot and then get a PB of a 20242 on April 11th. He wouldn't PB again. By this time, the TMP meta had completely taken over and every runner would start using it, even if they weren't entirely sure why, and it would kill a few runs in the process. Captain Ezekiel would get a 20530 on April 11th as well. The Nevs would then get a 208.13 and then later that day a 206.21. The next morning, 7 Ray D would get a 204.33 and Trance would get a 211. With only two days left in the qualifier, people were getting tired. No one knew what kind of time you would need to keep you safe. At any moment, multiple people could get a new personal best and then you could get knocked down a few slots. With only the top 8 qualifying, no one besides Spicy and Dis were safe. On the 12th, Nevs would solidify himself as a top 5 runner with a 20504, and Orchelon would get a huge PB following suit with a 20748. 
even losing four minutes to a death in this run. S. Billy would come in to play now too with a 2 11 13. Billy is a relatively new face, but he actually had the world record in the demo speedrun for RE4 Remake, so he was definitely a serious contender not to be ignored. With that being said, it is now the last day of the event. 24 hours left. But as long as there's still at least one minute on the clock, any run started can be finished and be valid for qualification. So even if you literally last minute start a run, you can finish that run and you're good to go. Ray would be the first to tap out after his 20317, giving him a solid third place and almost certain immunity. Orchlon would then clutch up and get a 20301, calling it quits, claiming that he wouldn't get bopped out of top eight with that time. Zeke would get one last run in before qualifiers ended, beating Nevs by one second. Bach would the day prior get a 20549, a time that seemed super safe at the time as it was fifth place, but by the time the last day came around, Bach had been pushed all the way down to seventh place, with Billy trailing four minutes behind with a 209. It seemed like it was unlikely that anyone would PB enough to close that gap. It was a race for eighth place at this point. There would be a lot of runners going for that 8th place spot though. Trance would get a 2-10-10, but after so many resets, the pressure got to him and he called it quits. Fregohausen, Missing No RE4, and Billy were all in a race to close the gap with Bach in these final hours, trying to guarantee that 8th place spot. But that's when a familiar face would make his grand entrance. QTT, whom I mentioned earlier, had been practicing a lot but not doing many runs, and with the deadline nearing, he decided it was time to finally show up. He gets a 20817, but during this run, I noticed something and had to make him aware of it. The hell? I can't be changing FPS like that. Oh wait, really? It's a new glitch though. Oh shit. He had switched frame rates and areas not designated to do so by the rules, invalidating his run. The run that had just gotten him his golden ticket into the top eight and the live event. But it wasn't a valid run and it could not be counted. This was tragic. I felt terrible, but the rules are the rules and he had to follow them to be in the event. And even he agreed, but he wouldn't just give up. He then immediately started another run and it was a nail biter the entire time. With only five hours left, he completely blasted through the game, flying at insane pace. His PB just before the invalid run was a 21036, and at the end of this next one, he would have a 20317, exactly tying 7 Ray D. His run was insane. He got crazy lucky heavy grenade drops and magnum ammo drops. On top of that, his execution was near flawless, and he didn't invalidate his run this time. This just shows the true power of never giving up and always trying till the very last moment. Not only did this guarantee his placement in the tourney, it shifted nearly everyone down a slot. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I'm not sure that was insane. Oh. I, I'm not aiming to like be a world record or, or not though, like, or, or something. I just want to be, I just have some like kind of good run, not like lose the other people like uh, what I, I already, I already met them for like many years. This game actually like punished me. I mean, not punish me, I mean, stuck me for like uh, so much, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I, you know, you know, like before, be, I mean, after you said I, my, 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 my wrong, my, my last row is not like a, allowed. I, or, I almost give up, you know, because I just can't, I, I just couldn't believe. I mean, I, I just don't believe. I just didn't believe I, I can make this though because I just feel like I'm not good at this game. But I somehow like the, the RNG says that I pray me so, so hard. You know? <laughs> I, I can feel it like look like the like the drop rate of the the the, the magna ammo and the, the heavy heavy grenade oh, i <laughs> that was insane you know but bach was now in eighth place and eighth place went up almost four minutes now the race was really on would anyone be able to beat bach in these last few hours 
There were a few valiant efforts. Billy's 209 had two deaths on chapter 15, turret skip, losing him immense time, but he could never get back to the island. He quits with only a few hours left. Casal, who had the previous number eight time before Billy, fought very hard to regain his spot, but after a few hours and a 21029, he gave up. Missing though would get another PB, putting him one second behind Billy in 10th place, but the gap between Bach and Billy was too great. On the very last run after the qualifier had totally closed, Missing No was two and a half minutes ahead. He started this run before the qualifiers closed, so it was still valid, and he was potentially on pace for a sick run if Island just went well. But unfortunately, he ended up dying to the Chainsaw Sister in the Dynamite section, ending the last valid run of the qualifier. By the end, here were the standings. The entire top eight are all 205 or under. Spicy maintained his throne the entire time, only dropping it once to Distortion 2 for four hours. Dist solidly stayed at second place the entire time. Orchelon on the final day made a mad dash for third. Ray had his third place swept from him, but managed to maintain fourth. QTT exactly tied Ray with his feats of greatness in the final hours. Zeke edged out sixth from Nevs, who maintained seventh place just barely to box 20549. Bach somehow survived the insanity that was the last 24 hours of the event, and that just leaves the finals. On the 15th of April, 2023, these eight runners will compete head-to-head -head in a two-round competition for a prize pool starting at $5,000. This competition will be hosted on twitch.tv forward slash waifu and will be live casted by some of the greatest commentators in the business. The run starts at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. The prize pool will be open to contributions, and I expect it to grow substantially over the course of the event. The format is simple. All eight runners will run at once, and the first four to complete the game with the fastest times will move on to the second round while they're race once again. These are no reset runs. You get one chance. The top times will receive higher cuts of the prize pool, but everyone participating will get paid. The open format of the tournament qualifier has been an amazing experience. Countless stories have unfolded on the battlefield that is the run.gg. I hope you've been enjoying the event as much as I have. Huge shoutouts to Joey from The Run GG for helping us run this event. We couldn't have done it without you. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you at the main event. Stay stylish. It is my pleasure to announce the Waifu Runs Open Resident Evil 4 Remake Qualifier is now over, and we have our top eight competitors. Over the past two weeks, 35 plus runners have been competing to be the best of the best, in order to qualify for a live head-to-head -head speedrunning competition for a prize pool of over $5,000 on Saturday, April 15th. The event will be hosted on twitch.tv forward slash waifu and will start with a pre-show video that explains the history of the run so far and all of the stories that have happened during the qualifier. Then, one hour later, the eight runners will be doing one no reset run and the top four times will be moving on to a second round. The times in the second round will dictate first through fourth place, and the cutoff for the prize pool starting at $5,180. Speaking of that prize pool, it's open to contributions until the very end of the event. If you want to contribute to this event, all money goes to the runners, and you can do so through the Matcharino. Matcharino.com slash T slash RE4. Now, without further ado, it would be my pleasure to introduce all eight of these runners in order of qualification time. Spicy. Qualifying in first with the world's only sub-2 new game pro time, Spicy is no stranger to running new games or high-pressure competition, achieving 4th place in West Critical's A Muck Runner speedrunning competition recently. Having world record in many Resident Evil Village categories, placing 6th in West Critical's 2nd speedrunning tournament for Exodus of the Earth, getting 3rd place in Dead Space Remake, 2nd place in Dead Space 2, and many more, Spicy has held world record for this run the entire event, except for a total of 4 hours when Distortion 2 took it from him. Distortion 2. Qualifying with a 2 hour, 2 minute, and 42 second time, Dist is a full time streamer and god gamer. His reputation precedes him. But if somehow you don't know of his escapades, let me give you a brief crash course. A Dark Souls speedrunning veteran turned full time variety speedrunner, Distortion 2 is known for jumping from game to game quickly especially on brand new releases. Speedrunning them into the ground, dominating the hardest difficulty categories, then moving on. He has world records in Resident Evil 2 Remake, Resident Evil 3 Remake, Village, Dark Souls Remastered, Elden Ring, and many, many more. 
He also was the undisputed winner of the Resident Evil Village speedrunning tournament I hosted back in 2021, achieving a new world record in the first round, then missing that world record by only 10 seconds in round two. It's no surprise that he would be one of the front runners in an event like this. His ability to break down a new game and create routes that will stand the test of time in a very short time frame, then grind them down to perfection, is nearly unrivaled. Orchlon, qualifying third with a 2 hours, 3 minutes, and 1 second time. The Machine, who is known for dominating many RE games, including his long-lasting rivalry with Seven Ray D in RE2 and 3 Remake, as well as many world records in a variety of Resident Evil speedruns, including OG RE3. Known as the Machine, Orch can grind a game for ungodly hours, outlasting all of the competition. At one point, he had nearly all eight highly contested RE2 Remake world records at once. On the final day of the tourney, he jumped from 7th place to 3rd with this 20301. 7 Ray D, or Trey D, qualifying tied 4th place with a 20317. Local Resident Evil speedrunning legend and multi-time world record holder for Village, 2 Make, and 3 Make, not to mention other games like Halo Infinite and Ghost Runner, 7 Ray D is a longtime frenemy with Orchlon, and as such, Trey is no stranger to competition, placing second in the Village tournament and fourth in Twitch Rivals RE2 Remake. QTT Qualified tied fourth with a 20317. Longtime Taiwanese speedrunning veteran who loves to take his aim at brand new games, namely Resident Evil ones. He's always had a good showing in events, but this time he has outdone himself. With only 5 hours left in the open qualifier, he achieved a 2.08.17, barely bopping S. Billy from 8th place. But, he was changing his frame rates in places he was not supposed to, so the run had to be invalidated. The very next run, he achieved a legendary 2.03.17, getting two personal bests in a row, jumping from 8th to tying 4th with Ray, Just in the nick of time. Can his ability to clutch it out in the last moment translate to a live event? Captain Ezekiel, qualifying 6 with a 20503, longtime Resident Evil 7 speedrunner Captain Ezekiel is known primarily for his total domination over that game, at one time achieving every single world record at once. He also has been known to do well in other games like his currently second place in Village Glitchless Casual, and eighth place in Elden Ring Any% No Wrong Warp. The Nevs 07, qualifying 7th with a 20504. Longtime RE4 OG runner, Nevs hails from Brazil and is the heart and souls of the OG runners at his back. The only RE4 OG runner in the tournament that qualified, Nevs has a lot of experience with RNG meme games. While others have ran RE4 OG, Nevs has ran it much longer, way before the remake was ever announced. He is currently 7th in New Game Pro and 2nd in separate ways. But OG RE4 is not the only game he has played, he's also insanely impressive in RE2 and 3 Remake, as well as Classic 1, 2, and 3. Bok Basup, qualifying in 8th place with a 205-49. Bok, the legend himself, this chicken man is the culture center of the Resident Evil speedrunning community. His charming personality and dashing good looks get him far, but he's no slouch when it comes time to game either. He may have qualified last, but when he got this time, it was 4th place, and he hadn't gotten a new personal best in the last 3 days of the qualifier. Posting a pretty solid time in basically every Resident Evil speedrun, Bach has seen it all and has a lot of experience. Hell, he even has an island named after him in the game. One last thing before I go, I want to give a huge shout out to Joey who runs the run.gg. This open qualifier format has been so much fun, and I couldn't have done it without him. He helped so much, not only by creating the platform the run.gg that we have used to vet runs, but creating live tools for us and being on call during the event itself. Truly an invaluable asset to this production. Thank you so much for your time, and I will see you at the event. Hey everyone, uh, welcome to the Resident Evil 4 Remake Tournament. Uh, thank you guys so much for uh, joining us today. Uh, I am here hosting together with... Mute D6 underscore. Hello. Hi, guys. <laughs> so we'll be uh, you guys' hosts for today. 
uh, for during the first round. So this is a two round event. Uh, there are eight speedrunners uh, running against each other. The first round, uh, so the, the four winners will go over to the second round. Uh, it's an eight hour long event, so yeah. Uh, I hope you guys are ready. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. Uh, it is going to there... be so fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there are also some really, really generous donations uh, that have contributed to the prize pool. Maybe, Mute, if you want to read a few. Yeah, of course. Uh, recently, we've had a couple donations from Beginner Anime Watcher with a $20 donation saying, Good luck. Thank you so much. We also had some donations. From uh, uh, Ingo Nitto, $30, saying, take my money. And a bona fide with $5. And I would also like to shout out some of the, uh, the older donations, which helped make this prize pool possible. So a lot of people donated b before the event started, and it wouldn't have been possible without the help of uh, Chicken, TG, Dasjame, Rabid Chocobo, and of course, Never Walk Alone with many, many gen generous donations that help make the prize pool possible and help us to be able to give a, uh, a prize to the last four runners as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, Waifu himself, uh, who kickstarted the entire tournament and also added a incredibly generous $2,000 donation to the prize pool to begin with. Uh, yeah. A lot of people are work behind the scenes for this tournament to make everything possible. So yeah, big thank you for that. I hope you guys are excited because uh, I sure am super, super excited. We're trying to get the runners set up here. Um, have everyone on the same page. We're gonna count, we're gonna count them in soon. Currently, the, the front runner is Distortion 2 with a one hour 58, 32 second run. Mm -hmm. uh, the runner up would be Spicy, second place, 15 seconds behind. So what part are you most excited for to watch in this run? Oh, personally, I am super, super stoked to see the most exciting places. Uh, for example, Dynamite Village, how people deal with the Chainsaw Sisters, uh, Chapter 15, which is going to be very, very exciting. A lot of things are going to go down there. <laughs> You're excited for the Red Mist? Ho, ho, ho. Uh, hopefully we get to see some Red Mist, but also hopefully not. Yeah, very true. Uh. A lot can go wrong in this run. This is played on the professional difficulty, the highest difficulty under hardcore. So yeah, many and things. also a few glitches are allowed, uh, which we will see during the run, like some door skips. Uh, also, a very, very interesting um, out of bounds skip. So, there are like a few cool skips to be seen in this run. It's not glitchless. Mm -hmm. But these are all very, very fun and um, usually allowed skips or usually quote unquote intended skips that uh, are sequence breakers, but you know, are designed to be in the game and to be yeah. performed by someone who knows what they're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, currently, the donation pool is also at $6,145. Uh, all the donations go directly to the runners who worked incredibly hard, so thank you so much. Uh, we have a uh, donation from Cosmic with $20 saying, this is it, soldier. Thank you, Cosmic. And we have $10 from Tododoro saying, won't be able to watch live. Good luck to all the runners. Thank you so much. Every... Mm -hmm. All the runners are excited and prepared to go down in this match. Yeah, they only get one uh, one shot, so it has to be a no reset run, and a lot can go incredibly wrong or incredibly right. So I'm honestly nervous too, even though I'm not running myself. I want to see how these runners do. It's 
So All we're right. going to count in the runners in a moment. We're just getting set up here. Everyone's on the same page and we're getting ready. Soon we're going to have a countdown. And they're all going to start at the same time. Three, two, one. And we're off. It starts. Oh, down. Everyone down, guys, starting down. the run on yeah, professional difficulty. All right, here we go. Chapter one. Leon finds something that is weird in this village, and he wants to go check it out. Let's see what happens. Everyone, they're trying to make oh, it I'm into the cabin, the first house we see in this game. I mean, I will look. We all so arrived there at the same time, and now, so now we already see some different route takings. Up. Some runners choosing to follow a more close path. Some runners choosing a more far path. A little bit of yeah. time loss here and there. Yeah, pathing does a lot. Like, the tighter your turns, uh, like, the cleaner your movement, like, the faster you get to the first part, which is picking up a key and opening the door. Uh, soon we'll also see the first little strat uh, in a moment. Spicy's getting there first. Yeah, so as you can see, like, Ooh. Spicy, he, like, waits for the zombie to arrive, and then he, like, goes straight past. So that's, like, a small little trick there. Uh, seems like most people got it, except for QTT, I think. Yeah, QTT, unfortunately, did get grabbed. And <laughs> you can see there by, uh, by Ezekiel that he did something that is crouch walking on stairs. So when you crouch and stand up on stairs, you walk up the stairs faster. So you're going to see runners doing that from time to time when they're on stairs. Um, it does save time. Even if just a little bit. Now the runner's going fast. They're heading over to the village where we're going to see our police companion, unfortunately, being burned on a stake. And we're going to see some of uh, the most chaotic time routing loss. that's going to happen. Yeah, I mean, we're not yeah, trying to go down. The part is trying definitely to one of the hardest have a parts. Decent enough run. Uh, in the run, and it's straight at the start, which is honestly kind of a good thing because if it goes wrong, you can reset early, which is not the case in this tournament. They can't reset, so a lot can make What's or break the run uh, a little bit at this section. Having stable. Uh, yeah, is fingers hard. crossed for all the runners. <laughs> Expect to see a lot of safety save. There's going to be a, a lot of those, especially since there's only one Although chance yeah, to make this run work. We're going to be seeing a lot of saves. Yeah, so professional difficulty has no checkpoints, uh, which makes the run very challenging, so uh, which is why they have to make these uh, backup saves. Distortion right now is going to show us off what the routing is like. First of all, he's taking out the first zombie that does a couple things. One of them is luring all the soldiers into the house that he's going in. He picks up a frag grenade and he's going to throw it. Bam. Pause buffer a little bit. Turn down the FPS. And that is the first section of the village done. You're trying to get 16 kills here to end the village section. Nice. Yeah, the reason why they lower the FPS and pause buffer is to My increase the day. blast radius of the grenade. On lower FPS, it works that way. And now we're seeing runners Anybody? doing all sorts of I'm just gonna uh, things to try to compensate for what here. they're given. Sometimes you'll have bad RNG and the nade won't do as much damage or it won't kill as many zombies. And mm. they really have to improv from time to time. I'm going to jump down now. Yeah, exactly. Like the, the perfect route is basically a grenade, a few shots, a grenade. And like that's about it. Like, the village section is timed, but Dude. it's also kill count based. So, how many do they have to kill? Uh, 16. Yeah, so 16 and then, uh, like, the section ends. Ooh, spicy though. Already done with village. Very, very yeah, fast. Pretty fast. <laughs> 343 split. Oh, nice. So, you can see Bach throwing a nade. Had to parry the chainsaw guy there. Yeah, the chainsaw man. Very scary. 
Oh no, QTT getting grabbed. And using the instant health. Those things sell for 5k. Money management is also important this, in this run. Yeah, we call it the businessman run. <laughs> A lot of business going down. And what's really fun is that in this game, when you sell a weapon, all the, you get 95% of the upgrade money back. So if you upgrade your gun a lot, or any weapon for that matter, and you, and you sell it, you get pretty much all of the money that you upgraded with back. And that's going to be used a lot. People are going to be upgrading all of their weapons that they're going to use, and then selling it to get a better weapon as an mm -hmm. upgrade. Everyone live through village. Thankfully. It's a miracle. Yeah, it, it honestly is. Like, village can go wrong so fast. Mm-hmm. And what Nevs did right there, sticking the model of his gun through the door to shoot the lock from the other side. Very cool things. You're going to see a lot of those. Yeah, there's, like, a lot of, like, small intended skips, even, that uh, Capcom added. Like, you can uh, shoot the lock from different angles and get into an area, like pretty early. Okay, the uh, that's only one of the cool things about Resident Evil. That takes a swing at me. Ooh. Oh my god. Everyone's on a pretty good pace here. Just going fast. Zeke currently soaring through the okay. underpass. Trying to make his way through. And I've received... Well, they're slowly, slowly but surely heading to the the Red Mist Village, which I'm excited <laughs> for. Uh, Dynamite Village, Chapter 2. Yep. It's a very, very scary place to be. A lot of RNG going down there as well. But first, to get there, we gotta, we gotta free Louise first. Uh, in the meanwhile, we have a few extra donations. Uh, $20 from... Uh, Trevor saying, let's go, super excited to see everyone's run. We have $20 again from Stoner Samurai, $5 from Guest, and $5 from uh, N Light. Thank you so much, guys. I, we appreciate it. Uh, again, all the proceeds go straight to the runners, which is awesome. Like, they worked so hard for this. Uh, yeah, these are, like, the, the top eight runners here competing are incredibly good. Everyone has been practicing for such a long time, putting yeah. in hundreds of hours colloquially. After freeing Luis, we're going over the Dynamite Village. A lot of RNG in that section. And I do mean there is quite a bit of RNG. But first, before that, mm -hmm. we are going to get our stuff stolen from Mendez. We got to free ourselves first. With the help of Luis, who just uh, ran away with us without explaining anything. We now have to take back our own stuff. Um, you're going to see runners here doing some st stabbing and some stealth kills. That is because uh, in this section, it's really, really important as to not get grabbed. Because if you get grabbed, there can be other enemies that start obstructing your path and it messes with your routing. So you're going to see maybe someone will not choose a stealth kill, but I'm pretty sure everyone will opt for the safety run here. Or yeah, the safety strat. And also, um, you run way slower when you're, like, in combat, which is also an issue here for this little section. So if, uh, you know, <coughs> if they avoid the enemies and they're dead, you will run way faster, which is obviously very important. Spicy in the lead currently by a couple seconds, George. Not far behind. <laughs> Everyone's going at such a fast pace. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard it's to, uh, to hard see. It's beautiful to see. We're entering point. Dynamite Village. Zeke moving there quickly. Dist as well. We're going to see a lot of dynamites, as, as per the name suggests, in Dynamite Village. There's going to be a lot of angry villagers that want to blow you up and turn you into red mist. And your goal is to not let that happen. Uh, also, I would like to say, holy thank you, Breadcrumbs, for the 100 gifted subs. 
insane. Thank you for for supporting the community. Thank you so much. Crazy. Wow. That's insane. <laughs> Ooh. The goal of Dynamite Village is to move on top of the village where there is a uh, a knob that you can turn to open a gate in which you will uh, in which you can leave through. After getting the emblem, you can use it to open another gate. That's what the runners are trying to get. Mm -hmm. uh, we also saw like Bok uh, shooting the villager there. Uh, that's again to stay out of combat so you run faster. So on the way back, she's gone and you will start getting out of combat faster. Mm -hmm. But because of that, his shotgun ammo is now a bit on the low side. And ammo managing is really important this, in this run. Because this is a survival horror game, ammo is scarce, especially on the professional difficulty. Enemies sometimes are, are tankier, harder to hit. And being able to manage your ammo correctly is very, very important. What enemies do you shoot? What enemies do you stab? Do you stealth kill? A lot of these choices come down to personal preference, but also what is going to happen and and knowing how you're going to deal with arena after arena it is just so unbelievably important to have to keep track of all these different moving components at the same time oh, money i think ray just blew up by oh, the dynamite. no he got red misted yeah oh red mist yeah. <laughs> raining down though. So as you can see, Ray is making his way back to the village, and hopefully, no red mist this time. Oh. So he's back in sort of canyon. He was at the end too. He was gonna get out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is unfortunate. On the other hand, Bok yet, just but... no hits the complete canyon section, which is very it impressive. Is definitely not very, very impressive. Star. Not getting grabbed, not getting hit is is something that is quite difficult in any game for that matter. Mm -hmm. Not to mention a game like this where there are There's many, many enemies coming your way. Hordes of enemies in front of you. <laughs> what I love seeing is the, the chainsaw man, the second chainsaw man, getting blown up by the trip mine as we've seen in uh, yeah. in, in Spicy's perspective. Now we enter the Mendes right mansion. This time. Now, in this story, this is where we meet Ada for the first time. Ada helps us out with Mendes, and Mendes gets distracted and, and leaves on our hunt to. Oh, once again, you can see uh, Spicy climbing up those stairs, crouching upwards. But we see a lot of um, storytelling from just our environment. I know. Um, grabbing various uh, key elements that will help us progress with the continuation of the story. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Spicy just finished chapter 2 uh, at 12 minutes, 10 seconds. No issues at all so far. Pretty clean. And mm -hmm. Orch got an extra grenade before Mendes has, which is very, very good. That oh. will come in handy. Ah, distortion. Unfortunately, grabbed by the chainsaw man was has gone down and just got hit again, forced to use oh, a heal. Boy. This is what we're talking about when we say that anything can really happen in this run. Yeah, exactly. Uh, for example, Bok got another lucky velvet blue from a barrel, which is Dream RNG, because wow. that's the second velvet blue that he got. Wow. But he's not happy because apparently he wanted shotgun shells. <laughs> <laughs> Low on ammo. Yeah. But still, that is extra money that is very much appreciated. And now Orch just finished chapter 2. He was at 12 minutes 41 seconds. And we do have a $50 donation from Honey Badgers saying, hyped after seeing the new world record from Distortion 2 yesterday. Good luck to everyone. And a $10 donation from Toffrelicious saying, Sacrificial Lamb. 
a reference to uh, a, a sacrificial person that we are able to see in this village section. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that I believe is somewhere around Mendez's house, if I am not mistaken. We're seeing everyone head over. Church. They want to fight the Lago. Yeah, the Lago is another one of those very, very technical fights. Uh, you can basically one cycle him, so before he dives down. But uh, we'll get to that pretty soon. Uh, it, yeah. It's very, very hard to execute, honestly. <laughs> but in order to fight the fish, we have to get on a boat first. And in order to run the motorboat, we have to get fuel. And that's the mission that that everyone is trying to get to right now. Oh, you saw that cool little move tech Spicy did? So when you drop Ooh. down and you slash your knife, you actually skip the falling down animation. Which no saves falling like, animation. what is it, like one second or less? But still, very, very cool to see. You see that throughout the run, and over time, mm. it definitely saves a, a good chunk of time. Yeah. People are slowly finishing up Chapter 2. And everyone is... Almost at chapter three. Some people all uh, do the slash tech down the stairs. Some people don't. But at the end of the day, it's not really that big a deal. It's a couple seconds time save here and there. It is, uh, you do risk missing and not falling down the stairs, which it does happen. Yeah. Hmm, some velvet blue drops, a lot of money. These drops are RNG. Some drops are forced, and some drops are RNG. So, in the places where you have RNG drops, getting the drops that you want is very, very important. And, uh, as we've seen by, uh, Ezekiel, he had just crafted some heals there. And these heals, these full heals, these red, green, and yellow heals sell for 10,000 pesetas. Which is a lot. So if you can hold the urge to not use them, you could sell them for 10000 mm -hmm. Which is a very, very good chunk of money. I'm just glad you said sure. pesetas. I think it's always funny when people say, like, dollars. <laughs> <laughs> they are not dollars. Uh, uh, it seems that this reached the church at 15 minutes and 55 seconds, which is the exact same time like QTT, also 15.55. Nice. Yeah. One five five five. Lucky numbers. Mm -hmm. Oh, Spice is getting caught there. Eating a viper to heal his health up. You, re you remove the poison from the viper, you can eat it safely. Uh, I don't know if I would want to try that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, probably wouldn't taste good, especially the way that Leon is eating them. Mm -hmm. Wow, getting the boat fuel fast. We're on our way to Del Lago. Still gotta escape, though. Yeah, and meanwhile, the prize pool for the runners is, like, increasing rapidly. We're at $7,070. Wow, and that's amazing. And huge, huge donation from uh, Waifu himself, and also <laughs> from Good Karma, saying good luck to everyone and may the best runner win. Jeez, thank you. Thank you, everyone. The runners will love this. Slowly, one by one. Everyone's getting their fuel. We want to see the Lago. Seems that Trey's having to adapt his treasure writing slightly uh, because of some of the RNG that happens during his run. So he, he needs, needs extra to make money. Up lots for the lack of cash at the moment. More treasures are needed. These extra treasures do amount for some money that could very help. And now we enter Del Lago. The fight yep. down on 60 FPS. The fight. Yeah, a very technical fight. So basically, they're not allowed to miss any of the harpoons. Uh, and also hitting the mouth area, area of the lago does more damage. So you can basically one cycle him before he like swims away. 
However, if he does swim away, he recovers, I believe, like 70% of his health. It's insane. That's it's a such lot a of health. <laughs> it's such a bad boss fight if you don't get the one cycle. So this might win or lose like a lot of time for the runners here. It takes roughly 20 shots to, to take down Del Lago. Mouth shots do extra damage. And if you miss too many, you won't get the one cycle. And it is a lot of time loss. You basically have to yeah. do the fight again. Think you, can swallow me whole, huh? you are allowed to swap FPS for Del Lago. Ooh, Ooh okay. So it's oh! got the one cycle? The one cycle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I believe he's also at the like like he's at the, on the lead at the leads with eighteen fifty eight chapter three end. Nice. Absolutely, a beautiful one cycle, perfectly demonstrated by Spicy himself. It seems that this is having a bit of issues leaving the <laughs> leaving the fish farm here, but I think he, he made it out alive now. No soft lock. Let's go. Oh, Ezekiel also got past the Lago you know? at I'm 19 eight. minutes and 17 seconds. You better watch Pretty your tone when you're talking to someone like me. Nice. I'm an eighth motherfucker place. People are slowly. Eighth. In the world. And surely getting through uh, the Lago. This money. One of the hardest, I need hardest one cycles to hit. Hey, <laughs> Bach. Getting bonus money. <laughs> All right, and so, and so the legend is told to be. Arch Bach also the in the Lago. Awesome. Bach with soup nice. gets swallowed whole by Del Lago. Everyone is so close. Yeah. This could be anyone's game. All right. Now, this is where we lose RTA, by the way, because I have to watch this cutscene or I crash. And I potentially am going to crash anyway. Ah, sick. Bach gets the one cycle. Yep, very clean one cycle. And once again, we see the cutscene of Leon getting infected now. This is where you learn that he's also infested with the Plagas. And now we enter chapter 4, the boat section. And this section is where we need to find two stone heads in order to get the, uh, the missing piece to open the church in order to rescue Ashley. Hole, huh? And in order to pick up these two stone heads, we have to go in two different locations, but there are detours that you will see runners take. Spicy, for example, just went to the chicken island to pick up some eggs, one of which was the golden egg, which will come in handy later. Uh, you will see, but the golden egg is, is very, very important later down the run. Very important. They cannot eat it or sell it. No, no, no. All right, this also got the one cycle. It seems that everyone is getting the one cycle, so that's nice. great. Nice. Such an important one cycle to hit. Such a good time save. Yeah, I've tried getting the one cycle many times, but uh, it never happens. <laughs> it is very, very difficult. Yeah. Come, please. And being able to do it once is already impressive. Being able to consistently pull it off like these runners, that is amazing. Orch just getting his first head. On to the second. It is here that the runners will um, try and get the rifle with a scope if they can. That is to help with the Gigante fight that is coming up soon. When they return back on land after the boating section, there will be a boss fight. And the scope really, really helps with that. Doing three times damage to weak points. Mm -hmm. Which yeah. is very, very nice. In the meanwhile, they're also kind of like starting to save up things for the cabin section, which is also very important. Mm -hmm. Uh, for example, oh, this oh, oh. already used two first aid sprays, so he's trying to save up extra healing items for Cabin at the moment. Oh, the Cabin fight. I can't wait for that. Yeah. Spicy has just picked up the second head very much in the lead right now. He's on his way out. Ooh, another velvet blue drop on the floor. That is... Quite lucky. Nice. Mm -hmm. 
Someone grab me. Well, oh, getting grabbed is pretty major time loss in in these runs. You get grabbed once, that's okay. You get grabbed twice, three times, ooh, the time losses start to add up. Especially if you have to break free. Nice foot, dude. Don't you dare grab me, you piece of shit. So having clean routes and, and taking clean lines without being interrupted by enemies is incredibly important. And also because this is professional, you take a lot of damage. You don't want to take too many hits, otherwise you'll go down pretty fast. Many, many runs oh. my ass have led to this moment. Mm -hmm. Everyone's doing their best. Hey, Lunker. Everyone's trying their best. Yeah, this section is um, not too I... stressful, luckily. Uh, it's definitely at uh, at uh, the Gigante where it can go wrong pretty fast. <laughs> And also the drive by Lunker Base, hey. just wanted to point out, is pretty cool. You, you can sell the, the the Lunker Base for a lot of money. Yeah, and something that I learned yesterday is um, if you eat the Lunker Bass, it'll actually uh, like upgrade your maximum HP. I had no oh, idea. Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. I didn't see people eat it. <laughs> yeah, I, oh. I, I saw I saw Bog do it uh, last night. He was like talking about it. Well, that's cool. That's more ways to increase your max HP. Nice. You're going to see people turning in their village requests. <laughs> and they're going to try to... They're going to be buying an elegant mask and filling up with all blue gemstones to sell this for a lot of money in order to be able to afford a rifle. And also a, a scope that comes for free. Thank you, merchant. Very, very nice yeah. of you to give us discounts yeah the menuing uh in like the menuing in general like buying stuff from the merchant and like just like maintaining your resources seeing what you need to buy what you can sell is one of the biggest difficulties i feel like in the run because it's like different every single time and here we do see some route differences bach for example is going to the middle island to pick up the red nine and also yeah. some backup money. And here we find the Gigante fight. You may have noticed that earlier runners did not go out the Mendes house and save the dog. That is deliberate because if you do save the dog, the Gigante will have more HP and the fight will take longer. But here without the dog, what you do is you basically try to bring out the Plaga as fast as possible and then shoot the Plaga as much as possible. That three times damage on the scope really, really comes to use here. Shooting the Plaga as much as possible, making sure that the Gigante goes down very, very quickly and does not have time to retaliate. You'll see that Plaga pop. And you'll see runners shoot it as much as they possibly can. And that's it. That's the fight. That's all of it. Beautiful. Yeah, there you go. That was a very Stunning. good question, Captain Ezekiel. Man, it's always a blast to watch the Gigante fight. Yeah, yeah, I uh, like watching it. Yeah, it seems that like Ooh. Captain Ezekiel is ahead of the game now. Zeke doing a great job at maintaining his lead. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Spicy went to wash his hands, uh, but he's actually still ahead time-wise, I think. Maybe. Nice. Sub-26 Gigante finish from Spicy. That is I had like really, really impressive. Blues. There's only a 30-second Gigante fight. Wow. 30 seconds. Uh, okay, uh, listen. <laughs> Man, that is so fast. And as you can see from QTT's perspective, uh, he has a lot of flashbangs. Four bullets. Flashbangs will yeah, very was... much come to use in the in the near future. Flashbangs are very very useful. Hey, they can take down the bits. Uh, plagas, plagged enemies you. instantly. 
I have heals. I have the egg. And later in the game, they'll be used. I have the eggies, bro. To completely blind big groups of enemies. Oh, I have a green herb. Especially in, I'm in places ammo, where enemies I, I sense, go I, rampant and have in the forest, total man. control of the area. Mock now. Heading up God against damn, Gigante. Yeah, he's also uh, doing really good on the money part. He had seven velvet blues. What? Insane. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> These drops are amazing. Yeah, he's the true businessman in this run. <laughs> he's the only one deserving of the suitcase that he's given. <laughs> yeah. You got worms too? Oh, 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 more oh, pistol oh, ammo drops? Oh, For him, oh, it's more velvet blues. Sign's up. <sighs> oh. QTT, though. Having a little bit of issues with the Gigante fight. Things Ooh. have gone away. The one cycle didn't work out. He's doing it impromptu. Taking him down into Falter State. Oh, but things uh, have gone awry, but he's done it anyways. There you go. Nice. There it is. Everyone is finishing up the Gigante fight. And it's time to rescue Ashley. Ooh, there we see it. Captain Ezekiel. Come on. Trying to do the ladder skip here. Which is basically, there it is. Which is basically after you rescue Ashley. Yeah, so the way the skip works is um, if you aim down sight, uh, for some reason your character will start clipping into whatever is behind them. We will see more of these, uh, these skips, basically. So yeah, they aim down sights and they clip through like the little ledge and then they drop down and they can run ahead without Ashley. Uh, yeah, Ashley's just safe, uh, chilling, just waiting for us to get to the next part. Ashley, Ashley's fine. She's just have, doing her own thing and waiting for us to, to make it to the cabin. Now we return to the to the burnt and destroyed village, where we are on our way to the cabin, which is one of the biggest and most major reset points for a couple Fuck. of reasons. What is that? Uh, the fight route is very very complicated. There, there's a what lot the of that? moving pieces going on. Things can not go according to plan very very quickly, and the fight is just. It's beautiful when done right. It is when it's clean. Yeah. It is clean. Yeah, like funnily enough, um, like the way they the speedrunners do the fight on professional helped me with my professional S plus uh, mm. playthrough. Yeah, it, it's just it's so well executed. I can't wait to see it. See, but every runner did the the ledge skip really well, so mm. GG's. Nice. Yeah, your entire body shifts when when you scope in, and so there are brief moments where a collision is ignored, and you can use that brief moment to just whoop go down collision <laughs> wherever you please. Mm -hmm. Oh. Orch is already on the on the cabin fight. That is very very quick. This fight yeah. is very complicated. Yeah. So uh, in the cabin, basically you want to board up the first floor ASAP. So what they do is they uh, snipe the first few villagers uh, from the windows, like all three windows, and then once all the boards drop, they board up the windows because then you will basically proc the next part faster where they you know where the villagers take the ladder and climb up once that happens all they have to do is like chill downstairs and shoot the remaining villagers and then the big cow guy will appear after they kill that guy uh they pick up the treasure and move on so it's a very streamlined uh it is so cool to see i always love seeing cabin it's very very cool and usually there is a uh, percentage, or rather a chance, that the villagers will or will not drop boards. But with the calculations the runner did, 
and how streamlined it is, they can usually calculate that um, after the seventh kill, there is usually going to be a board, and if the eighth kill, uh, sorry, if the eleventh kill is a granny, then sorry, if the twelfth kill is granny, she will probably definitely drop a board. Yeah, and the final Unless enemy being the others. Which I've seen before, and then she doesn't drop a board, which is bad RNG. That is just bad RNG. Yeah. If that's the case. So it seems that Arch got the, got the cow guy, and there he is. He finished cabin perfectly. Nice. Spicy also finished cabin. First, sorry, the first section of cabin. Mm hmm. What? Cabin is a very long, long fight. It's basically an auto-scroller on wheels, except very, very difficult to pull off correctly. With some uh, RNG elements to it. That's good. Oh boy. And after this, it... It doesn't really get easier either. That cabin village fight was hard, but it doesn't really get easier. Yeah, well, that's a good thing. It only only gets worse. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, runners have to trade in treasures now. And get the recipe for a flash grenade, which is very, very important. Earlier, we talked about how important the flash grenades were in terms of its ability to stun enemies. And Dude, immediately kill off Plaga enemies. I have too many large resources. Like, for two hand And now you have the ability to make it yourself. Which is going to come in handy very, very soon. Ooh, seems like Nevs is having a bad time in the cabin. Uh, oh no. Yeah, he's doing a few backup strats. Hopefully. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Low HP there. Yeah. Don't want to eat the golden egg. So it seems like he's getting a few extra resources. Uh, yeah, the cabin fight is not going as planned for him, but he's managing to pull through. Oh, Box Chaos is also not having a good time. He's out of ammo and he's got to craft more. Those resources, they really matter. Distortion, though. Finishing off Cabin cleanly. Oh, Ooh, fuck. things have gone awry. But he's done it! <gasps> he's killed the others. Now. He's out! No more Cabin. Oh. Man, this is what we mean by cabin being chaotic. Yeah, anything can go wrong. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like the village section oh. at the start, but worse. Oh, man. Imagine an entire village just being outside of you. A bunch of angry villagers just coming in <laughs> and trying to infect you with plagas. So Spicy here is heading to the uh, Bella Sisters, which is also a pretty hard part of the run. Um, but again, like the speedrunners have routed it so well. Uh, oh yeah, like you can see him shoot the lock through the door there, which is really cool. Yeah, Spicy right now is gonna oh. gonna take on the Chainsaw Sisters. This is where also RNG matters. We're gonna see him try to shoot the Chainsaw Sisters, and he gets a stun immediately. <clears throat> Which isn't exactly ideal. Oh, if on the second no. shot, ooh, narrowly avoids the chainsaw. Oh, he's getting fires a shot into the chainsaw cost. too. Oh, oh no. no! I am stressed. Ooh, things are not going too well. He's gotta, he's gotta fire six shots into the chainsaw sister's head to take her down and get the the tool that he needs. And he's got it. Oh, nice, nice. There you go. So yeah, the and next one should... he'll, he'll just like flash, <laughs> use a flash grenade, and yeah, get out of there. Oh, so chaotic. So chaotic. Oh my. My goodness. Oh, it seems that like, um, Captain Ezekiel has successfully left the sisters at 36 minutes and 30 seconds. Nice. So he's uh, chilling. 
Oh, money, my favorite. Dude, I have a hundred handguns. Is that the next part? Is that the next part? Is that the Mm-hmm. This is the part where Mendez is chasing you. And you gotta go fast. And you have to walk across the bridge without uh, any enemies grabbing Ashley. Yeah, in this run, grabbing if enemies grab Ashley, that is... Or an unintended grab is a lot of time loss. Because you would have to either flashbang that enemy, which immediately drops Ashley, or you would have to shoot the enemy, and, or even kill it in order to drop Ashley. But now we do see a skip that was performed, the Menda skip. You can see Orch performing Menda skip, which is when you are at a merchant, and you talk to the merchant, your inputs are still verified, allowing you to just basically walk out of bounds nice. if you're next to a RNG, wall. Baby. You can see Zeke do this. A couple more tries, maybe. There it is. Yeah, he there walks out go. of bounds just like that. Yeah, and the funny thing is, like, Mendoz is just chilling. In yeah. the <laughs> That's Spunky. my favorite thing. Yeah. Uh. Bach. Bach made a pass on the, uh, the Bella sisters. <laughs> nice. So don't want to get uh, don't want to get caught by any enemies there because if you're cranking that door and an enemy crawls up behind you, throws an axe at you, no matter how close you are to finished, you have to start cranking over. That has killed many runs for the runners. Orchas has successfully reached the castle and the end of the chapter at. 38 minutes and 13 seconds. Orchelon, the machine. The god gamer who spends countless hours grinding out games. Yep. He's proving his competence today. Oh, man. <laughs> I still think it's hilarious how you can just see Mendez outside, just chilling mm. there, having a good time. Waiting to be loaded into the map. You know, it, it saves computer resources. Oh, sadly, Nevs got a uh, hit uh, on the crank, like you mentioned oh. earlier. So he had to reload and do it again. Oh, poor Nevs. Yeah. QTT, though, is going to not get hit. Yeah, Ashley and... is getting grabbed, though, which is that kind that of is not great. scary. Yeah. yeah, with flash this grenades, you could just flash an enemy. They'll drop there Ashley immediately. Go. Uh, and in this game, there's a tech where if Ashley is far away, you could summon the close state of Ashley, where you, you tell Ashley to come close to you, and Ashley will run faster and have less of a chance of getting grabbed, which is going to be used a lot in this run. Uh, Spicy's going to do it pretty soon. On the way here, actually, Spicy lowered the cannon, which allowed it to rise up so that he wouldn't have to go down and unlock it again. So, as you can see, he's just gonna run straight to the cannon and open up the door after defeating a couple cultists here. Just gonna... Yeah, that cannon turns pretty slowly, but it's nothing we yeah, can't handle. Yeah, so, uh, like, for some reason, if you move the cannon slow, you go really fast. But yeah. if you try to move your mouse fast, the cannon goes incredibly slow. I don't know who did that, but it's quite horrible. It feels counterintuitive, but... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, I'm actually getting grabbed, but that's okay. Flashbangs are very, very useful. Ah, QTT, nice. Getting Mendez skip. Oh, no! Zeke's Ashley has just been taken down. Oh. Oh, that is unfortunate. He has to start over at where he saved last. And we're going to see Orch oh, yeah, do a rifle clip, clip here. Clip. Yeah. This one's the hardest one. This door is very, very thick. And ooh! Yeah. I've, first I've try. Done this, I've done this clip myself a few times, and I have been stuck for like half an hour sometimes. <laughs> yeah. It's not so, easy. Yeah, so again, how this works is they aim down sights. Your character clips, like your back clips through the door. And then you quickly flick your mouse and press F. And your character, like, 
for some reason, because you're half clipped through the door, you'll open it from the other side, which is super, super cool. I love that. It's it's great. You don't even... There's usually a huge section where you have to go downstairs, you have to fight um, some some enemies, and then you have to come up and then be able to open the, the door, but no. With a rifle clip, you just get straight through. Mm -hmm. Distortion coming up. Opening that door. Oh. Zeke, however. Did I just see Captain oh. Ezekiel? Oh no! No! Ashley got kidnapped! Poor That's Ashley. Orchlon. In water halls. Also a very, very RNG heavy section. The cultists can go any direction. They can do anything. And all of them, if dead, will spawn plagas. This section is quite the difficult one to navigate and to perform well. So many enemies on you. So many, many enemies trying to trying to take you down. Spicy here as well. These flashbangs are very useful. If you're grabbing a your flashbang just like that, you can be released. Yeah, flashbangs are like the almost almost the bread and butter of the the run. They're the butter. Yeah. <laughs> if I had to choose bread or butter, I'd, I'd choose the... Flashbangs are the butter, otherwise. Mm. The bread will be the rifle. Yeah, true, actually. True. Uh. So, Trey and Bok are at the exact same spot, which is pretty cool to see. Nice. At the same merchant, doing the same deals, selling the same things. Everyone's trying to get to the Crimson Lantern quite fast. But before that, as we can see on Spicy's perspective, is an Olive Scrollers section. After he's made it past Waterhall, and now he is, well, he is on Waterhall, and now he has to help Ashley not get grabbed while Ashley is um, okay? lowering the crank on some bridge to bring it up. And in this fight, there are many, many cultists that are heading towards Ashley. And yeah, luckily, the goal here... they, they have less health than normal, so they do go mm -hmm. down a bit faster than the like the regular cultists. This is where aim can really help. If you have good aim and you don't miss your shots, Ashley probably won't get grabbed. But if Ashley does get grabbed here, while doing a crank, Ashley will have to do the entire crank all over again. Which, if that happens, is... It's annoying. And as you can see, the section does take a little bit. Ashley turning on those cranks. And you protecting Ashley from getting grabbed. Yeah, this section, something that I learned uh, is that if you give Ashley the sunglasses, she actually doesn't get staggered by the flash grenades that you throw. <laughs> it's like, it's so simple, but I had no idea. I thought the sunglasses yeah. were cosmetic. That's why the sunglasses are not allowed in this run. It's because yeah. I, they um, do negate extremely the consequences of throwing a flashbang. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? Like, like a cosmetic actually have an effect in-game? That's That's really clever. I wonder if we're gonna see any uh, any friendos at the end of Waterhall here. Sometimes the AI the AI bugs out, and some cultists will just follow you around and yeah, be your friend. Yeah, it's kind of uh, cute. Yeah, they won't do anything. They won't hurt you. They'll just follow you around. I wonder if you can see that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and uh, at the end of Waterhall here. If you try to boost Ashley up, sometimes she'll Dude, take a long time to walk to you. get killed by fucking... You. Sometimes she'll get there immediately. It really does depend. Trey, though, is on the rifle clip. Ooh, there are enemies on your back, though. That's why you gotta get a first try. Otherwise, there's, there's gonna be enemies on you. Oh, he's on 1 HP. And he's gonna get it. He's got one more chance. No! Oh, he's got it! <gasps> nice. What a clutch, but... Last one. Oh, Ashley is... Ashley oh, is grabbed! No! No, Trey! Oh, Leon. He's gotta heal himself oh, first. Oh no, Trace, throw a flash. The flashbang. I'm not getting one. Doesn't work out. 
No, don't inspect the egg. You gotta eat it. <laughs> he's got one shot. No! Ashley! Oh? Oh, he's freed her! That's fucking horseshit, man. Jesus that was Christ. very stressful. <laughs> what a save. Oh, man. The sniper shot. Beautiful, yeah, beautiful. He has enough resources now for water haul. He might have to craft a few extra rifle runs. Mm hmm. He also used the flashbang. Oh. Spicy is on the Crimson Lantern fight. Trying nice. to get the Crimson Lantern from the cultist. There it is. Treasure routing is also beginning here. People are trying to save up, save up enough money for eventually a rocket launcher. Ooh. So as to not overspend money or use money in the wrong ways. Seems like QTT had a rough time in the water really hole, but he's Ooh, recovering, which is good. Oh, and there's Orchlon hanging the the lantern. Oh, Zeke though. Did not use any flashes in the second part of Waterhall. Quite impressive, if I might say so myself. Orch and just happened. Spicy has hit the Ada cutscene at 46 minutes and 40 seconds. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty pretty good. 46? Nice. Mm -hmm. Doing some puzzles here and there. So you can see that puzzle by Orchalon. This one, a lot of puzzles. No, every single puzzle in this game is can be memorized. And can be done very, very quickly if you know what to do. There's thankfully no RNG elements in these puzzles. Oh, Sniper shots. Yeah, seems like, yeah. like Nubs is trying to hang in there. Nubs, the Brazilian god gamer. Oh, doing his best! Oh, he's yes, ready to go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> nice. Hopefully Ashley does not get kidnapped at the end, but it usually doesn't happen. Yeah. Because if you run far away enough, the the enemies kind of like de-aggro, so even if Ashley runs through them, they won't do anything. She said meeting you once was enough. Yeah, and that's where you get the the friendos who follow you. Yeah. QTT gonna boost up Ashley finishing this chapter. We also got a few new donations. Uh twenty dollars from Headbang Tiger. $10 from Brent Chuck and $50 from Jackson Lee saying watching at 4.30 a.m. in Australia. Good luck to the runners. Thank you so much. Nice. Uh, currently, the, the prize pool is at $7,175. And again, all the proceeds go directly through the runners. So thank you everyone for the big support. Ooh, nice dodge there by Spicy. He saw that one coming. He's got eyes behind his back. This is wow. so annoying, dude. That was impressive. Yeah, the, the parries and the dodges you see in these runs sometimes are insane. Yeah, like they require very, very it. quick that reaction times, there. especially if you see not work at all. a hammer or an axe come towards your face. Mm -hmm. A lot of times you just let it happen, but these runners, they're something different. They catch it on the spot. We're, we're gonna head up to our second Gigante fight, a quick one, which is just gonna be a cannon this shot. This sucks, man. Taking down the Gigante in one shot. There like it no is. Healing. Beautiful, beautiful section. Spicy. There's also two fun skips right before the Gigante fight. Maybe uh, we'll see one of the other runners do it. I, I actually forgot about mm -hmm. those skips. Oh, yes. Fun little sequence breaks. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, as you can see, Trey is uh, hanging on there, trying to get through Waterhall. Oh. Very, very tough section. 
Oh yes. Serving, a lot of improv needed zero. in this section. Things don't behave the same way every time. Yeah. QTT just got the oh, crimson lantern. Ashley too. That is just perfect. Oh no! Oh, oh Ashley's baby. being kidnapped! It's got one shot. He did it. She'll come back here and like. Yeah, Trey is um, not having the best time, but he is Jesus. doing his best. Oh, but Ashley, she's down. She's incapacitated. Oh, there you go. She got up. Oh, she got back up. Nice. Thanks to Trey, his uh, bopping movements. <laughs> That's great. Come on. Doing some squats in the meantime, exercising those legs. Oh, here Gotta we make can sure see you stay healthy. the skip. So, oh, yes. uh, he throws a nade at that Everything. fire there, and it opens the gate from the other side. Because which I've is really cool. A lot of uh, gunpowder, so I can't afford to craft them when you have it. There's also it. one small break before that. Um, I think we'll see one of the other runners head there soon. Uh, you can basically shoot the tiny, tiny lock at such a specific angle and just skip the entire section of going uh, underground, basically. So they're opening the gate good. from the wrong side. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, Orchelon, Ashley just got grabbed by a dog there real quick. These dogs are very, very dangerous. They are tanky, they are fast, they are mobile, and they can grab Ashley on a whim. It is an, an imperial to not have Ashley get grabbed by these dogs. Oh my god. <laughs> and and oh these no, dogs can get plugged as well. <laughs> Man. This section, they have to lower three flags in order to continue. Nevs is heading towards that uh, fun, like, lock skip section, so we get to see the first part here. Mm-hmm. First, he's gonna make his way through these enemies. Also, if you look down, if you pan your camera down, uh, the enemies are less likely to hit you. A lot of runners do that, but I'm not sure if it's like an actual thing or I don't know. It, it's very interesting. I do it myself a lot, and I seem I feel like it helps. It it seems to help with the experience of myself and other runners. Mm -hmm. It seems to make the enemies less aggro on you. Yeah. I've ever seen. Oh, see, there we saw QTT perform the lock skip. And Spicy's on a good pace. Oh, there's a new one. The crap team from like. Ooh. On low HP. Ray forced Game. to eat a big heal. Oh, and no, no Ashley's Ray. getting grabbed. Man, that oh, cultist yeah. is dangerous. I believe Ashley was in the middle of cranking that. Continuing like a no reset run like this though is very um like honestly it's very like commendable. Like, like, I, I respect it 100. Mm -hmm. Like usually there's like two because you're gonna like be like spawn, resources. No, you're gonna be like you know it's just it's such like a waterfall here. effect almost. Jesus mm -hmm. fucking Christ! If there's one more, enemy when thing goes wrong, it all starts going wrong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you use one resource, everything else gets okay, affected. Get your money, your inventory. All of it. Being able to maintain and to stay calm and to not panic is critical to being able to continue a run this hard and yeah. this precise. Uh, spicy here is at, is, is at the second part of the castle. There's a fun skip coming up here. Uh... So, yeah, so he's gonna throw a nade or a flash at the guy that pulls the lever to lower the gate. If he times it correctly, he can just run through. This is incredibly fun to do. Anyone can do this. It's so much fun. <laughs> yeah, there you go. go Look ahead, at that. Skip. Oh, it's so smooth. <laughs> nice. The goal here is to collect three, uh, three animal heads. I believe one's a lion, a snake, and a goat head, which will open a door. Flashbang here is necessary, and it, it always it's always fun to see runners stare straight into the flashbang because my instincts tell me to look away from the flashbang, even in game. Mm -hmm. And it's always funny when when I see people stare straight into the flashbang. I think yeah. that's that's quite a fun thing. Ooh, running past these cultists isn't as easy as it seems because sometimes you do get blocked completely by the cultists. 
and you have to choose a different way out. Alright, I dare say work. And if they get unstunned, they can start attacking you or grabbing it's Ashley, and uh, neither of those is great. Or both, they could do both at the same time, which is even worse. Rifle and shoddy, that's awesome. This also now made it to the second part of the castle. Uh, Ashley's kidnapped though, I don't know if that's an- Oh, he oh, yes, a that's intentional. through the- Ah, that's, that's <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> so the way that works is, when Ashley is being carried by the cultists, right, I'm and you all have entered the next loading zone, heavy nade, if hopefully. Ashley gets off, uh, Ashley will teleport to you. So you basically wouldn't have to worry about Ashley at all. Hmm. It's it's very neat and very cool, and it saves a lot of headaches and troubles of dealing with the cultists and all that. Navs and Ezekiel making it through the maze quite smoothly. And Orchlon is at the section oh where God, he needs to uh, shoot the Plagas in the armored guys. And this section is so much fun. Like, I think it's like my favorite Ooh. section because like Ashley is really good at helping you here. Like she will throw blue fire and the the uh, armor dudes Ashley. will get like stunned. Yeah, Bam. just like that. So good. Just like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's honestly my favorite part. So satisfying seeing the armor fall apart on the floor. Mm -hmm. It just goes and it crumbles down. Bam, a kick to the head. Spicy. Finished with the armor section. Wow, that's fast. Yeah, I believe he's on PB pace, which is uh, really? very crazy, honestly. Holy moly. Oh, dude, what's happening? Last night we were just talking about this, but oh, Distortion took the record from Spicy the second time in this tournament that Spicy didn't have the record. Mm -hmm. And if you could get the record right here, right now, that would be so impressive. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, oh, dealing, so much damage dealing with these armored guys, the armados, is kind of scary because there are multiple of them and there gets more and more of them. And knowing which ones have been, uh, are at which stage of their health is Make another very, flash. very helpful and also hard to keep Clear track of. My inventory. Mm -hmm. Knowing which ones you hit, which ones are still fresh and unar unharmed is quite important. You can see inventory space is getting low compared to the start of the run where half your suitcase was uh, was being filled by things and now almost all of it's gone and this is where the management really comes to comes to life. You need to know I how much how close like like this and all the other runners know where the blue fire is gonna fall so they like stand at the right spot. Uh, I just I love seeing that. That's great. It's like actually throwing so down efficient. these flames. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bam. Ooh, low HP there. Thankfully you don't take damage from the flames, but still. It's always scary when you're on low HP. Mm -hmm. Even a gust of wind yeah. could take you down. In professional, it's really fast to uh, to die. I think like two hits, three, and you're you're gone. Oh yeah, it is so fast. I love how these armored guys stay frozen and you just kick them, revealing the plagas. Hey, okay? Nav's doing the nade skip here. Very smooth. Nice. Oh, oh! oh he actually missed it. Ooh. I'm surprised. That looks spot on. Oh it did. no. Oh. It must have been like a fraction too late. Ah. I, I, I jinxed it. I'm sorry, Nuffs. I, I totally jinxed that. Commentator's curse. Yeah. But it's all right. Oh, that is painful. I think he's in despair right now. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Holding that up key. Holding that W key. Pressing up strats. Oh, the pain. I think he's like in real life soft locked. <laughs> yeah. Soft locked in the room. Unable to to progress. If you don't hit a goat head skip, it is 
it's a bit painful. Yeah, this section is incredibly rough. And also, it completely messes up your your ammo and resources. Mm -hmm. And look at the amount of cultists there are. They are waterfalling. Oh man, and Ashley is being grabbed. <laughs> well, in the meanwhile, uh, Dist and Orch are uh, very, very chill, making it through the Ashley section. Hanging out, having a good time, running <laughs> as Ashley. And the puzzles in the Ashley section are also fixed, so the clock puzzle and like the lantern puzzle, pretty straightforward. Oh, poor Nebs. Ashley just got caught. Yeah. He's oh, he's so far back. Oh I no! Can't even, like, save at the castle park. Oh no. Oh no. That's pretty no. bad. <laughs> but he'll be he'll be okay. He, he's he's got this. He's I, fine. I didn't expect him not to make a safety save. Bam! Kick to the face. These armored guys go down relatively fast, but there are a lot of them. Gonna hit one of these fucking parries, dude. And it's always better to stay on the cautious side here. Mhm. Mm they also have a very, very small. I wouldn't say very small, but compared to other enemies, their hitboxes aren't very huge. And being able to hit these shots at close range or far range is very, very yeah. important, especially if not... they're charging at you and their hitboxes start moving. The little plagas, they jiggle all over the place. It's, it's hard to hit them. It really is. Yeah, especially the one that has the Plagas on his back. Oh, yeah. Uh, very annoying one. It's the angry Plagas wailing all over the place being angry. Oh, wow. A shot blocked by the, the sword. I wonder how rare that is. Unlucky. Actually out of ammo. No rifle. Oh, no. Pistol shotgun hot swap. That'll seal the deal. And looks like Trey made it to the... Oh, he almost is at the second part of the castle. He's still making his way through the maze. Nice. Got some new Welcome. I've got something new. It's the flag being this lowered. Very I'm nice. We've been saving that one. A dozen. I offer repair services. Yeah, runners have to... Have... Oh, Speaking of resources, runners do have to have heavy grenades and regular grenades for the double garroter fight, which is very, very annoying without it. So you can see runners, they're going to be stocking up on nades. And they're going to have heavy nades in their inventory. They're not going to use it as much as they would like to because of, because of the double garroter fight that is coming up. Ah. And also nobies. Here, and here is also the second door clip. Another very, Ooh. very annoying door to clip through. Nice. First try. Wow. <laughs> the Novi is a not-so-interesting fact about them, but they were once human, which I found that to be... Ooh, actually knocked off the stairs. Wow. Oh, he's, he still had a base. He still had a fish. That was from a while ago, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, part is very annoying because the, the Novis, they just don't leave you alone. And there's so many. There's like a thousand Novis. And we do have uh, some new donations coming in. Oh, nice. $10 from Tiffany Lockhart saying, Everyone is doing a great job. This is such a cool event to watch. And $10 from Kennedy1710 saying, Love to see this type of events. Thank you all. Oh, Orchelon dealing with the Nobis. Hopefully, he doesn't get knocked off the stairs. They are quite annoying. They're mobile. Oh, wow, kick through the shelf. Neon's legs are. Uh, okay, I'll pick it. Have transcended. <clears throat> yeah, the kicks do um, a lot of damage during the Chrysler section, actually, the first Chrysler fight. Mm -hmm. Uh, they can, like, crit and destroy Chrysler. <laughs> it's always funny to think about that Leon's legs can critical damage Jack <laughs> yeah. Browser. 
Here we are at uh. the double Garador. Yes. Uh, so basically, they shoot a bell, and this is where they use the heavy nades. Oh, I believe there it's it is. two heavy nades Bam. and one normal nade, and they'll be dead. Yeah, there it is. It's so oh, it's so good. This strat is oh, so the good. Garador. It's a, it's a it's a beautiful fight. Ooh, actually unlucky. Some cultists really survived. Good. Usually they'd be all dead, but that's fine. He takes down both the garroters swiftly, and now is heading on to the next section. And like all these strats really like help you get S plus and professional. If anyone needs to do that, like it's such it's such a lifesaver. Professional is very very difficult, and what these runners do is very streamlined and. Um, of course, they are in a speedrunning setting, which means that their resources are going to be even tighter. But, you know, under normal circumstances, it is, if you would like, you know, doing these strats is, would very much help you out. You see heavy grenades being crafted. Yeah, I have 17 gunpowder slots. That's better than I thought. And those grenades are heavy. They take up double the space as a normal grenade. Truly are heavy. Seems that Nevs got past the uh, the small mishap. He's now at the armor section. Nice, catching up slowly. Very good. You will see runners purposefully not killing cultists or any other enemies. That is so that they won't uh, oh, trigger on. the plagas to to come out, which can be very annoying. Seeing a giant plaga enemy running towards you. Face first. Yeah, and um, this does caught up quite well for despite that first death he had in this run. Uh, and you know, you see like how, yeah, like this speedrun is uh, can go like south so fast, or you can catch up like anything goes, which is why this tournament is incredibly like uh, nerve wracking. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, Orch is actually going to show off a, a, a very cool trick uh, relatively soon. He's in the sewer section and is heading up to another uh, very, very difficult section, but right now he's <laughs> inspecting a, a body, but now he's going to head over and do a out-of-bounds trick. So this trick... He, when Leon is in the animation of crawling... If you just turn your camera, Leon will start to walk out of bounds. As demonstrated, it's not its not rocket science per se. It's not very difficult, but this navigation is pretty precise. If you miss the navigation and you snap, you will be put back in bounds. That's why he's oh, checking his map that. periodically. Yeah. And getting the elegant crown, some runners do that, some will not. Some runners go back in bounds and get the, the elegant crown. Some will do what Orch just did. That elegant crown is also very, very important. You put five gemstones on it, you sell it for 100k. Which is a lot of money. And they're going to need that for the rocket yeah. launcher. Mm -hmm. And also, I guess the out of bounds, uh, you know, makes it so the Novi stones get you. Mm -hmm. Novi's are, they can be very, very uh, pesky to deal with. Especially at the runners these level the at the level oh, these runners are at, blue. having more enemies oh, to distract you from is whew. Oh, who are you? Velvet it can be blue. very painful. Velvet blue. Spicy is almost oh, at the Velvet vertical. Blue. Oh yeah, just pulling a lever he has this rocket launcher out. Lincoln, you miss it. When he turns a corner. There's gonna be a vertigo. There it is. You can miss this shot, but he doesn't. And that's it. That's the vertigo down. Oh. That's what the rocket launcher was for. 160k. Oh, velvet blue. To take him all down. Who are you? Yeah, missing the rocket launcher at Verdugo would be um quite tragic. <laughs> I've seen it happen before, actually, with uh, one of our runners here. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I've seen it. It's very tragic. I, uh, during Orchlon's run, I saw him as <laughs> for a two-go point-blank with the rocket launcher. 
That was a. Why? 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 Missing the vertigo is is very very troublesome because there is an elevator there that if you do miss the vertigo and you do have to fight him, you are on a four minute timer essentially, and you will have to wait four minutes in order to. Why? 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 In order to get a sub two with that four missing minutes, you would have to get a one. Why? 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 After he runs through the mines. Orch is going as well. And Ezekiel. The double Garrett fight. It's gone quite well for him. Both are dead instantaneously. No need for cleanup. And he gets them all. Everyone is heading over. Dist. Almost at the Vertigo fight. And there it is! Hopefully he doesn't miss. And he doesn't! <laughs> Center a <of> mass. <laughs> Although, I mean, it would be kind of funny if it, if it happened. It, it, it would be kind of funny. I'm, 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 I'm not hoping to see it, but I'm kind of hoping to see it. You know? But, uh, how evil of me, but... Make sure I have flashes. Yeah, the, this comeback in this tournament is quite quite impressive, honestly. Ooh! Mm -hmm. Idiot. This is doing very, very good. He's catching up. If you remember, this was quite a bit behind earlier uh, when he took a fall. But now he's 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 only a bit behind Spicy. Bok here is selling the crown for the rocket launcher. 100k. That's a lot of money. It's one of the most satisfying things you can do in this game, selling the crown for 100k. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Oh, Spicy is now at the underground, or like the mining section, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this part is also pretty fun, so he will go straight for the lever here and avoid the chainsaw lady. Mm -hmm. uh, then he will run down, parry the chainsaw lady. Well, it depends, like, you know, to save time because the bridge needs to come down and it takes a while. It's not a big timer. So he'll just, like, run out, flash, and then... That's it. It's pretty straightforward, but a lot of things can go wrong here as well. Uh, like the chainsaw guy can actually inventory follow you until the, where you place the dynamite. So They're kind of chilling, kind of not. Just yeah. trying to make it before the bridge actually lowers. And you can see the runners don't have their pistol anymore, but instead a TMP. They bought it because the TMP is essentially just a... Ooh, Spicy gonna get trapped oh, there. No. Two chainsaw guys on his... Ooh! Oh man! What the fuck is he avoided happening? that. What a save, dude! Like I at this point, I don't know if he's showing off or. <laughs> <laughs> Must be. I stood there to parry. I don't even have a knife. Okay, this part is also pretty. Thank God he missed. Oh my God! Go through, but I don't have a knife. Right. So let's see if the chainsaw man follows him. Fuck uh, you! Oh, oh God! Oh, gonna get grabbed. That's not good. That's not good. Ah, <laughs> oh, the fine. viper. Delicious meal. Oh my fucking and, god! Yeah, you, you'll see what that the runners happened? have a TMP, which is essentially just a pistol, but better in every single way. Faster fire rate, more ammo capacity, more damage. You know, everything is just better. It does cost a little bit of money, but it runs on a, a cheaper and better ammo source. And it also, yeah, it seems to like stagger the enemies faster. Mm -hmm. More chances to hit them, more chances to stagger them, which is very, very nice. Yeah. Especially if you're a trap like Spicy was. Ooh. Dude. Oh, oh my god, is that trap that connected to the old man's crew? He makes it through. So does this. <laughs> Look at his smile, he's having a good time. <laughs> Whip upgraded knife, yeah, I'll try my best to remember. This as well, taking up the dynamite. Time to blow up the wall. Everyone throws, throws a flashbang here. It's not 100% necessary. You can do the section without. 
but it becomes very scary. And enemies will chase you, they'll hit you. And, ooh, the double garrotter fight. Spice is on it. This fight is very, very important. You may not have seen it, but Spicy threw a couple a grenade and a heavy grenade to take down the first armored Garador. And oh, I think he threw oh, that. Double top to one man. Really, the flash. I'm not too what sure. He... Yeah. Uh, he needs to lure the second Gigante. Pardon me. Over. To be able to drop him in. Seems like he has to find him normally now. That's uh, oh, it was a bit too fast on the flash. Oh, drop him in, drop him in, the... drop him in. Oh. Stagger. Abstract. Nice. <laughs> there you go. The gigante falls through into the lava. This also on this fight. Yeah, this. The hand cannon. You caught up so fast. I'm like surprised. Like I'm so impressed. Good. The consistency on this man. Yeah. There, he gets a very clean fight. Oh. And Nevs is hanging on. Uh, he's doing great with the double Gyarados. Also a clean fight from Nevs. Nice. Good job, Nevs. And same Hooray. with Trey. Like, they both... Like, oh, uh, I feel like their runs evened out a bit. So mm -hmm. they are right. recovering from the mishap. And remember, there's always a chance to, to catch on. There's still 40 minutes left in this run. 40, 45. All of them can still catch on. People can make mistakes. Why are People you can, here? can oh, perform tricks so bad. perfectly so and bad. save time. Have you seen the prize pool? It's 7,777 and 77 cents. <laughs> Woohoo! That's chat's favorite number is seven. Seven. Yep. <laughs> QGT viewers will be happy. Yeah. The sevens, they're up. True. Oh no, fuck! Oh, the chainsaw! Oh, that knife's taking a beating, that's gone! Oh! Oh, body armor saves him. Body he can leave. Low. He's making it through. Hopefully, he has a flash to get out, though. I can't be the only one that feels really bad for that knife. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Because of the body armor, that's why I survived. Oh no, Ray's getting. Ooh. He got bombarded with enemies for a Please second there, but he's out. Chainsaw guy. Like, Still high HP. Fucking bad enough. The Garador's taken down. Did. Did QTD's. Unfortunately, his stream is down. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh, all the streams are loading. Oh yeah, in the um in the meanwhile, we have a a another huge donation, by the way. Uh five hundred dollars from Zero Wing. Incredible, thank you so much. Nice, all the receipts go directly to the runners, so thank you so much. And this cause is a very very good cause you know it, it's a great competition an amazing event hosted by waifu and all of the money here does as uh as lara said goes uh straight to the runners mm -hmm. and currently we're trying to make sure that the top four runners get their normal share and the bottom runners get as much as we can provide them Come so if you like here. to see you know the, the the bottom runners also get some appreciation feel free to donate Bach, however, still needs what is to this? lure like, the Gigante never seen this in my life. over above the lava pit. Finally, the Gigante is a little, little bit slow. Here. Step by step, though, he's almost on there. Gonna stun him. Oh my god. Does this work? He's a bit close to the edge. And he's got it. The Gigante goes down. Nice. Very nice. Everyone's almost on the minecart section, which is essentially... An eight-minute auto scroller. Zeke, however. Captain, yeah, Captain Ezekiel making his way through the the chainsaw mine part. He seems like oh, he's scary uh, he's running past fine. this chainsaw lady here. Yeah, she's 
quite scary. If she swings like that, ooh, and that's knife gone. But it's okay, it was only a boot knife. Expendable. I wonder how inventory management is for these runners. Last I saw, Spicy was having some trouble with inventory. But the other runner seemed fine. Oh, he's gonna get blasted! Oh. <clears throat> yeah, the knockback on the dynamite was pretty bad. <laughs> that TMP is working magic. In Captain Azito also back. did not pick up the treasure behind him, so it must mean he's good on cash. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll also be safer for him to get out of here. Hopefully I won't jinx it. Make he cool. has 17k, <laughs> which, is, which is... it's okay. Normally I see people at 13k where he was, but... Oh, Nev! Taking down the Garador just like that. Beautiful shot, center of mass. Oh man, it's actually going backwards, probably to collect stuff. Yeah, seems that everyone is doing pretty smoothly right now with the, with their runs. No more huge memes or anything. Nice dodge. Didn't get hit there. We're ready for the vertigo. One more turn and Vertigo's gonna come up any time now. You can see the footstep, it's creeping, and bam to the feet. It's interesting, some runners choose to shoot at the floor, some choose to shoot center of mass. I'm not sure which one is better, if any at all. Shooting at the floor is um like slightly better, I don't know. Probably safer, right? Mm hmm You can still miss the body, but you can't miss the floor. Captain Ezekiel, is that the Gigantes? Nice. Big Nambo. If you don't successfully dunk every single uh, Gigante, either by, you know, killing the first armored Gigante quickly, or taking down the second Gigante by dunking in a lava, you will have to wait for Louise to bring over dynamite, which is pretty slow. It's, yeah. it's not ideal. Hmm. A little hard for me to put my faith in Nev now. Used to work for Dynamite section, mine. He's having uh, a good by, time. By the way, guys, I know the prize pool is at the beautiful number, 7,777 and 77 cents, but... Could we maybe raise it to 10k today? That would be incredible to like support the runners and support the events. Uh, yeah. So let's see if we can reach that 10k. That'd be incredible. Um, either way, thank you guys so much for all the support so far. Currently, uh. In the lead is Spicy, uh, followed closely followed by Orch and this. This does catching up quite well. Uh, then we have Bok in fourth place, followed by QTT in fifth, Captain Ezekiel in sixth, Nevs and Trey in seventh and eighth. All of them doing quite well, honestly. Like despite the the mishaps, all of them are doing pretty pretty good on this no reset run. All of them trying their best, doing their damnedest. To become the champion. Distortion trying to catch up. Can we see a distortion two time champion? As you may know, Distortion won the previous Resident Evil 8 Village speedrunning tournament, also held by Waifu. Yeah, that tournament was also fantastic. <laughs> amazing, amazing tournament. And ooh, Nebs doesn't throw a flash, or rather a nade there. Gets it done nonetheless. Yeah, I'm not sure if that nade was intended, but you know, it's it's working out. It worked. It worked. Yeah, in order, order to catch up a bit, you have to be like play a little bit more aggressive and greedy, uh, or you can just like stay safe, of course. Mm -hmm. Good luck to you, Dave. And spicy, and spicy, however, is done with the minecart. wing, like usual. <laughs> I can't even see what's happening. <laughs> 
Fast manuing. More time save. The minecarts are done. And now we're going to have a little elevator section here. I jumped over here. And I heard that if you don't kill that Nobis, the the next section would be more consistent. The one that he crossed. Hmm. I don't know if it's true, but I guess we'll see. Oh, we're at $7,800. Thank you. So this here is a Kreiser fight. Uh, and parrying in the professional is really, really hard. You can't spam spacebar like you can with other difficulties. So it has to be slightly more uh, frame perfect, I'd say. Ooh. But definitely, definitely doable. The QTEs oh, nice here really, really matter. Oh, and wow, what a fast Krauser fight. Yeah. Yeah, the kicks are very important. Uh, like I said before, the kicks, they can crit. So, yeah. Jack Krauser's got a weak spot for legs. Yep. <laughs> Distortion also here, along with Orch. Bam! A kick to the face. That's... Also taking down this Jack Krauser very, very quickly. Beautiful stuff by the runners. That Jack Krauser fight. Yeah, that's pretty good. Notorious for being RNG. Or having RNG. Oh, Trey and here. Here we the, see the full. The two Gigantes. Taking down the armor of one first. As per usual. Oh, Trey! Oh, he got stomped on! You don't want to get stomped by one of those things. Nice, he takes him down. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, Trey really yeah, knows how to get himself out of like mishaps I've seen, which is very impressive. He gets himself out of these pesky situations and takes yeah. down the Gigante. And QTT is uh, doing the minecart section, which is pretty straightforward. Yeah, it's a bit of an auto scroller. Uh, it's it's a bit of a breather for the runners, I'd say. It is. It's I, a nice break. No, you know what? From yeah. all the no. intense action and all the explosions that is happening, it's more of a just aim and shoot type of ride. Mm. And Spicy here is making his way to the clock tower, uh, which is followed by a really nasty boss uh, called Salazar, or also Salad Bar for those here, that are, like... uh, you know. <laughs> In no the Resident Evil community, they love saying it that way. Up the... uh, yeah, no, not, no there's a very interesting no. strat behind this boss, which we will see later. Uh, we're gonna kill this boss in a very non-traditional way. Uh, not foreshadowing at all, but hey, remember that, that golden egg <laughs> that we spoke of? Yeah, not foreshadowing. <laughs> but yeah, this is also kind of an auto-scroller, the clock tower. As you can see, Spicy went behind the statue in the middle. Taking it down, exploding it, and now he's making his way up to an elevator. And on this elevator ride, enemies will try to climb on your elevator. And if at any point el um, a cultist climbs, climbs on your elevator, it will be stopped. The entire elevator will, will stop. So the goal here is to keep the elevator going for as long as possible without anyone climbing on that elevator. Also doing some tricks and shenanigans to make sure that enemies don't spot you by positioning yourself on a wall and aiming down sights with a rifle scope. That helps a lot. Yeah, those dodges are really, always really fun to see. Here it is. It begins. All over here. No! Ray also on the, the minecart section now. If you're gonna give me ammo, it needs to be over here. Good, good. Yeah, that was a good the, loop. That was a good um, loop! I see that Bok is oh, heading guys, towards the loop. Chrysler fight. Alright, guys. Hope you like throw rides. Huh, I wonder why Luis is not there afterwards. Yeah, pretty strange. Must have gone back home. <laughs> Went to a farm upstate. What? Poor Luis. Poor Luis. I mean, I mean, he's fine. He's fine. Don't worry just about it. He's about he, this is so bad, dude. Please, just give me a good that spicy anything. is on. A lot of it comes down to being able to kill enemies in one shot with your uh. rifle. 
and thankfully, no enemies oh God, sprout. Oh god, what are you doing? doing the combo. So this is a terrible fight. As long as you know where the barrels are. Ooh, I actually missed the barrel on the first shot. As long as you are able to hit these enemies. And oh! Are we still fine? If, if you kill the enemies fast still enough, still the moment they drop down the elevator, it won't stop. Mm hmm. Summoner usually takes wow, much, I don't know many why more that, shots like... to take down, but. Still, it's nothing they can't handle, especially if your rifle ammo is good here and you haven't expended too much ammo. Uh, if your ammo routing is fine, then you will be fine on this fight. But for people who unfortunately expended too much ammo, um, it does get more difficult. Or it seems like just going to have barely enough ammo to get himself yeah, out of this Yeah, this almost on the exact same like part in the run. <laughs> Pretty cool. Ooh, nice headshot by Dist. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was pretty incredible. A sick he, shot to take down that cultist. He's ready go too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, spicy oh, probably spent more time pausing to folks. think about what to do. Oh, <laughs> just, I messed up. It's fine though. He continues on like nothing happened. It's very annoying when the summoner starts humming. Uh, I wonder if Spicy is at, I'm not talking uh, shit. Salazar, That's literally so an explanation the, for as to why strats? the timers are desynced. He had to go wash his hands. Oh, okay. Like, he should be there <laughs> almost, like, like soon, I think. Mm -hmm. Also, I think to note... Hey, oh, he's Spicy's making his way there. Oh, sorry. But that bridge, you can't run on it. If you run on it, it will fall. So you, you just kind of have to slowly, like, sprint and then not sprint, sprint, not sprint to make sure that mm -hmm. you don't basically disrupt the structural integrity of the bridge. All right, are you guys ready for the best part in the entire run? <laughs> the Salazar fight? Yeah, which also, by the way, comes with the greatest dialogue in the game. I won't spoil it if you want to hear it for yourself. Here it comes. So OK, he snipes a few times. Then the and, oh, egg. What's he doing with the egg? What's he doing? BAMS! Oh! Woo! 70% of HP gone just yep. like that on a win. So the golden egg is kind of an easter egg. Um, it removes like up to 70% of Salazar's health. Now mm -hmm. Capcom added hints to that. In Salazar's throne room, there's a side quest that says, you know, like egg his portrait. And in the throne room, he also has a golden egg locked behind a puzzle. So he locked away his biggest, uh, you know, his biggest. Oh. And then the broken butterfly to finish him off. Yep, very fast. Rest in peace, Salazar, you will be egged. Man. Yeah, very, very fun strat. That elevator that Spicy is on, you can skip it in standard this, by this flipping it, out of bounds, it. but this is professional, so won't be seeing any of that. Everyone's getting Thank clean Salazar God. fights. Yeah. Nobody misses the egg. Everyone's gonna miss the egg. Yeah. <laughs> It's pretty easy to miss, honestly. The hitbox is quite wonky on it. Ah, oh, that's it so is. Sick it thing, is. man. I hate the timing thing. No ammo. When Salazar starts strafing dare, to the right, you, can't waste any you, you gotta the hit asshole. that shot with the egg. Yeah. So Trey here is um, enjoying the minecart section. Bok is guys enjoying the thoughtful. elevator. That's, that's, and that's QTT got news. grabbed. Oh no. Oh, holy shit, my dudes. Oh, he's so though he's gonna thoughtful. make it up the elevator. He's gonna. It's time to go up. Gloria Las Plagas! Oh, shit! Let's go! Spicy just got done with chapter Glory. 2, heading to 13 Island. Oh, it's not reloaded. Which is one of the harder chapters. It's almost to Martina. We keep saying things get hard, but it only gets harder. It's almost to Martina. Yep. <laughs> the further it's down almost... you go, the harder things get. Oh, my ears! The more chaotic routes are. Yep. And you can Definitely. eat your own butt while you're up there, too. Yeah, Bok is doing pretty good Thirsty. on the, the elevator section. Sorry, lift's Sorry. Taken. Lift's taken, asswipe. And so is QTT. Yeah, nice. you got stains in your underwear, oh. you fucking... Seems that everyone is now done with the minecarts. Someone else Martina. I don't even know who the hell Martina is, but... On the villagers and cultists... We're gonna see some very, very cool routing here. So spicy. Oh, yeah. 
Here's a really cool, uh, kind of like a scoop, that was I suppose. Uh, so, Spicy is going to bait the turret guy, uh, or like the, the pig mask guy. Nice! <laughs> oh, wait, that's another strat. I haven't seen that one. Can you explain that, Mute? So that one is because the turret is blocking you from the door. Where's the other dude? You throw a nade to oh, yeah. basically that, that push the guy out. that is on the stairs into mm -hmm. the line of sight of the turret so that, so that the turret will attack that oh, person, which cool. allows you to go through. Oh, that's so cool. I ha I've only seen the old strat, like, you know, where you bait him into the, the mm -hmm. turret and then run past. That is so cool. I need to try that myself now. <laughs> it's very, very cool. And yeah. it's not too difficult. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you get that, it, it's so cool. Like uh, the alternative is going around the entire turret, which is a lot of time loss. And Dis gonna do a different. Oh, gets oh. shot in the shoulder, but that's okay. Does get it anyways. Oh, oh my god! I need to try that new turret strat. I'm, like, <laughs> it's so I'm gonna cool. try it after after the tournament. That's so cool. It's so cool. Oh man. Oh, I think Orch, uh, Orch died. Uh, he's tr gonna have to redo it. Oh, oops. Yeah, he's he's behind now. I'm be behind four. Orch, though. You can see our different routings here. Some people will choose to stealth kill. Some people just shoot soldiers outright. And bam! Look at that. Jesus Christ! The turret gets aggroed on the soldier. And oh, off. seems up. Uh. Oh, oh no, Orch! He gets tased. Oh, there you go. But now he gets let through. He's gonna get kicked! No! Oh! Okay. Hopefully, he won't get kicked into the turret. Stop oh, it! God. Stop no. it! He's already down! <laughs> yeah, in, in professional. Oh, he gets kicked again! <laughs> Jesus. He stun locks it! Oh, no! Oh my god. No! Orch! Seems Orch rage? I, like I hope not. Okay, no, he's, he's keeping it cool. Alright, let's go, Orch. Oh my god. God, he just got kicked five uh, times in a row. Yeah, so unprofessional. Uh, the enemies do not care. Like the enemies are crazy. Oh, 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 I mean, that, that, that I've never missed the egg. Yes. Oh, Buck here got yes! the extra. Broken butterfly doing its Martina. magic. Yep. Nice. Oh, very smooth. Quick takedown. PTD is also at this part. Luckily, no one ate the egg by mistake. I have, I have done that. <laughs> <laughs> or sell the egg. It is worth quite a bit more. <laughs> and you do get spinels, so it, it's tempting. Right here at the Crusher fight. Leon fighting his old major, how poetic. Yep. Yeah, if anybody wants to know what happened between Kreiser and Leon, there's a game called Resident Evil Darkside Chronicles, which is all oh. about Project Hadith. Where they went into a jungle together, do a mission. Yep. <laughs> oh! Kreiser, what? Oh no! Ray! Yeah. No. He no. takes a fall! Jack oh. Krauser. Experience was still on his side. Yeah, Crusher inflicts huge damage, so, you know, Trey handled it the best he could, but yeah, Crusher hits really, really, really hard. A sloppy rookie. Man, I still feel bad for Orch for having to use three heals yeah, on the other. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Go oh, Captain Ezekiel at the Salazar fight. He doesn't egg miss base. the egg. Nice. Welcome Butterfly. Gotta go fast. Bam! All crit points. All damage. There it is. That was very good. That was very, very smooth. Mm. We can see Distortion and Orch are in the laboratory section. You gotta get keycard and you gotta upgrade the keycard. And it is here that we will see the regenerator enemies. Uh, the big white blobs of Michelin star looking enemies that just run around. If you shoot their limbs, they will regrow. So it is best to avoid them. Yeah, luckily, like a shotgun blast to the legs and they will crawl around. It, it like, <clears throat> it goes, it goes very smooth like that, luckily. <laughs> mm-hmm.
There's also a small puzzle they have to do in this section, uh, and luckily the puzzle is... Oh, like, maybe I get a heavy nade. I don't know though. if you saw that, but uh, a cultist tried to make it on Nebs. Yeah. <laughs> that cultist missed. Oh, I wish I saw that. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, the enemies provide a lot of entertainment sometimes in these runs. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Spicy. Moving through. Gotta get keycard and you gotta upgrade the keycard. Bok and QTT are at the same spot doing the turret skip. QTT nice. goes through. Bok goes Hello, through. Man. Nice. Smooth. I love yeah. Why are you already attacking? Spicy he's here like, oh, it's really, Bok. really does not want to trigger the alarm in this room. So he's gonna... What? Do it as stealthily as he could. In a little bit of trouble though. Doesn't seem to get himself out of it. That helmet did nothing. It keeps going. Oh, the Plaga spawned. That rifle shot wasn't enough. No crit. But it's okay. He deals with it anyways. Yeah, Still in the I've lead. Never before. I don't know why they aggroed like that. Oh my goodness. We have a huge donation. One thousand dollars from Harry Tuttle! Wow! Thank you so much! Thank you for supporting the runners and like the tournament in general. Thank you. That is very, very appreciated. The prize pool is at eight thousand nine hundred fifty-one dollars. Actually crazy. It. Thank you guys. It, it's so nice seeing like the community come together. That's why I love tournaments like this. It, it's it's incredible. Community. Yeah. They're doing something great. Yep. Spicy was just in the regenerator room, the laboratory room, where he needed to see which Mitchell man had the wrench. And he needed to destroy, as you can see from Sp uh, from Dista's perspective, he needs to destroy all the vital organs. Oh, yeah, no. if you line the organs oh, up no. and you have good RNG, you can, like, take this guy oh, down yeah, in the two shots. Go. Ow. Well, it seems like he's getting a bit memed. Oh, no. Using a heal. Oh, it's doing the crawly oh. thing. It's hitbox is hard to see. Regenerator being regenerator. Oh, no. He's out of ammo. I can't fucking hit him. Yeah, the the regenerators can be quite the mean. Oh no. He needs to hit the shot. He needs to line up. Can I please just So many enemies please. on his side, so can little I health. Just get it. Oh, and two regenerators got loose. That is Oh, oh he's no! He's dead! I just can't. I cannot. I can't oh. hit it when he's on the ground, man. That is that I is I cannot fucking hit it, dude. A major artery yeah. gone. Like, it's insane. Any, like I said, anything can happen. It's impossible. But that to was hit very, that very, very unlucky. Like I said, if you have really good RNG, you're at the regenerators. You can like, sh like kill God, them in like I two shots. You know, if you line up the hearts. But sometimes I just want to grind the runs, hearts dude. have very but bad positioning. Mm hmm yeah, he got memed for sure these major organs they're they're hard to hit yeah so you could see especially when they're moving you get a free one but all the rest is just oh no no oh, down to no. you or is also trying to get or she's got oh, one more go. that's it good. oh my god spicy is powering through yeah. He is oh, there's going. Another skip. This one is really fun and also uh, pretty easy to do if anyone uh, is <laughs> like interested. <laughs> you yeah, like uh, aim down sights, walk backwards, and then quickly flick your mouse and spam F on the door. This one is really fun. You skip the entire wrecking ball section. Uh, you save so much time. And that door is also very Shit. easy to clip through. In the meanwhile, Orchdale. we have Nevs heading to the island. Uh, Orchelon struggling with the, oh, with the leftovers here. here. <laughs> Alright, he does make it through though. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh, QTD just got bit. Up. Just got bit. But this, even though he had a little bit of troubles with the regenerators, he's still. Going strong. Oh, mama. Yeah, definitely. Dude. Not quite outside yet, but 
It's got four heals. Wow. That's that's a lot of heals. Ooh, we have two hundred dollar donation from Anti. Yo, thank you so much. He says good luck to everyone, Anti does. Thank you. And we also have a uh, twenty-five dollar donation from Haiza saying thanks for all the fun. Didn't thank die. you for donating. Appreciate it. Um, also, if you missed any donations, uh, I just want you guys to know, like, it's greatly appreciated. We're at $9,176 uh, for the total price pool, which is incredible. If we have $10,000, that means each runner would be able to get uh, $250, or rather, um, the, the last four placed runners will be able to get $250 each, which would be huge for them. That's some quick maths. Quick maths. And the top four runners get their usual percentage. Orchelon, now done with the laboratory as well. Heading this on to... Um, also, this, um, this is this very fun viral click. Yeah. This one's... The door is very thin, so you could just flick and just get yeah. it, usually. Um, it is harder if you have a low sensitivity like me. So hmm. you do have to... Like, jolt your entire arm over. <laughs> yeah. Trey is here at the Salazar fight. And Spicy is at the Chrysler fight. Ooh. So two big boss fights side by side. You better hustle. This Krauser section is some of the most intense gameplay. Oh yeah, Krauser sure. and, and Leon hurling words at each other. While Leon now, masterfully dodges. Yeah. Now, luckily, in professional, uh, there. So, in professional difficulty, there are a few extra typewriters that aren't there on other difficulties because of the lack of checkpoints. So, in the middle of the Chrysler fight, they can make a safety save, which Renchi, will definitely Renchi. help if they're not feeling too sure about it. And as we all know, Jack Krauser is no stranger to covert tactics. <laughs> I see, actually did equip uh, the normal scope back instead of keeping the bioscope on which a lot of runners do do so there it is yeah, no I, like the, the I died here in practice a, a guy the got sensor. behind me I do. he was I'm, doing the sniper glitch the, the bioscope is good but he got but fucking behind me pushed me I out just and then double well. tapped me with this the, like the darth maul looking yeah. ass guy oh there it is the typewriter god dude just leave me alone i hate losing runs here On. Heading on to the that's next Jack Krauser Where's fight. Dynamite guy? He's either on vacation this or he one knows. Is He's like, is that, oh, is um, that, is that Bakken? Oh, that's not right. Weird? That's not, so, oh, that's not right. there's a oh, very, Bakken very there? cool okay. routing I'll get ready. in Jack, Jack Krauser fight number two. I'll get ready. Um, where you do enough damage to Jack Krauser, and Jeez, then that's cheek, that's cheek. you duck and roll, lure Jack Krauser into a trip mine. You're going to see it very, very quickly right here. So he's going to fire three shots into Jack Krauser, bringing his HP down to 50%. Oh, oh no, he missed the first shot! That's not good. But he can roll and lure Jack Krauser into this. Ooh. If he gets launched towards you, you know you hit the shot. One or two more shots, that's it. Jack Krauser runs away. Yeah, the roll into the mine is very cool. It works most of the times on a good setup, but there are times where you seemingly do everything right and it still won't work. Oh, seems that uh, Captain Ezekiel died during the regenerator Ooh. part. Yeah, that regenerator part is pretty rough. I've seen most runners struggle here. Uh, yeah, just the regenerators can meme on you like so fast. They're very, very, very annoying. All of these fights are so difficult and spicy has not died yet heading on to the final but yet of course <laughs> but heading on to this third and last jack Krauser fight they have the k7 doing so much damage it is a bit rng here what jack Krauser will do but you got to hit as many headshots as possible it seems that jack Krauser does give him a little bit of leeway and doesn't do his animation where he flies above Ooh. The fight is going well, and he takes down Krauser! There you go. Swift. 
Spicy's a beast. He's a monster. He goes fast. Yeah, Man, well, you can see RNG can uh, definitely uh, like break the run a bit mm -hmm. as well. Watch though, doesn't have the TMP. Rather has the pistol instead. Easier money routing because you don't have to pay thirty grand for for the TMP. Yeah, true. So you have to pick up less things, but having a pistol is. It's kind of a nuisance, like you. especially in sections where there are what gets hit through the wall. Oh no, Nevs! It's getting oh. run on by oh. regenerators again. No. Very very annoying parts. Like, that was total BS. All the scroller done. Distortion is out of laboratory. Oh my god, the health gates. Oh, Orchelon. Doing the Jack Krauser fight. Unfortunately, did miss the mine the trick. Shots. Yeah, and the mine. He needs We're more headshots. We're getting really, really close to 10,000. We are currently at 9,546. Did you see how much damage uh, Thank you, Godfather, for the... $20. Thank you. We appreciate it. Oh, shit. I almost got you. Seems that Bok is making his way to the Chrysler fights. And Spicy is currently at the the mic section. Which there's a very, very hard part coming up uh, in the mic section. Very chaotic. Oh my god, I'm very stressed to see this. <laughs> Better slowly heading heading towards there. Yeah, here the, the villagers are uh, island people of saying acubierto. Actually not sure what acubierto means. UTT here at the uh, Crusher fights. He triggers the fight kind of early, so he can just walk towards the the handle. You mean stay cover? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, they they love seeing Acubierto. I constantly hear that when I'm at this part. Oh, uh, Spicy here is doing a cool skip. So he's throwing one heavy nade and one normal nade, and that will break the turret and you can just go straight to the gate yeah, that's why you'll see runners to do also casually yeah runners will save up a heavy and a normal nade just for that purpose mm -hmm. here mike help us open the door and this room is intense horrible yeah yeah this might be or maybe not like the downfall of spicy's amazing pace so Throw we'll see line. There's Anything can go really wrong here. Uh, basically, this part oh, no. uh, rests on using flash grenades. So, as you can see, he like throws them, he pulls the lever, he runs out the next lever, and a character called uh, JJ, <laughs> like the, the guy with the turrets on his arm, is uh, very, very menacing. He's trying to kill you. The scariest part of it. Oh, look at these hordes of zombies or soldiers. Yeah. Look at all of them. The flash grenades are really a lifesaver. Oh, oh an enemy no, got on the turret! The guy, man. Fuck you. Thankfully it was short-lived. If an enemy gets on the turret, and okay, they start blasting you... He got the photo mode R uh, RNG. <laughs> so here, Spicy's performing a cool little skip as well. He's gonna go out of bounds by doing this. Uh, you will see later why. Something about uh, duffel bags and yeah, uh, yeah, Ashley. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Ashley won't be happy about that. <laughs> but... Oh, QTT, nice. Getting the mind trick on Jack yeah. Krauser. Bam! A kick to the face.
Thankfully, there are no plagas in this area. No need to worry mm -hmm. about enemies going oh. down and sprouting plagas through their head. Oh, this only have to worry about got Mike. The, got the mine. Nice. There. Yeah, the way the mine skip works is that when you are flashbang by Jack Krauser, he will teleport behind you. And if you roll and you trigger the mine and he gets hit, he takes a lot of damage. And you can see as well, that section after distortion hugs the wall and, and strafes A so that the enemy in the hallway does not hit him. Usually runners would take a hit there or uh, get grabbed, but with that, they won't have to by, by strafing mm -hmm. in that specific way. Ooh, we're just getting shot at, still in this section, pulling the second lever. Yeah, this part is nerve-wrecking. So hopefully Orch has enough flash grenades. Hopefully every runner has enough flash grenades in this Yeah. Part. Okay. Oh man, there's so oh, many the people! Oh, I see. Orch does uh, the order opposite to what uh, some other runners do. I'm assuming this is safer, or maybe it's just preference. Mm hmm. Yeah, it might be preference. And usually, uh, in the section after this, there is another turret skip that people it can can do. It is another turret skip. You can lure a Enobi in into a turret that allows you to skip a section, but it is very, very risky for a couple of reasons. One of them is that okay. the RNG no. of a Nobi Go for actually skip, going into you and getting area, lured by the turret, the turret is... Skip. Not even kidding. It is pretty hard. And you can see here, Orch preparing the skip and walking yeah, the out the physics. out of bounds, which will be very important later. If they die... Anywhere during the the Novi parts or that part and uh, here where you're carrying Ashley, it can oh, like no. out of bounds. Dude. So spicy here, for example, does not have it. Whatever, He's we sold just a heal. Carrying Ashley. We don't need it. But I mean, it, it's still fine. Like, <clears throat> yeah. Well, this is like, 44 seconds. Guys, time. I think that's my tournament life there. <laughs> you carry so Ashley you're or no? When you're carrying Ashley, there's a few parts what? where. Oh no, Trey died! <gasps> no! The regenerators! Oh my god. I've never seen game troll so much. He got blown up by dynamite. Yeah. Aww. Oh, goodness, we have another $300 donation from Anti. Yo! Let's make sure everyone gets 250 each and hit that 10k goal. Here's a little extra to help. Thank you, Anti. So generous. Thank you so much. We're really almost at 10k. There's only mm -hmm. $400 left. We can do it before the end of the run. It's coming up soon, but we can do it. We also got $10 from Saint Cloud, 20 from Angel Bless, and 25 from Ray Connor. Thank you. Let's do it. Let's let's hit $10,000. Let's get every single one up runner a prize. All of them have poured in immense hours. All of them are doing an incredible job at keeping up. All of them yeah, doing awesome. everything they can. Throwing their all into this competition. They all deserve love. Let's show them that love. Yeah, Archlon is doing the, the skip Ooh, with the Novi to get the past turret the skip. turret. He did it! He got it? I ah. hope this is an interesting oh out of bounds skip uh, by someone. Two more heals. He keeps getting memed. Leave me alone, you assholes. Kill. Oh, yeah. Right, I was, I was explaining, manually, um, oh, when you carry Ashley in that one section, right, there's on a parts where Leon will, like, grenade. stagger. Oh, bag, now, if you consistent. pause buffer, you can actually skip so that, we'll which is pretty good. Mm hmm Which is very nice. You won't stick to a wall or interact with an enemy. Yeah. Let's see. It work? Yeah. Oh, there, there it is! There it is! Look! Skip. So, duffel bag Ashley. Yeah, so Ashley turns into a duffel bag, and you can see him doing the pause buffer here, but he skips the... He misses the first one, sadly. Maybe he gets the second one, but yeah, Ashley is now a duffel bag. Oh, I sent the first spot. Uh, that's thanks to the little out of bounds that they did a bit earlier. 
<laughs> the game's physics bugs out so that you carry astral evidence. As you can see, we had a comparison earlier with Spicy, who didn't get Ash the duffel bag, Ashley. He carries him much faster. Is it kill? Ooh, nice. First three shots all hit. And does get the animation. So he has to go up on the ladder to avoid a blast attack and come back down to finish off Jack Krauser. Who is in his uh, very, very non-human state at this point. Jack Krauser. Oh, does grab him. It's on a sliver of HP. Is he going to heal? No. Ooh, that's risky. There it is. On one health. The dominant Plaga this. gene really gave Jack Krauser the power he desired, but I opened it. it wasn't enough. Oh, it is open. Wait, where's the cutscene, dude? Yeah, Trey, Ooh. he's still hanging on there. He's going through the uh, oh. regenerator room still. Cutscene skip. Mm -hmm. Man, that regenerator room can really, really, really haunt you. There's so yeah. many moving components. I'm bad at this, by the way. Bok is setting yeah. up the out of bounds for duffel bag Ashley, and Spicy is at the last stretch. Ooh, nice rocket launcher right in his face. So did the jump down this time for some reason. Hmm, whatever happened to Mike? That's what the second rocket launcher was for. One sixty more k to get a second rocket launcher to finish off first phase of the Saddler fight. Spicy now on the second phase of the Saddler fight. The K7 doing immense damage. He's on good pace. Just a couple more shots before Ada shows up. There it is. Boom. And that Damn. is that. If I did Duffel, yep, we. Was, um, smooth section. That's we are now on the final section of the game for Spicy. The boat escape sequence. Oh, Ooh. distance um, struggling here. But he's nice. staying calm. He's still trying to do his best. Why he didn't I reload? Well, what is reloading going to do? It's not like changing to 60 FPS literally does anything there. Oh. And hopefully does he, he do the, the turret skip? Skip here. No, he's lured in. Oh. Doesn't hit the turret. He can't use too many heals here. Oh, oh no. yes! Wait, no! Yeah, that is very annoying. No! Insane. Very annoying skip. Oh, as, uh, so on box section here, these doors are also very, very fun to skip. You aim down sight, and instead of flicking your mouse, you press W. So. You aim down sight, you press back, and the moment you let go of those buttons, you press W and you clip straight through the door like butter. It's so good. Yeah. I actually managed to do that in, um, so I, I nice. played this game with, like, voice controls, and I managed to do that with voice controls, that door skip. <laughs> nice. It's really fun to do. It's, it's quite simple. I haven't tried it out yet, but it looks like a very fun trick. And spicy here at the um, jet ski section. So I didn't know until very late. If you spam F when your jet ski, like you know, like jumps up, you can do cool spins and stuff. All right, so this part's pretty cool. easy. Um, cool spins no one's gonna lose you're gonna do stuff. 20, 30, 40, Whee! 50, 60, 70 <laughs> minutes of this. Nice. And I'm not gonna lose my whole run in two seconds. Oh, Bach at the chart skip. He needs to get this. this. Is bad. Where's the Nobi? Oh, there it is. Very nice. Nice. He makes it through. Spicy, though, is on the final section. Will he remain or in will front? He... Oh, don't crash. <laughs> There's always yeah, a risk he's... of crashing. Oh. Yeah, he's got this. I always take the left path. This is interesting. There's the light. Path. The romantic duo making it out into and the sunlight. Time. Oh, Spicy in first. Alright, I asked sub earlier two. if Mike was in the chat, I said, can I do this pause? Yeah, Unbelievable! Yeah. Unbelievable! That's really cool. Orch, not far behind. 
yeah, the other run runners are hanging in there. They're doing really well. Despite, you know, the mishaps and everyone is handling it incredibly well. The king of Resident Evil 4, any percent. Captain Ezekiel is making his way through this tough section here. Ooh, and he got both flashes and he's out. Very good. Oh, nice. That seemed like it went relatively well. All right. Yeah, I was also going to show off the heavy grenade and the grenade combo. Ah, I wonder whatever happened to Mike. I'm sure he's fine. Yeah, I'm sure he's he's like uh yeah he's like uh he's okay, uh, okay yeah he's, he's slightly tough I guess <laughs> he's like Lewis he's fine then these ones are oh man tough. spicy the game actually seems absolute to god from the other side you have to be yeah really or the honor far behind he's just doing a few sick flips mm-hmm having ran again spicy myself I can tell you he is relentless he will catch up he will go as far as he can oh Orch almost ran into the wall there. Gotta be careful. There is a safety save before this building section that runners can choose to take using some extra time. But if you do crash in this section, you will have to do the entire chapter the again. The side sucks. Good. Mm -hmm. Take the right side here. Which isn't great. And if you actually stay also, the there right, is a round two, guys, right so make sure you stick around. And... Uh, oh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. No, round two will determine who will uh, be number one. So that's going to be very fun to see. Do you know uh, who the hosts are for round two, Mute? Uh, the hosts are Enigma and mm -hmm. Vosh. Oh, this is going to be amazing. I look forward to that. An absolutely definitely... stunning duo. Yeah, I will definitely, definitely, definitely be watching. Yeah, this is going to be so fun. The top four compete. Will Spicy remain in front? Or will someone else take his place? Two have completed. We have two more slots remaining. Six oh, yeah. runners compete. Ooh. Ezekiel opting to use K7 ammo on that soldier. I mean, if you have extras, why not? Yeah, exactly. Now heading over to, to the turrets. Get, oh, the Novi catch, catches them early. How will yeah, the RNG be this time? Oh, oh no, okay. That's, no! That's so rough to do. He gets it, but he takes a fall. Oh, he's all the way back. That is... That's unfortunate. Ah... I hope that's enough. Oh, Good. man. Wait, how much ammo do I have? Right, I believe we have oh, Bok here at, um, at Sadler. Bok is indeed. Sadler fight, Rocket doesn't miss. Wow. That's phase what? one complete. It's got 11 Magnum ammo. Where's my quick kill? 11 shots with a K7. More than enough. He just needs to take him down. Yeah, so Spicy. you can't, like, at that part uh, where Bok was at, the first two sentences that Sadler says, he's, like, kind of immune to damage, so you just need to wait out the first two lines of text, and then just start, and then you, like, start blasting. Mm -hmm. Which is why they're they're waiting here. They haven't shot yet. Yet. Dist. On his way to solidify his place in the top four. Yeah, this it doesn't also matter right now. Quick kill with the rocket launcher, which which happens if you save right before uh, mm -hmm. Sadler. Oh. Another turret skip coming up. He's doing opting for this setup. Ooh, nice! He gets it. Distortion is now done with Sadler. Sadler is no more. They must leave the island. Yeah, I think Bok is not too far. Behind or ahead? I'm not sure. I think they're very, very close. This time, Bach, right now. Bach, who qualified eighth place, looks to solidify his place here in top four. Ashley. Ashley. Oh, duffel bag Ashley. Very nice. 
It's gonna make it. Pause buffer's oh, good. Is way ahead. I don't see the IGT. Name is Solus. Oh man, these escape sequences are intense. Just the red timer makes you makes you really really scared. Solus versus Solus. Oh man. This has been such an exciting match between eight of the top runners for this game. Yeah, such... our runners have been like like insanely good. I mean, uh, like for example, Trey had a lot of like issues happen to him, but he really like pushed through. And he's still, I mean, he is he's a top runner, just like anyone else. Alright, you like, guys like mm -hmm. thrill rides? And you're gonna All love of this. these runners qualify with a 205 or under. All of them have the necessary skills to secure their place. It's all a matter of do they get lucky? Are they consistent enough? And it seems that... Gonna show us the sick flips. Whee! <laughs> nice. That was fun to do. Oh, in the meanwhile, we have... Um... Oh, we had $100 from Ross. Thank you so much. We have 22 from COU. Awesome event, thanks. Uh, $20 from Nathaniel Witherick, excellent run, spicy, keep up the good work. And Sniper Sauce with $50. Thank you, thank you so much, guys. We're almost there to 10k. Yeah, super close. 9,830. Yep. So close. So close, so close. We can do it. Just a little more. Yeah, QTT and this are really, really close, apparently. Oh. So let's check them out. Oh! Oh! Dist! Seven, all right. He's even doing the Damn. tricks, guys. He's even 207 59. Well, GG, how we Despite do? having a couple mishaps, he still made it. With Bach finishing <laughs> 206 30. Current third place and fourth place. Mm -hmm. QTT, he needs to finish before 207.59. He's got 30 more seconds. It's gonna be tight. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be very, very tight. Who makes it in the top four? It's QTT or it's Distortion 2. And QTT took damage on the jet ski, which is kind of concerning. That is oh, dangerous. God. Oh god. He's got 15 seconds left. Can he make it? He's got 15 oh. seconds. It's time for a flip. Nice. He doesn't have much more time. I think he's gonna make it. Oh my god! <laughs> what? Two seconds! He's oh. made it in the top four! Jesus. By fours! That was two second time difference. That's, that's what? Wild. Holy, that is wild. Oh, poor distortion missed out by two seconds. Yeah. Uh, I, I hear him in the background. He's not too happy, but you know. <laughs> oh man, incredible valiant effort by distortion. Yeah, yeah, definitely. If, uh, by everyone, honestly. He had such a come up though. He came back so, so much. Mm -hmm. He got unlucky in laboratories. He went down, but he did great. Yeah, definitely. An absolute legend. An absolute legend in gaming. Man, that was close. I cannot yeah, get that over was that. Quite the show. Oh, if he took a wrong turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every, oh, everyone man. did amazing. Like I said, guys, there will be a round two with the top four. Uh, make sure to stick around. Make sure to stick around. It'll yeah, round be two's coming up. much more intense. Be sure to watch that. Mm -hmm. Larsa and I are going to be watching closely. We love the competition. Yeah. Yeah, I wish I could have joined it myself, but uh, seeing as how brutal professional is, maybe it's uh, better from the sidelines. 
<laughs> I, I think I'm okay, actually. <laughs> yeah. This is brutal. Yeah, definitely. I think it's one of the hardest Resident Evil speedruns that I've seen besides... Like, I feel like RE Village, uh, Village of Shadows is really hard, and this one in Professional are the hardest. Unbelievable. Yo, we got 10k! Oh, Yo! Let's go! We got let's 10 go. thousand! Good job, everyone! Yeah, we did it! $170 by Never Walk Alone. 10k, let's go. Thank you for the incredible support. Holy. Thank you, Walker, for your incredible generosity throughout the event. This is the person that donated over $2,000. Oh, wow, I didn't even know that. That's incredible. <laughs> wonderful, <laughs> wonderful so person. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, thank you for anyone that donated. Um, if we missed your name, uh, like, like rest assured, we're very, very thankful that you donated. So thank you so much. And also, um, you know, for those of you just like chilling and watching the stream, also very, very, very big thank you. Uh, like tournaments like this really like bring the community together, and it's so fun to watch. Like everyone is here, great. Ezekiel and Nevs, they're racing. <laughs> yeah, we're racing a uh, side by side. <laughs> oh man. This was so intense. Such a good event. Well, and there's I gonna wish be I finals could have done better, later. Guys. Shame. I kinda knew it was doomed ever since the catapult deaths, but Ezekiel right? gonna finish kind of first, a... 34. Kind of an Closely game. followed by Nevs, who is Nevs faster for the two eleven. Earlier. Two eleven. Yes. Oh there you go. In the middle of this, I remember when Spicy had to go wash his hands. Yeah. <laughs> the hand wash RNG. It works. It clearly works. Yeah. <laughs> and it seems that Ray is still here in Crowds of Three. Yeah. Like, Gotta hit like these headshots. Trey did, uh, like, is still doing amazing. Honestly, like, even... With all the mishaps, uh, you know, and when he finishes the run, it's yeah. still an amazing Let's time. A valiant, valiant Life effort. Like, oh, any man. professional, any percent under three hours is, like, so, so impressive, honestly. Oh, or just very good finishing Trevor. a professional run is, is impressive. Yeah. Such good feats. Such, such incredible feats by these runners. Everyone did such a good job. You must remember that these are the top runners in the world. These are the best players of Resident Evil 4 Professional. These are the best of the best. And here they compete to see who takes the crown this time. Once again. At least we got the door meme, yes. We have first place, have spicy, second place. Third place, Bach. And fourth place, QTT. I got the grenade still. Let's go. And this closely squeezed out of fourth by yeah, two seconds. I probably should have saved. Holy. Robot. Man, this run was an absolute stunning one to watch. Oh, you got the ten dollars by a original Resident Evil character, Claire. Thank you. Really wish oh, I could fair. give milk, and I'm strapped at the moment. Really loving the tournament hype. Of course, that's greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. Yeah. Every donation is appreciated. What was that? Yeah, thank you, hype. Okay. I've got the gut team. I'm also Man. really glad Trey is still like continuing the run. Uh, I think it's like very, very, very like important, you know, to just like stick to it. Mm -hmm. The mental game is so difficult, especially in a punishing run like this, where one misinput, one wrong turn can can ruin your entire setups, entire routes. Yeah. To be able to keep at it and not go crazy essentially is 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 good. Uh, is good habit. Am I? And here we do, we do spend some more time with Mike, so I think that's a plus. He's gonna take us to a bar, guys. The way. He knows a good one. <laughs> he knows a good bar. He knew a good bar. Oh no. <laughs> oh Mike. Oh. <laughs> yeah. The run was quite something. 
Aw oh, man, that took good names though. Mike, come in. Hello, Mike. Not bad at all. This chapter that Ray is on, chapter 15, is a lot of RNG. Um, you do have Mike in a chopper, but the amount of enemies Mike kills and what enemies he kills all matter and all amount to how you're going to take and approach your route. It is difficult to manage everything at the same time. And mm -hmm. of course, these runners do such a great job at it. Yeah. And also, if we reach 15,000 for the prize pool, then the people uh, that are in 5th place up until 8th place get $375 each, which is a, uh, a really generous amount. So if we reach 15,000, like that I'm would sorry. be even crazier than the 10,000 we have now. <laughs> and of course I wanted to point out that we do appreciate the last place here. Uh, we, we give the last place runner a little bonus. A little bonus. Yeah. And uh, I think that's great. It, it shows off uh, great sportsmanship here. And yeah. we don't want Ray to feel uh, bad about his run. Of course, he did great. Like, this is a valiant effort. He's still one of the world's best players of yeah, this game. Definitely. He's one of the best. And we'll give him a little bonus. Oh. Yeah. That's not what I, what I wanted to do. Yeah. Man, that competition was incredible. Mm -hmm. Just Spicy being the only one to finishing the oh, run you know, flash, sub two. My dude. The only sub two, 159 of 49. Okay. Just closely, very closely followed by Orchlon with a 203.15. And then by Bach with a 206.30. Closely, closely followed by yeah. UTT with a 207.57. These are the top four that are going to make it into the finals Spicy, no. Orch, Bach, and QTT. No. Oh, yeah, they are going to be in a match, in an unprecedented match, a very, very intense event. It's going to be great. This is a pretty much the combination of the worst run I've done in... Yeah, and again, like, like mm -hmm. anything can happen, so <laughs> that's what makes this, uh, this speedrun so exciting. It is faster, so exciting. Much, maybe we'll get to see Red of... Mist in round two. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, the red mist. Oh my god! Like seriously. And uh, I do want to appreciate uh, number five and number eight. Number five is Distortion, who unfortunately had to go out and lose to and and did not make it into round two with a two hundred seven fifty nine. Buddy, the type uh, is there. Okay. Completed the run with a two eleven oh eight, followed by seventh place Ezekiel with a two twelve. Buddy, it's there. And Ray is currently Surely. finishing up the run. Trying to get Duffel Bag Ashley, which is yeah. not not easy. It is not an easy trick. It's pretty mm -hmm. precise. Uh, oh. Yeah, he's been and, having some troubles with uh, like the mouse flicks. Mm -hmm. So I understand that this must be frustrating for him, but it, it is really hard to do the mice flicks consistently. This is my game. And it, <laughs> double back okay. actually might not even work. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you could do everything right. Be, you could do everything the way it was though. supposed to be. It, didn't work out, okay. it could still not work. And there oh, it is, yeah. the setup, oh, yeah. complete right. for Double right. Fag Ashley. He's falling, look at Leon go, wee! Right. 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 Really look anyway. at him fly. Reminds me a bit uh, of like the Dark Soul skips. <laughs> it does, it does, doesn't yeah. it? It's infinitely falling through the void. Surely. I like Elden Ring where you zip all <laughs> over the place. Yeah. Oh, hey Mike. Thanks. Oh, he knows a good bar, guys. He knows a good bar. <laughs> I'll make sure you're the next to go, Sadler. Yep. Mike went back home, and now we're gonna, we're on the hunt for Sadler. He went home he to us... Lewis. Mm hmm What the? Oh, <clears throat> uh, the next runs will be in. This about half an hour. Was not blessed yeah, stay tuned. By the RNG gods. 
The so next commentators, as mentioned, will be Enigma and Bosch. They are incredible, incredible commentators. Their reputation precedes them. I've got some new items. And are just great people. You would very much enjoy the commentary. Mm -hmm. For the sure, most intense match of the armor. day. Ashley, I'm coming. Yeah, we only got one thing left to do, okay? Yeah, let's Ray see if Prey gets the, the Novi skip into the turrets. Bam. Oh. <laughs> K7, so powerful. So powerful. Yeah. Oh, setting up. It's getting very close. The, no the Nobi is there, and he gets it. Oh, but no, he dies. <laughs> Unfortunate. That is... Ah, oh. oh, Trey. Oh, well. That's one of the things about the turret skip, is that... <laughs> it's a bit unreliable. It's a bit unreliable, yeah. No, okay. Like, oh, I see man. every runner do, like, a slightly different setup here, too. I, yeah, I feel like there's not really myself. one setup that's very consistent. No, whatever works for you is the best thing that you could possibly have. This skip is so inconsistent mm. that people find their own routes. Yeah. Holy shit. Man, having to do that entire section again is... is punishing, to say the I'm least. Especially a tourist. Yeah. Because now, Duffelback Ashley also won't do work. Yeah. And that's another 44 seconds lost on top. This is why Chapter 15 is such a big run killer chapter. Mm -hmm. But it keeps going, which is uh, honestly very, very respectful. This is not good. I respect it. I respect the efforts. Very valiant. I mean, it's perfect. What do you guys... I don't have no flashes here, though. That is definitely not good. Yeah, the enemies are memeing him hard. Oh god. He's getting grabbed and and maul all over the place. Did I even kill the rocket launcher, dude? I did not, did I? Yeah, he also can't really oh, use too many heals because he needs to sell them for the the rocket launcher. Oh no! No! Where did that he even come from? I thought he... Oh. Because he killed the rocket launcher guy. Ah, oh. <sighs> or I thought he, he has to do that again. Almost there. Oh, he Unbelievable did. RNG. <laughs> this is a run. Was it? Was that a Nate? Was that a di that was a dynamite? Man. Yeah. But it's okay. He's keeping strong. A he's run. still going at it. Well, let's go this oh, he's gonna try the the skip again. I think. Or. Yeah. Oh, he makes a pass, but no, he dies again. Surely. Surely soon. Ray. Come on, Trey. Unfortunate. <laughs> Poor Ray. Surely soon. Almost there. This is why turret skip is so gut-wrenching. Yeah, definitely. Last barrier. Again and again, you can get knocked down every this single time you come here. Ever, <laughs> A coin can flip ten times tails before it flips one head. Yeah, everyone, please put some hearts in chat for Trey. You, I'm let's sure Trey love. would love the support. Yeah, let's Are you love kidding me? Oh no, unfortunate. Every single time he's getting hit by enemies far, far away. Go Trey! <laughs> let's go Trey! <laughs> Let's go, Trey. It's, it's surely, you got this. Surely this fault, I got. Yeah, oh, repairing his armor will definitely help. There go. Oh, yeah. This game is shit. Go. This run has to be You got this, man. Go. You got this. <laughs> I believe. Surely. Jesus. The problem is you weren't there the entire time. Yeah, and like, the skip seems very straightforward, but it's like incredibly <laughs> brutal because there's so much RNG to it. Also, the I rocket launcher guy that, in the back, uh, yeah, he does not mess around. No, that rocket launcher. Yeah, that is and a, then we want the Novis to... Oh! Might oh, he's healing immediately, good choice. Yes, okay, and he's made a pass! Launcher. Oh, the rocket launcher! Okay. Oh. oh! 
Turn oh skip complete. Let's go, go Trey. Let's go. I'm so proud of him. It's about time. He's done it. The final, the final First stretch. Wide. Let's go. Final, final stretch. Lap. I never really get this wrong. Come on, Trey, you got this. <laughs> First try. Ashley. Ashley is dead. Ashley. <laughs> Unfortunately, no duffel bag, Ashley. Yes. Just gotta carry her the old-fashioned way. Still pause buffers, though. To make sure that Leon doesn't stick to the walls. Hopefully that works. And Leon oh. stuck to the walls. Leon really likes that wall. Yeah. <laughs> Laboratory B. I'm not even What's sure how that skip way? works. Stop spicy. <laughs> it's <gasps> weird. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. And we get the flashbacks. Severe Leon rough. and Ashley, they're getting they're they're getting uh infected slowly. I feel like it's up to some of these We need to rescue her. Rough. Gotta put her on the chair. Remove her of the plaga. Yeah. I'm losing it. The take care of this. A lot would be kind of an odd. Yeah, show Ray your support. But sure. He absolutely deserves it. Good luck with the second round spicy. What a strong effort. From a top runner. More flashbacks and Leon seeing doubles here. And Trey might get the pause buffer yeah, skip the is in I this part. This video game oh yes. Okay. But definitely don't on this run. Bag, Ashley, you <laughs> do lose, lose out on about 40 seconds. But... Definitely don't on this run. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Ay 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 ay. It's about right here. He's got, a, he's got a pause buffer past this interaction. Oh, unfortunately, oh. He does miss it. Wait. Mm -hmm. That was close. Up, I thought... But it's okay. Leon gets back up. I thought I got it. Maybe I'm just. Leon is very, very strong. <laughs> you know, the, the training, it almost killed him. The RNG, Surely of course, Ashley. not going in Trey's favor this run, Surely but Ashley didn't die while I was there. he'll still lock it out. <laughs> Trying to get through the laser. Finish it, finish it the way he started. Now he's at the final parts. Trey can, yeah, Trey can almost go rest <laughs> almost almost yeah. we're almost there just a little longer oh my god we got 100 dollars by an eternal enigma thank you so much almost final enigma. time let's go thank you so so generous thank yeah. you you're absolutely generous man thank you i'm oh, taking pictures what do you mean you didn't hear that right you didn't hear anything right you're getting good at that. Yeah. Hopefully, Ray has enough money to buy a rocket launcher from the merchant. Or did. Yeah, he did have to use up quite a few supplies. Uh, uh, okay. It, it should be fine. But if he does have to kill a Saddler the normal way, it'd be kind of cool to see. <laughs> yeah. Really, there was a Saddler is a cool fight. Yeah, as a final boss, it, it's very fleshed out. It's a very nice fight. It's good to do casually. Oh, I'm sure she's fine. But the rocket launcher, though. Thanks so much faster. Over yeah, easy. way faster. Well, saying nice things definitely has been a run. I wonder how much uh, how much magnum ammo he has. I wonder if he has enough. It's got seven shots. Hmm. Well, even if he runs out of ammo, the second part of the Saddler fight is like timed section, so he can just mm -hmm. like wait it out if he has to. Well, we're almost there. Some new items. Welcome. Let's do some deals, shall we? Welcome, stranger. Oh, selling the K7 for a hundred and thirty grand. That's a lot of money. Nice. Yeah, so I'm oh, wow. guessing. Oh. Oh. Might want to take care of any leftover errands before going this way. Okay. So I probably did have enough. So he sold the K7 for the the broken butterfly, and for more ammo. Good routing. Oh, 
Oh, anyway, still has the K7. Wait, what? Finally, a look that suits you, Sadler. A monster in and out. Come on, the final stretch tray. Let's go. I need to cut this date short. It's not Let's go, Trey. Let's go, Trey. Beat him up. Beat Sadler. Oh, he, he also knows Sadler. Okay. Nice. And there it is. Boom. Now's the fun part. Surely. The escape sequence. Surely, guys. Yeah. I don't need to say about this. Gotta run. Get some there. sick flips. Right. Gotta run fast. Okay, let's get out of here. Gotta go, gotta go. Yeah. Surely. Surely Optional green I herbs for good luck. Mess up this good RNG. Oh, I have to say, you know, like, uh, commentating up. eight runs was very, yet. very, very tough. Surely. But I'm, I'm glad we managed. <laughs> <laughs> Both of us. Like, commentating one run is definitely very uh, chill in comparison. Uh, Larksa is a wonderful, wonderful commentator. Oh, thank you, so are you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> really won't crash the jet ski, yes. Trying to keep up with eight runs at the same time. Yeah, it's it's very rough. I've, I've never <laughs> had to keep up with eight runs at the same time. The game gives you the satisfaction of seeing the clogged enemies just keel Don't over. Press the jet ski. Without having that, to kill them at all. Probably all the four of the game. And there it is, the jet ski, the beautiful, beautiful yeah. jet ski. I'm not free doing Go. this chapter if I mess it up now. It's happening. The I escape sequence. The jet ski. God, Trey must be so relieved right now. I, I can feel it. <laughs> there might not be I can feel it. That. He didn't safety save, but still, there should be no error. Yeah. Oh, let's see a sick flip. Let's see a flip. Is that a front? Yeah, that's a front one. I called it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's RNG. I think so. Is it? Yeah, I have no idea. On my playthrough, I actually didn't know I could do flips. <laughs> oh, yeah, same. Ooh, man, that rock came close for a sec. Yeah, it's kind of scary. Flip the flip. Oh. Go, Trey! I guess I just flat. I guess I did turn the uh, 100 go, bits off. Trick, go, Trey. Go, Trey. An absolute legend. With the 100 bits. Mm -hmm. Oopsies. Yeah, huge respect to him finishing the run. I mean, huge respect. Whoops. It's so hard, you know, to keep your head in the uh, game and to stay positive and finish a run when you have so many mishaps happen to you. So, yeah. It's definitely hard. <laughs> Man, what a journey, what a ride. Yeah. What a jet ski. And that's yeah, time. That's a nice. gold to finish it off. Oh, Point one second gold. Oh, oh, the oh photo, photo mode. mode. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Beautiful GG's. Good games. The eighth run finished, complete, locked, and loaded. Uh, yeah. Ready to go. Oh my sure god. Oh easy. man. Run of all times. What? Sure. A fun journey. Sorry for holding up. Yeah, oh, definitely. A bit, a bit. It's been a wild ride. <laughs> and we're not what done yet, we're not too, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got one more round. <laughs> uh, Top uh, four uh, uh, will compete head to head to see who takes the crown. <laughs> It'll be beautiful. It'll be intense. And hopefully, we'll get to see some red mist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. <laughs> uh, or maybe not. Yeah. All right. It has been very, very fun. Yeah, it has been really fun. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much. Uh, you know, for being here during the first round. Uh, and just you know, like just being here, uh, like the donations. Just you know, thank you so much for the support. I hope to see you guys in round two. I'm very, very excited. And uh, thank you, Mute, for being such an amazing host. Oh, thank you. Thank and, you. And thank you, Waifu, for like organizing all of this. Yeah, thank it's you, crazy. Waifu. Yeah. Well, we're now going to take a break before yep. heading on to round two. I'm Mute. Mm -hmm. This is Larsa. Mm -hmm. We're signing off. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, my. Oh, hi. Hello. What the hell? We've been moved.
Are we live? Are we on? We better not.
All right, again, um, are we live? I think we're live. Yeah, we're live. All right, we yeah, are I here. Time. I think, yeah, Vash, I think we're here. Are we here? <laughs> we're here. <laughs> I hope so. so, chat, talk to us. We're uh, Like I said before, we'll find out real quick if we're if we're live or not watching the chat. I know they're uh, they're talking about some stuff. There they are. Hello, so hello, the we're here. There's in there, guys. Clean it up, clean it up. I mean, you know, people have to entertain themselves during the break somehow, but we're back. I am an eternal enigma. We are getting ready for the finals, and you are. My name is Vash TSB. Thank you. It's been too long, man. You doing good? It's I've been also fabulous, right. and you are correct. It has been almost two years since me and you did this village finale. Can you believe the time has flown like this? But it has flown, and we're back. We're ready for Resident Evil 4, and I'm doing great. You know, this has been an open bracket qualifier, and we're finally here at the finish line, just minutes away from the start of the run that crowns the victor. And before we go any further, of course, I want to give a big thank you to Mute D6 and Lark Stuff for handling that absolute blender eight way free for all first. I couldn't have done that. Um, I agree. There is, there is a lot of difficulty and a lot of things going on when you're trying to keep up with eight streams at one time. They deserve a lot of credit for their work and they did a fabulous job. I echo your sentiments 100%. And as well, if you want to talk about putting in good work, you can call this tournament many things. You can also call it heartbreaking. That's an understatement, dude. Mm -hmm. I, I, my first my first relationship ending, that was heartbreaking. This <laughs> is this is stealing this is murder this these are high crimes i want these in a, in a war tribe oh capcom giveth capcom taketh away you know oh. the original the original spirit of resident evil 4 was a bit of a bit of sprinkles of randomness here and there and i feel like it may be the same if not amped up even more in this remake because you we have two hours spicy won this with an hour and 59 minutes an amazing sub two run but these times, you look at Trey D's time, two and a half hours. Think of all the things that went wrong for him and then go wrong for anybody two and a half hours. This this game giveth, this game taketh away. And we're going to see mean, it, what gives and what taketh in about two and a half minutes. Everything that's been happening throughout the course of this run, Spicy was on an absolute ripper. He wasn't quite on PB pace. Not everything went his way, but that's what you would need in order to clock a new world record at this point. The current route has been ground down to perfection with these nonstop uh, professional, air quotes, streamers running it down middle 15, 16 hours a day, grinding away, not just for the tournament, but just to try to get the world record. Spicy's been grinding. Distortion 2. Even, I think, Orchlon has been putting on insane amounts of playtime for this. And even people that didn't get into the top eight qualifiers put out so many attempts into this. I'm looking at you, Hazeblade. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yes, Hayes Blade is definitely one of them. And that's something that I wanted to mention too before we get going. We've only got a minute and a half left before the final start. But I just want to say everybody kind of knows me from the Silent Hill world. I'm admittedly a Silent Hill man in a Resident Evil world. But there's been a lot of hype going on right now in the Resident Evil 4 speedrun community. And everybody, there was a lot of competition just to get into this tournament today. There were so many people and there were so many people providing not just competition with each other, but entertainment for us, the viewers, the people that sat back and got to watch all this stuff. Everybody deserves a round of applause for just competing to get in this tournament. I know there's going to be four runners that don't make it to the finals. They absolutely deserve your applause as well. It is hype. I'm hype. We only have, we are less than a minute away. I just wanted to make sure everybody knows that everybody that did not make it to the finals deserves just as much hype and appreciation. And everybody that has added money to this donation prize pool, we are at $10,112. And that prize pool will be open through the entire finale. And those prize dividends go to everybody. They go to everybody, even the people that will not be in the finals. So if you want to throw in and show some love and some hype to everybody who made it here today, keep on donating. There will be a pinned message at the top of your chat if you are on the web browser. But on any device, you can do exclamation mark prize and you'll get that link. You know, much like the run itself, it's a long walk to our next incentive goal. But like you just mentioned, if we do hit $15,000 in the pot, of course, that juices out to top three. 
also insures 375 American dollars. Everybody that just participated, you know, Trey could use it. Yes. Exclamation mark prize in the chat. And, and he deserves it. I'll, I just want to give special love to Trey D for finishing that run uh, when he very well could have just threw it down. All the credit in the world because ev almost everything that could have gone wrong went wrong on that run. He deserves a lot of credit for sticking with that. Loved it. Loved if to see it. That was me. That was me. I'm elbow dropping my router. <laughs> it's not a good one. But it looks like we are just about ready. Kick it on over into overdrive. Is everybody in place? I hope so. Your top four, everybody. They are here. We got Perfect. Spicy, QTT6, Bok Orchlon. God, you know, who do you like for this one? I know Spicy is the easy one to take. You know, you mentioned Orchlon's been putting in a lot of hours. And you remember Village two years ago. Orchlon kind of got some bad, you know, some bad luck, some bad routing. Just everything that could have gone wrong went wrong for Orchlon two years ago. I think he may he may have something to prove here. He may be my pick on this one. He may turn it around two years later. Or who knows? He may just need that prize money to replace all the keyboards he's destroyed. <laughs> Could Six be, but one we appreciate the all the animated, and I say GIF, I know we're going to cause controversy, oh, yeah. but he's pre he's created a lot of wonderful content for us that we see in many chat rooms on Twitch TV. There it is. There it is. <laughs> all right, we are still getting set up. Oh, oh, Chad, I'm sorry. Listen, I'm a GIF man in a GIF world, all right? All right, so... uh. So what do you eat for your peanut butter there? Are you uh you're a Peter Pan kid, I take it? Um You know, I'm a Jeff guy. I got to stick with it. I got to stiff I got to stick with it. You a crunchy boy? <laughs> I am not crunchy, no. I'm as smooth right. as a get. Odds find me his IP. <laughs> oh man. But personally, I oof. For some reason, I want Bach to No. I take it all back. Forget everything I just said. I want QTT to go over on this one. QTT6, okay. Absolutely. We are off. The The start button's been pressed. Here we the go. gas is being pumped. There oh, we I are. thought we would have four different costumes. The finals are on. And yes, I think Orchelon and QTT6 are wearing the same outfit. Which is an absolute yeah. shame. You know, also, shout outs to the runners for uh, having a little bit of class. If I was in this finals, I would have uh, abused the rules and put on the Ashley Roman Thick edition. <laughs> it would have uh, it would have been non-negotiable. I would have gone full degen size. There's got to be a little degree of degeneracy sometimes in our tournament, so I do respect it a little bit. But I do agree. Shout outs to everybody here for keeping it professional on new game professional. So we're here in the beginning. We are not quite at the village yet. We got the key. Everybody pretty much, even Steven. Let's see where we're going. <clears throat> now, right now, this up. is this is an environment where anybody is really, you almost want to say that this game almost picks a runner to just be given a lot of opportunity early on. I hate to say it's luck. That's, that's a rude way to put it, because you definitely have to show up, you have to aim, and you have to know your route. But mm -hmm. there's definitely instances where, you know, you'll crack open a crate and for some runners, there'll be some shotgun shells, maybe a nice little package of rifle ammo. For other people, it's pesetas and nothing else. So, you know, it's when time we to get, see. I'll oh, go ahead. Bro. Yeah, when we get to the end of this run, you are going to see a stark variety of inventories because of all these random drops. And before we get to the village here real quick, I just want to give some mention. We mentioned this prize pool. It is still open. We got Hotaru Zero with a $10 throw in that says love from Europe. Thank you, Hotaru. We got Al Tosser throwing in $15 says thanks to the organizers and the runners for the fun event. Been loving RE4 remake and this has been enjoyable. Thank you, Al Tosser. And uh, Radian, I think it's Radian Konek with $1,000 throwing in a thousand dollars into the pot says good luck to the runners on the second round soco bless soco seven thank you very much we're at eleven thousand one hundred and thirty seven and every single one of those donations gets us closer to a larger prize pool that goes without saying but also once again getting us to our next incentive we want to increase these payouts especially after what our boy trey had to go through orchlon here taking a little bit of damage in the cabin i haven't seen anybody get dick orchlon there. getting stuck in that cabin picking up the red herb and the handgun bullets now we're heading off into the village segment. That's going to put him just a little bit behind here, but wouldn't you know RNG here could put him in first at the end of this. It could put him at a respawn timer. It's it's hard to say. 
Although mm -hmm. that might actually put him slightly off cycle. Ooh, Abuela's a little uphill. Oh, just starts to turn around there. You need that stealth kill to go smoothly here so you don't aggro enemies preemptively. Even a casual like me knows that you need a stealth kill right there to get that thing going, you know, to get that thing started off right. When Leon goes for stealth kills, it's him doing a strat. When I go for one, I wind up in prison. It's not a fair world here. <laughs> I know. It's just not fair. It's just not working out right. It's not. And, now this and, here. Oh, go ahead, bud. I was going to say, we got a rules thing here. There's going to be three sections in this game where the runners are allowed to lower their FPS. This is one of them. You may see some menuing right here. You may see some FPS oh. lowering. They are allowed right here to do that. Now, this is an instance of panicking. We don't want to see Orchlon take a death here. He did not do a safety save before starting this village segment. He's going all out here. This is not what you want to see. If there's one lesson to take from the last set of runs, it's that you want to take those safety saves. Just look at how Nevs lost so much time going for Goathead there. He didn't safety save before he messed up that grenade skip. And look what it cost him. Put him all the way back at the hedge maze. We don't want that for a Mongolian boy. That is something to keep in mind. If you're just joining us and or if you're not familiar with the professional run, there is no auto saving. You you have to save like that. You have to make safety saves and some runners here will take a risk. They will not make safety saves. They'll be confident in their abilities, which they should be. But if the game decides otherwise, you could see some punishing backtracking. By the way, um, Ella Jazz just threw 9,000 more viewers into this stream. Ella Jazz, thank you so much. If you are here joining us, this is the finals. We just started. What a great time for a raid. We just got the finals of this tournament beginning. We got Bokpa Soup, Orchlon, Spicy, and QTT6. I'm an Eternal Enigma, and I have my partner here as well. It's Vash TSB. You guys missed one hell of a first round. If you take time after watching this insane finals, you should definitely go back and watch those ones. And while you're here, go ahead and donate to the Macharino, throw Waifu a follow and sub, and thank everybody who's contributed and put in so much effort to make this tournament possible. And you know, it's just like we were talking about a little bit before, dude. That start, it, it looked like it could have put Orchlon back, but he was actually the first one to finish the village segment, and I think he's currently out ahead right now. That is a microcosm of what the of what this run is going to be. Just when it looks like somebody may be down and out, they can pop back up and go right in front. This this run is going to be completely unpredictable, and I think that's pretty exciting. Right now, so far, everybody looks to be behaving, running into the cog room right now. Orchlon right now is tearing through this village right now. Currently ahead of his best splits. It's great that they have the live split on. Not only does it help the verifiers ensure that nobody's throwing any uh, any weird stuff while the, uh, the the streams are stuttering, but it also helps us understand how these runners are performing in context of themselves. Also, I would like to apologize real quick. That $1,000 donation came from Rodion Konek. I couldn't tell the difference between an A and an O. I am so, uh, I am so sorry about that, Rodion Konek. Thank you for the $1,000. I just wanted to make sure I corrected that. And we want to give a big thank you to Jackson Lee with the $20. Good luck to the runners from Australia. Justice for poor Ray. True. Let me see an 07 in the chat for that man. He fought valiantly. Justice and Kaplis indeed. with the two bones. Many thank yous. That'll get you about one Arizona iced tea nowadays. And as well as we head off to go retrieve Luis. Push the boxes, donates $50, 25 for Bach, 25 for Orch. Let's go, guys. Go indeed. Thank you, everybody, throwing into this prize pool. You're making it way more hype than it already was. So thank you, everybody. Someone tell that poor guy it doesn't work like that. But <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you do it. All the same. Now, nobody here is getting comboed here. Now, where Spicy just ran through, I've seen many a run end with uh, someone getting grabbed, falling into a bear trap, and getting impaled by that pitchfork guy. It, uh, it, you never know when the Reaper is coming to claim his prize. And when it's ready to claim in this game, it will. You'll see some wacky grab combinations and things just happening. We saw it We saw it going wild in the, in the opening round. It's just oh, you have to keep your eye out true. for everything. Orchlon here currently wrapping up or unwrapping his present, which is Luis! <laughs> what a gift. I mean, I personally, I would be pretty happy. 
I think a lot of people here would be, to be honest, if they unwrapped a package and Luis was inside of it. I think uh, we have a few people that would be very thrilled with that present. But unfortunately, it's a uh, he. He opened up one cool gift and then turned over to see a stocking full of coal because it's about to be time for the Dynamite Valley. Yes. Oh, this poor Dynamite soul. Canyon time. You know, oh, I cannot tell you how many times I've seen runs just dissipate into thin air in a cloud. You could say of a, a nice uh, bright red mist right around yeah, here you ever go to uh 7-eleven and you get one of those cherry slurpees and you just like you just slip or someone knocks it out of your hand yep so you and know that nice goes little... all over the place yep the physics engine just goes crazy for a couple of seconds that's what can happen in in the blink of an eye in the canyon valley here so what you don't want to have happen is someone like Orchlon get off to a great start? Because really, the, the game is broken down into three sections when you really break it down. Village, Castle, Island. The Village is all about getting your foundation. It's about getting the start of your economy off to a good point. And it's also about hitting important accuracy markers. The Castle, by comparison, is where if you're off to a good pace, you tend to win more. Steel sharpens steel, that kind of thing. And the island and then, is just um, where dreams go to I die. There's no, uh, there's, there's no upside to the island. But there's also no upside to the canyon village. So I don't know. Do you think he's going to make it? I don't know. And with this, with this dynamite canyon, you got to be very careful with the TNT throwers and the axe throwers. Those ranged Shit. weapons okay, can spell disaster in time. a lot of instances here. Spicy right now, looking to be a little bit ahead right now, approaching his time in the Canyon Valley because he didn't stop and talk to the uh, to the merchant, so he doesn't have the accuracy bonus right now that Orchlon has. I think Orchlon's strategy here is trying to pop heads from afar to keep himself safe as he pushes deeper. Or he may just be making the purchase now. Could be. That is going to be a very interesting... That is going to be very interesting to watch. There are going to be runners that decide to go to merchants at some times, some runners that don't. It's going to be interesting to see how... How these decisions are made real time tournament pressure can make things can make people think differently in some of these instances spicy getting ran upon god smiles upon him there wasn't dynamite waiting for him at the top of the ladder this time he gets the hexagonal emblem he's going to need that to open up the next area orchlon now trying out his accuracy he's not qualifying for optic with these hits QTT as well, getting a nice little bit of escape. You know, it, the top of that ladder is tough, man. I'm not kidding you. Very tough. Bot clears as well. We're off to a really good start so far. Spicy's now about to start turning that crank to let him escape. Oh, but QTT is looking a little low on shotgun ammo. He has quite a bit of running left to do, but not too many opportunities to create space if he gets blocked in. Ooh, and a quick turn. That 120 FPS life. Catches him slipping. Dynamite in the AO. Ooh, thank Ooh. God. No splash damage there. Oh, the accuracy. The guy can't throw uphill. You're not supposed to do that. This that, guy never went to Marine school. That TNT did not make its intended target. Right now, Orchlon and Spicy. Close-ish in the same ballpark. Spicy, though, definitely seems to be having the lead right now. About a nine-second lead on Orchlon. Although you got to wonder, once again... When Spicy makes his stop at the Merchant, will we start to see that even out a little bit more? I have to say, everybody here has to be part of the uh, the it's Capcom community uh, Twitch partner group or what have you, because everybody's just being blessed. I'm convinced you, some people just have different stream keys and Steam <laughs> keys for this game. That's that what has to determine the uh, the DA that you get out of the box. Nothing you else. You think so? Sense. You think there's a you think there's a, a Capcom creator conspiracy going on? I watched <laughs> Trey take the full Nelson for 30 additional minutes than anybody else thought he should have. <laughs> by right. Oh man, we're gonna get on Dexerto for this talk. Better watch it. <clears throat> and anybody in chat can tell me if he earned it. I don't think he did. <laughs> I think someone remoted into his PC and said, "You know what? Uh, I, I don't know about this guy. You're, you're not seeing. You're not seeing finals, kid." You know, some things can just go so wrong that that may be the only thing that makes that could make sense in in a world where that wouldn't even make sense. It just doesn't make sense sometimes. That's I think just the beauty of RE4 speed running. Personally, I got a little bit of a, a game theory here. I think oh. that when when runners press go around the same time. 
they 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 like kind of make a spirit ball of good RNG and it all gets sucked out of one person's game and it goes to another person's game. Do you have any idea how many times Spicy or uh, Dis just ran past a Ganado? Oh my God, when he got, when Spicy got backed into the corner by two Chainsaw Sisters, mm -hmm. no knives in the back pocket. He, he should have been dead to rights. He walked out, not a scratch on him, not a cloud on the sky. I don't know what to tell you. And that was not just a theory, folks. That was a game theory. That was a game that theory. A game theory. Bach here doing the, the nice little puzzle. Thankfully, the, everything is so close together. Nobody's taken any unfortunate deaths. There have been a couple of uh, mishaps. I don't... Yeah, I guess that's fine. Looking at him not use the small key there, you would have to expend the shotgun shell if you're not trying to bait the uh, the grabby boy. I'm with it. He's a little low on shotgun shells, though. The shotgun, we're about to get rid of it. But at the same time, we do have quite a few Ganados to move through. And Spicy reaches Chapter 3 first for everybody keeping track of that. It's like Bok Basup will now be entering Chapter 3. The nice thing is, again, is that that consistency is shining through for Spicy. Now, of course, he's not safe. You're never safe. But... Overall, the game still leans so heavily on raw execution, Enigma. And, you know, so many times you'll see, like, in the cabin section coming up, or even in that village section that we saw at the very start of the game where they're chucking nades and trying to get shotgun headshots, if you miss one of those, oh, you'll you'll want those back. That's yeah. putting it lightly. All it takes is one to go wrong to throw everything off kilter. But in terms of consistency, Spicy is the one that does appear to have the most consistency. But in a tournament setting, there's pressure. There's money on the line. You never oh, know who true. not only may crack under the pressure, but who might rise to the occasion a little higher than normal. Some people like the pressure. And speaking of liking the pressure, I'm just seeing nothing but smiles over on Orchlon stream right now. This is I'm, I'm quite OK with this, man. I want to see people having a good time here. You know, you've invested so many weeks, hours, months, years into Resident Evil 4 Remake at this point, you know. I mean, the game's only been out for a couple of months, and people are already, uh, you know, just missing out on the birth of their first child to do runs. It's what's required, honestly, when you're going up against Distortion 2. Everyone's picking up the Velvet Blue in the cabin shack. Treasure pickup routing is going to be very important as well. You're going to see a lot of sales to the merchant. What's interesting here is Bach, I don't know if he's happened to use a handful of green herbs, but he should have the resources to mix quite a few green, red, yellows, but he only has one at the moment. I don't know if he's, uh, if he's looking for herbs or what. And then right and those now, herb, those herb sales will get you a lot of money from the merchant. So if you see those pickups, that is what they are going for. They're going to sell them to those merchants and get a lot of money back for them. And the nice part, especially during this early part of the game, you do have access to alternative healing methods. You have eggs, you got fish, you got vipers even. It's mm -hmm. snake eater in the feud. A little bit later on, you will see those side missions being completed for the fish. And that will be to get more. Uh, that will be to get some extra merchant goody goods. Yes, the routing in this for, for the economy is pristine. So much like you just saw um, Bakba not too long ago desecrate some uh, some gravestones. The merchant actually appreciates you doing that, believe it or not. And he'll trade you gunpowder or gems or things to put gems inside of, all of which will help you clear some of the harder parts of this game. I'm looking at you, Double Garador. <laughs> yes, that will be something to be watching for later. And that was something that I wanted to kind of touch on as well. I think there's one heavy grenade. There's one static heavy grenade pickup and the rest will have to be formed by your gunpowder that you pick up in the merchant. And uh, it's going to be very, very crucial that they have three heavy grenades getting well, to that double Garador point. Running through areas like what we're seeing right now is so crucial. Like the, the early game sets you up more than you may realize, because if you have to spend tons of gunpowder making, whether it's shotgun shells to keep enemies off of you, if you're making rifle ammo in order to get quick headshots for the cabin section, all of that stuff may gatekeep you from making those crucial heavy nades for the later parts of the run. You never really know when to hold them and when to fold them. Very, very well said. You really do not have any idea. 
but adaptability is the name of the game, just like Spicy now making his way to the back of the fishing village. At this point, he's sailing fairly smoothly, but by the time he picks up the fuel that he needs to get the boat moving, he may be surrounded by multiple ganados and a minotaur. I can't call him udders. I hate to say <laughs> it. I, I, can't, I can't call him udders. I mean, I just, you know, I just go with Cowman. That might, oh, that might be a good, good a, a good, a good solid neutral uh, name. Just Cowman. I definitely, um, I definitely catch the blizzard cease and desist when I call the gunners on the island Roadhogs. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You don't want to oh. run afoul of that legal team. No, 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 no. no, no. no. Uh, they take that seven days out of seven. Twice <laughs> on Sunday, actually. <laughs> yes, they do. All right, thankfully, everybody's making it through the fishing village mostly unscathed. I haven't seen any tinges of red. Nobody's got raspberry jam on their screen. This is not free. Oh, oh the context one right there. You just, had, you just had to say it, didn't you? Oh, well, buddy, I hate to say it. I got everybody's uh, Twitch URLs in the back in a seance. <laughs> That's if how it goes. Every, everything can look so clean, so pristine, and then boom, changes, especially on professional. Oh, that's true. That is very true. Sometimes enemies will pivot super hard. Oh, speaking of taking bad hits, that was oh. an arrow to the hip for Bach. That can Not happen. quite as damaging as a scythe, but yeah, it'll put Spicy. some things in perspective for you. Spicy is putting that gas, and right there, this is another FPS legal switch. You're going to lower your frames right here to get a little more consistency with Del Lago. And on this part right here, this is a, a little bit different from OG RE4. It's not, not really as random as it used to be. If you hit Del Lago in the mouth and fully charge spears, it'll do more damage, but you want to one-cycle this. If you let Del Lago go back into that water, he will regen health. So we're going to watch Spicy. Orchlon is also at Del Lago now. Balk and QT QTT6 are also right there as well. This is relatively tight. We'll see what happens. This is one of the big positive mental attitude moments in the run. This should be consistent. There's no excuse for messing this up. And if you miss a harpoon, ooh, that's going to keep yeah, you up at night. It will. You will not forget about that one, especially here in the finals. It is a lot different here than the first round. A lot more on the line. One cycle could be coming to an end here for Spicy. He has one more to throw. He gets his first there try. It is. Spicy completes Del Lago first, going into chapter four. On an absolute ripper here. Meanwhile, Orchlon's turn. He gets Orchlon his one gets cycle. It. I think one harpoon earlier than Spicy, actually. Might Both runners. I do believe Wait. Del Lago was a little bit further away when Orchlon, he may have closed a little bit of a gap there. Bakba Soup and QTT6 still looking. Do take note. I do believe I'm seeing some Rainbow Road looking ass splits over on Spicy's screen. I think they're plus, but it's still fairly in range of a great run that he just came out of. We'll stay within five seconds of a sub two. I'm not mad at that. Now, Bach, don't be fooled here. He's not taking a break. Supposedly, Bach has to watch this cutscene. Other. Oh, no. QTT. QTT6 does not get the one cycle. That's going to haunt him. He's waking that. up tonight after whatever happened. He could win. He'll still go and journal about this later. And real quick, I didn't. We did, uh, that kind of that kind of caught us off guard. Why is Bach watching this cutscene again? So the reason being is he believes that there's a good chance his game can crash if he tries to skip it. Okay. And as well, QTT now needs to recuperate these losses, man. This is the big, this is the first biggest gap we're going to start seeing between our runners right here. And what a heartbreaker too. I could understand if someone like ran upon him at random, but this, this one should be free. This one should be dollar store actually. But it's costing them. But it's a good thing that we got money to spare. Big ups to Rubsk. $33. There we go. Cosplay. Let's play. Where's that happening at? Ten bucks. Let's go, runners. We got another tenor from Dominic. Sins Sinnies? Sinies? Why are you putting symbols like that in your name? I buddy? go with Sinnies. Kratky. Distortion, the best of all. Spicy, tasting a bit sweet today, though. Good luck. Good words, dude. Azuzi, 1515. 
Let's get 15K for our boys. Couldn't agree more. You could join these fantastic donators and help push our bottom up on top of our distribution for our top four finishers. Exclamation mark prize in the chat or look at the pinned comment if you're watching this on desktop. Right here, we are, they're going through, I think they're going to pick up the sniper and the scope here on chapter four. And this is mm -hmm. also, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, this is where Chicken Island is to get the Indeed. golden egg. And I hear that may or may not be important later. It's pretty crucial, not just for a uh, box mental health but for everybody in the chat you know everybody watching this wants people to stop off at bach island man not only do you want the golden egg for reasons we'll get into later but you also want the eggs for the health who wants to spend green herbs man didn't you go to the dare campaign drugs are bad we want you know eggs. in my life they keep saying eggs are good then eggs are bad then eggs are good then eggs are bad but right now we are clearly at the point where eggs are good so that is uh and when they're gold they're a lot better they're a lot better. Well, I actually don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know if I've eaten a golden egg. Well, you know, I'm just, you know, gold. I was always told gold was good. So do you figure Leon's the kind of guy who would like crack open an egg in a raw environment and would only drink the white of the egg because he thinks he doesn't want the fat from the yolk? Well, I would say based on what he saw on his first day at work. Yeah, he does strike me as that kind of guy. Then maybe, oh, then maybe OK. That. Meanwhile, in the head mines right now, we're looking for two keys in this boating section. Bach here getting getting let out quite nicely. Oh, my word. You know, t what can I say? Sometimes you're just chosen. You're just selected to not have to deal with problems. Bach was able to walk through there perfectly fine. They practically held the door open for him. I said, right this way, sir. Sometimes you do get that valet service. And Bach Ooh. is getting it right now. Back into the boat. <sighs> UTT6 has now arrived at that section. We'll keep an eye. We'll see if the gap can be closed. But Some Balk spicy is, dodges there. Balk is heading back out. Getting the fish. This fish is going to go to the merchant. Ooh, Orchlong caught a little bit of stray fire damage there for some reason. He's probably scratching his head right now. Not quite sure what happens. Does pick up the yellow herb on his way out. More enemies just standing around, not knowing what's going on. What is they this, don't a Distortion 2 stream? Oh, they don't know what word. to do. And Bach is at home with his people right now, and he gets the golden egg. He had, Checking to, go stop by, he had to go stop by the home real quick. Now, you'll notice he didn't pick up the small resources there. Now, what can I say? Resident Evil 4 Remake is just like Tinder. They don't want you unless you classify as the large size, okay? It's go. just that simple. I've and never here, heard of that before, but I immediately agree with that. It is a struggle. I will tell you that right now, Enigma. But I'll take your word for it, Vash. The reality is, is unless you're crafting shotgun ammo or maybe handgun ammo at a stretch, what do you need small resources for? You might sell them. You got handgun ammo for that. It all kind of mm -hmm. comes out in the wash. Meanwhile, Spicy here is about to do some fast menuing. He's hitting up his boy, the merchant. <laughs> Thank you. All right. We have the Spinel uh marketplaces here as well sticking those those blue gems into that mask doing a lot of selling there's that fish you may have seen him redeem the the blue piece of paper that's now going to give you a lot of benefits here at the merchant we're even getting rid of our shotgun here because it's all about the sniper rifle we need to invest a minimum of, of 103,000 pasetas to this shop in order to be able to upgrade its damage just below its final upgrade, get a little bit more ammo capacity in there and increase, I believe, its reload speed. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of knife upgrading there as well. The knife becomes a little bit crucial at this point. And you go ahead and bump it up right here. Speaking of, it's all about the economy here. The merchant here is the homie, and we need the butterfly lamp to grease the palms just a little bit more. But now it's time to put that rifle to good use. We got 15 shots and a big boy to put down with it. It's time for El Gigante, which isn't just what they call me on the streets. <laughs> but what about the sheets? Um, well. Is that another discussion for another I, time? That, 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 that's a sadder story. What All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, here we go. We got that sniper rifle going right into the Plagas coming out of the back of El Gigante. We're going to see this should be relatively smooth, just pumping shots into the into the face and then to the Plagas on the back should be clean. We're honing in on spicy. Perfect. There you go. Crystal Beautiful clear right up. there. 
Believe it or not, this is an accuracy challenge. I've seen many a runner miss shots here. You don't want to lose out time on this. I believe Zeke actually messed this up during our, our qualifier for this. Ooh, we throw the hand grenade there to get the restun. Cancels the charge. But now he has to really adapt here. He wants oh, to get the flog out. Oh, he's got to move away. Uh-oh. He's dodging the tootsies. You know he's not a Twitch viewer. He's a Twitch streamer. Important to note that Spicy is on the very same pace as his first run in the first round. He is he is consistent, king of consistency. Poor guy Which right one? now just wants to see the Plaga, dude. He needs to hit these shots. He's off in a little bit of an odd angle, but this should be smooth sailing from here. Gets the kill. Decent recovery from Orch. Suffered a bit of damage, lost a decent amount of ammo, and some knife durability for his trouble. Now it's time for Bach so to prove far, yeah. his mettle in the so arena. Thankfully you guys Would you want him first, on your Counter-Strike team? We're about to find out. As long as you can't we are about one, to find that out in a big run. way. Shoutouts, by the way, while we're waiting for this to start off, to Laxative Demon. 50 bones down. We'll catch up on all of you. Don't worry about it. The skill shown today is incredible. Good luck, everyone. I agree. You just hex Bach right now. Oh, Does he God. see the Plaga? There we go. There it is. Popping out. It's popping out. Now he's going to have to reload here. Well, decent, decent. Is, That's going to cover his here. reload there. He's going to craft the ammo here. Running a little lean. There you go. Gets the nade for the guaranteed re-stagger. We need to get those headshots off. Oh, he's roaring. He's big mad. He's going to have to reload again. Oh, we're going again. for the knife strats. The no we even reload. saw the shrug there. He doesn't even know <laughs> what's going on right now. Will it get the kill? Pistol attack, so. Switching to your pistol is faster than reloading. I don't know if he's going to go for it, though. He is. He oh, is. Not. Oh, oh, no, he went oh, back to the right. Oh, where was that going? That was wide. There it is. Yeah. All right, he is through. QTT now finally in the middle of the El Gigante fight. Just reloading after hopefully hitting all his shots in the first phase. Gets the re-stagger. This one's big. He's hitting his shots, but he only has a couple of more attempts. Hope the damage is good. This is One the final pass. Bullet. Oh, Holy we got it on the last me. bullet. Oh, I my goodness. I don't believe it, dude. That is crazy. Last bullet and got it. You know he wasn't even flinching. He said, I got this. Got nothing to lose either. Sometimes the those are the most dangerous to keep an eye on. You know, if that is not the story of QTT's run this whole tournament, fight hard to the very end. The last bullet will get you there. Unbelievable. That it's a beautiful wild. story. I do That's believe while we were uh, while we were watching the Elegante fights, I do believe Spicy and now Orchelon uh, will be doing the first Ashley skips in this run. Is that correct? Uh, that is going to be coming up fairly shortly here. We have our keys. Bach is now heading his way. And Spicy actually cleared the Ashley skip quite cleanly. Orchlon's yep. grabbing the yellow diamond in her holding cell. The Ashley skip makes this segment so much easier. Spicy would have to play this a little bit more carefully, expend a few more resources because he'd have Ashley in tow. We don't mm -hmm. want to have to deal with that. That's what killed Zeke twice heading into the castle during the last set of runs. It was all Ashley's fault. Hate to put the blame on her, but... I'm kind of spitting right now. Sometimes you gotta. Listen, I've, I'm a former world record holder of Silent Hill 4. And if you speed run Silent Hill 4, you know all about right. dragging somebody along on a speed run. And anytime you can get rid of that second character is a godsend. So that Ashley skip here will be uh, <clears throat> quite important. By the way, shout outs to Eileen, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Maria wasn't your baddie? No. Not, no. Right, fair play. Fair play. Fair play. I'm just checking. I just got to check. Yo, Spicy seeing visions of, tra or of uh, who, who was the one who got just boot stomped consistently? Wasn't I'm trying to remember who that was last round. Just kept it getting was, boots to the face. It was whoever was in my bottom. It was whoever was on bottom left. I think it was Orch, actually. It might have been Orch. Yeah, it was Orch Juan. He was in the bottom left. Ass. Yeah, he just kept getting Seamus Brogue kicked. <laughs> unlocked almost. <laughs> All right, now it's time for the cabin. This segment is consistent, and I think Spicy might be the one to demonstrate it. So for the layman here, we need seven kills during this first wave to spawn a new wave. After all those Ganados die, then, then it's like Call of Duty Zombies. We want to start letting them pass the barriers so we can get the max ammo drops in the form here of boards. Throws the nade. That's your, that's your squad right there. 
Now, every Granado past this point, we're going to want them once again into the cabin. Kill them. Take the boards. Once all the windows on the bottom are boarded up, we can head upstairs and get off to the next segment. This is an interesting funnel here. Ooh, that might gatekeep him from... Ooh, thankfully. Ah, but that's an unfortunate thing that can happen. If a Ganado tries to climb into the window, you're not boarding it up that quickly, buddy. He's off to his second segment. Spicy is on the second phase. I think five kills on the second phase. That's right. That's right. After five kills, then you can count on... Uh, I, uh, yeah, you can count on Utters to make an appearance, buddy. He, he, he shows up. Our, our classic cow man, he will be making his appearance yet again. I don't know why they don't just call him the Minotaur. I got to be honest with you. I don't know. Maybe there's some weird copyright on that, like Resident Evil in 1995, where they oh, couldn't, awesome. or on Biohazard, rather, where they couldn't call it Biohazard. You never know. Mm. Copyright in the United States sure is something. See some sick lore there. Yep. Going back to the 90s. Meanwhile, Spicy now hitting really close shots in a tight proximity. This is what I'm talking about, where you got to hit your shots. Accuracy is everything here. And if you don't believe me, just go talk to Distortion 2 when he tried to get that wrench out of that uh, out of that regenerator. And this is Ooh, really good parry as well. Oh, yeah. Execution is on. Ashley, get me out of this segment. I don't want to be here anymore. As soon as you kill Cowman, it's over. But you have to be really careful. And we're going to watch this with the remaining three on this. Cowman can one hit kill you. I think that's enough skill. Now, Orchlon, call him an egg. These oh, these cabin segments get scrambled. There's no lie there. He gets enemies in close proximity. I don't know if his accuracy is up to snuff. Bach, though, so far is performing well. That's one. I think he's still hunting for boards here. Get two, actually. He gets his boards. Bach right now is expending some interesting resources. Don't know about that grenade toss there. Not sure it was necessary. I think we're still looking to board up the oh, other window no, as well. He may have what he needs. He does. Okay, I might actually die here, guys. By the way, you may see you may see Spicy down there before we went to Orchlon. Just upgraded the case to get a little bit bigger of a case. And just to clarify some more rules, charms on the cases are not allowed. And any deluxe edition content also not allowed. But Spicy did just upgrade their case to get a bigger case before we went oh. to Orchlon. And Orchlon... Orchlon ooh. cannot hit his shots, man! His shots Go back to Cove! What are we doing are here? Not connecting. Gonna eat some eggs. Remember, He's eggs good. Definitely. What was that? There slurp, go. slurp. Derek, more plates, more dates in the mix. All right, now he just needs to not get crowded while he's oh, waiting for oh, Ashley oh. to break him out of the segment. He's out of there. You know what? And that... That's... Almost oh, a perfect so recreation of what happened last time, too. Orchlon, very He's messy cap, and he had to improvise, He's but he was able to keep his head on. Oh, this, thankfully. this is regular cycle off. Meanwhile, yes. uh-oh. Someone is trying to gank Ashley away from Spicy here. I did see that. That was a section where you really, it really benefits you to stealth. Oh, God. Oh, no. Don't, and I don't saw see. some don't flash leave. grenades, but I do believe Spicy got through uh -oh. with Ashley. No, he Without actually had to alarm. restart the segment. Yeah, he had to restart the segment. Is that a restart? Down, he did. I am he so did. focused on these other screens. I can't even imagine. Our previous commentators had to do this with eight. Unbelievable. <laughs> so that is a restart of the section. Ashley was grabbed and was taken away. You, it, stealth here is super crucial. Well, this is also why you want to invest the flashbang here. You can't always walk through without sounding the alarm, but... The big goal here, the reason why you don't want to sound the alarm is you just want to loot in peace, dude. Take all take all the items without anybody watching you, and, you know, it's just so nice to be Not able to do that in peace and quiet. Ooh, Ooh. Caught, a, caught a bow to the lower back. Ooh, those are some bad things to take to the hip. I tell you that okay. much for free. He's going to be walking spicy. funny for a little bit. Spicy will get through this second time. See if and that I proves to be a gap closer. 
We'll see in right now. Spicy did suffer a little bit of time loss towards his midpoint of the run, so that may or may not preclude him from even getting a sub two period, but of course it's a long way. That's assuming quite a few things, actually. Flashbang invested right now from QTT. He's hitting his shot, should only need one more. Oh, the, uh, the hammer drops. Cow man is down. Now see, the thing is, you're not safe even right now. You gotta wait. Yep. You gotta hope Ashley's kind to you, and she is. He is very kind. <clears throat> so QTT6 will now approach, appropriately enough, Chapter 6. Orzlan right now looting the room. Unfortunate Plaga spawn there. You hate to see it. It means you have to invest more ammo than you would otherwise want to. But, hey, sometimes you got to do it. Otherwise, you could risk getting clipped. And now, see, this is what we're talking about. Pasetas on we top go. of Pasetas for Orzlan. No, what are in these crates, the man? I need bullets. Spicy is about to run into a certain pair of sisters, and they are not happy. Let's see Ooh, if we get the stagger. First shot stagger. First shot stagger. All right, he needs to play this the old-fashioned way. Oh, he's getting ran upon. Ooh, right. did the not get a the quick bit. stagger. All right, thankfully the Bella sister is down, and the other one is off in Narnia. He needs to be quick in gathering the crank and getting the, the hell crank. out of here. Get out. There you go. Got the crank. He should have the flashbang to invest here to make it safe for him to churn the butter. And it's correct. Orchelon will now be encountering the sisters. Let's see what happens here. Another first shot stagger. You hate to see it. Means he has to play dynamically. We know the shots aren't on under pressure. Oh, oh but God. thankfully he gets the four quick ones. The other Bella sister's taking time. Please shoot my sister. What are we the doing? The other Bella sister was just chilling at the end of the table, just watching all that go down. All right, got to get away. All right, Orchelon gets out with the crank. These are some tight lines we're running here. Orchlon needs to invest. He doesn't have the flashbang. He's got to craft it. Ooh, he's got to craft a flashbang, but at least he can. That's true. Be much better than not being able oh, to. No, he's he's juicing. You got to take your wins. Really got to take your wins where you can get them. He well, was he able to at least really craft the flash. The now you think these guys are holding their eyes? They just saw the light, oh, but he's okay. still not safe. Okay, oh, if you get hit here, he's got to restart it. There it is. He got it. But even now, he's got to push it open, and that Still gives time for the other Bella sister to potentially close the gap. He's this. free. You're but now, where's it. Ashley? Will she be able to escape safely? Oh, She's in oh, the help oh, status. She has been grabbed. This oh, is tough. This is another cool. flashbang invested for Orchlon. He needs to. He, he can't throw the Hail Mary. He has to push the door open. He's got to go back to the time. door. But guess what's waiting on the other side? It's the Bella sister. He needs to be quick in getting her back. Chuck the nade. Will it catch the sight line? Thankfully, she it drops did. the white woman. Work. Needs to go, go, go. <laughs> oh, man. This is crazy. This is not what you want to see for Orchlon. You want this to look just like Bach. You invest one flash, and then you're out of there for the rest of the run, dude. Come on. That was like a total bait. Meanwhile, Spicy successfully completes the Mendez skip. Okay, yep. And Orchlon gets a, 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 what's the word, a compensatory? What's compensatory, yes. Yeah, compensatory flash grenade there. Okay, this and awesome. Mendez will just be up here chilling, watching the loss. tournament with the rest of us. What? What's up, dude? How you doing? Uh-oh, here we go. QTT6 is about to encounter the sisters. Let's see what... Another first shot stagger. Now he's closing a gap. This is tough. I don't know about this one. We need to see those shotgun shells being blasted. Oh, <laughs> that is it's, risky It's not even a quick kill. Oh. Oh, that's a huge oh, time investment. No. And she's still not down. She's still not down. And he got grabbed. grabbed. That's going to be a knife costing you, buddy. You want that to parry these chainsaws. Oh, oh he's taking he got hit by that torch. That fire oh, could have been the end for him. Look at him move around that menu. Oh, poor oh, boy. Got he the needs crank. to the hell out of here. Room. Had to, uh, there we go. Okay. He's dodging. Oh, Amy. my he's goodness. Left, right, and center. That was dicey. Call him Pico de Gallo. That was risky and frisky Bach here crossing the bridge Hooey. meanwhile Ashley getting grabbed for QTT as well now he needs to successfully churn this without getting clipped like you'd mentioned Enigma if he gets hit off of this it's back to the start and he's losing health for the trouble he yep. gets it though and we're just in time here for Spicy to make his catapult run. And you know this isn't free, Enigma. Zeke died here twice. It is not free whatsoever. And it can happen to the best runners in the tournament. Full right, focus. Spicy in the lead. We're going to begin the castle. Got to watch out for these, for these asteroids. 
being shot by these cannons. Got to blow up those barrels as well. Got to make sure Ashley does not get grabbed. And you will have to shoot this cannon into the main door upstairs to proceed. And remember, there's no auto saves. So on the way back, it can get very, very dicey. Oh, that's an unfortunate got hit right hit. there. The land before time. You're actually in the dinosaur cafe right now. It's the meteor shower. Oh, but you don't want to get caught there. You want to move oh. because Ashley's going to get incapacitated. And Ashley is incapacitated. This is not oh, what you want to see. Really Another bad. stray hit could be the end of Our Lady. Gotta go to the door. He's gonna have to respond to this somehow. Orchlon now making his approach as well. Oh my god, the AoE on this has got to be sending Spicy's blood pressure through the roof right now. Oh, and she dies! Oh, Ashley no. is dead! Oh my goodness. And see, this is where the run and where everything can change just in the snap of a finger. Oh it is my never word. Over, and this just changes I, 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 everything. I, I oh my goodness. Did you got a sub two in the first round? What's this in your game wallet? doesn't care. You're about to get robbed. Orchlon now has oh, a, he, has he a has bit won. of a window that has opened up for him. Let's see if he can take advantage of it. Everything is going to hinge right now on him not taking the same death, but this segment is not forgiving. Nice clean kill there. This is all you, Orchlon. We believe. Oh, how, how did he keep his head on after that one? That was quite a mind blower, if you ask me. He's still moving. Oh, oh no, and now Ashley, oh, and is, Ashley is incapacitated. Now, depending on oh how this goes, God. this could be there's helpful. A, oh, there's a, oh my goodness, there's a, there's a death there. shrimp. That was one shot. <laughs> That's what I call this a death shrimp. <laughs> Gotta get that door. All right, using the cannon to get rid of those catapults, and now the door. You know, All safety right, strats. Safety Let's see strats what happens. Don't. Oh my God. Icy's making a second attempt here. If you're Walk in the chat right and you're watching this, you gotta get excited because everything just changes right here. It can. If you're in the chat and you're watching this, you gotta get your mom's credit card, buddy. Exclamation mark prize in the chat. We wanna see that dono go up. Looks like Orchelon has made it through. Unbelievable. Right, so speaking, speaking of the prize contributions, Again, we had $30 from Orange Bishop. We had $20 from Valium Knight. We had $15 from Connor. Said, haters fear the Bach Bachad. Greetings from Canada. <laughs> we had $25 from Sequenza. Said, pro gaming galore. Greetings from CQ the Gamer. Pagan Zero with $20. Said, let's go. These runs have been hype. Let's get that 15 k for the amazing runners. That would be awesome. Thank you all very much. Exclamation mark prize in the chat. We'll get you the link to donate for all of these amazing runners. We're coming up upon our first real door skip here. Oh, this is where you safe. clip through a door using your scoped yeah. rifle. And if you flick your mouse around real quickly, you can appear right on the other side of it. This is the hardest one to do. Orchlon in the driver's seat. And he gets yeah. it so he crispy. It. He's so clean with it. All smiles in the Orchlon camp right now. Stocks are rising. Rifle ammo. That's going to give him a nice little lead right now. Bok Basoop, not too far behind, though. Damn it. His first attempt, action on Bach. Ooh, one attempt down. Oh Ooh, 30. Yeah. Uh, I'm starting Ooh. out to like it's odd. Oh, this is tough. This is quite memes and I'm dreams right now. Only one slash oh, Jarvis, oh. show me this guy's heart rate. <clears throat> Unfortunate. We have to reload the checkpoint there because if enemies get too close, then you start risking not only your health, but also Ashley's. You wouldn't like that. That is the hardest door skip to get, by the way. Orchlon in the water hall. Got to be okay, careful. Has my last hope for some rifle ammo. Oh, absolutely. You want to talk about this? Okay. This is actually okay. high school drama here. It's all about the improv right now. I think the enemies on the bottom floor, if you kill them, they will all pop plagas. So you have to be kind of. So. You have to be careful not oh, to get those ball. plagas out. So for this section, you'll see people chuck flash grenades or you'll see people aim for the arms or maybe the legs. Okay, that's good because I have to. Anything but the head. We don't want to kill him. We just want to maim him. Shoot the feet or the ankles or the cankles. Uh, quite Depending a few on what they have. have. I'm checking. I'm, I'm checking this guy out right now on Orchard. Oh, I'm, I'm amazed he didn't get flattened right there by the stairs. That would be a nice little bit of environmental storytelling. Oh my god, there was a fucking plaga. Okay. 
Meanwhile, we're going to have to invest another flash grenade here if he wants to spin this wheel. He only has the one, though. Oh, having to craft two for the Bella sisters may be coming back to bite Orchlon. Oh, oh this economy is looking quite oh, grim. Death Shrimp is right there. He chucks it there. Oh, there it is. Yes, flash. Actually, Thankfully, the Black Goop did not block the light. Oh, but oh, look the... at this temple run. Going. Oh, we finally got hit right there. I was about to he say, Neo, eat your heart out. But he finally got hit right there at the top of the steps. And now all right, it's all we on go. the accuracy check. It is time to catapult Ashley up top. You want to save your sniper ammo here, so we might see some handguns, but we'll see what happens. Tournaments change things. I believe Orchlon has the reserves to be able to make it through this segment handily, but after seeing his performance in the cabin, it wouldn't be surprising if we saw some missed shots out of Orch. Let's see what happens. Getting very close to Ashley. Boom, boom. All right, that enemy nice. is down. Looking good thus far. Four piece, no biscuit across the board. Hit these shots, buddy. I believe in you. Good work so far. Pulling out the sniper. Be careful. Meanwhile, Bach is making his way up to the Ashley segment here. Orch has QTT. got five shots left in that sniper. Where's the flail guy? QTT is having a little oh. bit of trouble Ooh, getting the first wheel to shot. spend. And the enemy hides behind the pillar. Oh, Bok just took a dime! Oh my god! what I don't know. He got combo. Devil May Cry is alive. Oh, and now it's time for Orchlon's turn. He says, hold this axe, kid, from afar. Orch They're caught an him. axe with his right shoulder and lived to tell the tale for now. I'll just wait till the blood loss sets in. Oh, damn, he is moving. State dodgeball champion right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, shit. All right, Ashley looks like she'll be right there following close oh, to Orchlon. Getting a bit of handgun ammo and a boot oh, knife. And a boot knife. Trouble. And some rifle ammo. Okay, Orch, what's money? I don't need any of that. Oh, meanwhile, QTT. Oh, man. Now, see, this is something we saw happen to a different runner last time. This water hall is brutal. Oh. What was that? Did someone chuck a spear at him? What was Using that? Using all the heals in the inventory. This is not looking good for the resources of QTT. Another Heartbreaker is on deck. And Spicy is down there looking to reclaim the lady once had using that handgun on these ammos that are, excuse me, on these enemies that are approaching Ashley. Sticking with the... Oh, there's the rifle. Okay? Oh, Bach now eating some combos of his own for the trouble. Oh, man. It's not bad enough that you got to redo the whole bottom segment. You still got to try for the top. And oh, my oh. God. The Reaper came for his ass twice. And Orchlon has succeeded. He is advancing to Chapter 8. Oh, Spicy right now is missing some shots. Did you see that guy just juke him for no reason? Your objective is over there, my guy. They have a lot of caffeine sometimes, and they just avoid oh, those bullets. Lord. That is that is brutal if you're Spicy right now. Lord if the has, for him. He has quite an advantage going into Chapter 8. He has the advantage of no more Ashley for right now. You'll see him uh, killing some fish to get some treasure. But he is steadily, he's at the merchant right now, he is steadily steadily in the lead while everybody else is a bit behind as well that was a gold split water haul for him that was some of the cleanest we'd ever seen out of him and that is going to solidify his lead for the time being bach action right now needs to hit these shots i told i told you in the start orchelon had something to prove after that village run two years ago got a gold split on the water haul he is he said, rising to the occasion he said wait a minute eternal enigmas commentating i'm in here we are. <laughs> <laughs> it's a couple of rips of G fuel before he started. All right, QTT is able to escape hell right now. Good on him as well. He's had an absolutely brutal run so far. Gets two red herbs in a vase. All right, Capcom. And Orchelon takes out the red zealot and gets that treasure right behind. Very crucial that the red zealot goes down. Damn, a couple of thick Pesetas drops, too. 600 a piece. Hey, Dad. It's going to make that for quite is, a That is the way off. it goes sometimes. Well, I mean, the nice thing is you could get a 100 drop out of those, too. These guys are juicing. Yeah. High tippers. 
Yep, they are juicing like baseball players from the late 90s. It is real. <laughs> hey, yo, shout outs to Barry Bonds. And he, I, he should be in the Hall of Fame. I'm just on the he soapbox real quick. He should be there, but I'll get off that soapbox because we're here talking about Resident Evil 4. And Spicy is now in Chapter 8. Bok Basoup still in the Water Hall. All right, now I it's time for... It is hard to keep up with this. The first four really screens is. of massive action. I'm thinking about baseball now. <laughs> All right, we're watching Spicy. Spicy was in the lead for a good bit of this beginning of the run, but you saw how quickly it can change, but just how quickly it changed, how quickly it could go back. Spicy's looking to reclaim that ground that was lost. Oh, you're never safe here in this run, but thankfully a very nice segment here. It grabs the Crimson Lantern. He should be safe to run out of here. What are the drops? Ooh, Pasetas and a ruby for his trouble as well. Oh, but he does get grabbed. We're not out of the woods yet. This could combo into something huge. He's having to expend more shotgun shells. Oh, it's already eating into his reserves. Got 10 shells left. That's what's keeping him safe right now. You don't think you know, but you need it. You need those shotgun shells. Speaking of shotgun shells, we're about to make the castle, the battlements run for Orchlon at the moment. This is a big accuracy challenge, but it's also a big throwables experience. We need flash grenades. We need heavy grenades. <gasps> is he going to attempt to run this with no flash? Hold on. He's, He's going brave. for it. He's brave. Oh, he's the chosen oh one. Oh my goodness. Wow. I, I'm not going to talk about the barrel he missed there. I didn't see anything. I didn't see it. Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm agnostic to it. All right, here we go. Going to shoot to get through the... Oh, 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 oh. oh accuracy oh. challenge. Here oh, we go, took finally. Four shots. Oh my goodness. Not easy there for him. It is, this is up and down and all around sometimes. He's going to try to throw this with no flash again. What is this decision making? He's good. Oh, got he's hit in the in. back. But that was but the easiest it. he could have taken. Oh, my word. He got touched by the bug. Let's see if the, let's see. There is a, the, the Giante can throw a rock here. L big boys chucking pebbles. Sometimes it happens. It happened to Bokba Soup on a run recently. And I believe if even one of those pebbles touches you, that's big damage. Huge damage. And Orchelon is not at full HP. I think you would be Probably. left in last stand, but that's at least an herb. That's at very least. We're going to grab the be about, beetle here. Looks to be about 85% HP right now. Grabs the beetle, Spicy. goes up to the merchant, says, hey, buddy, you're going across the bridge now. He's going to invest the flash. See this? I appreciate safety. I like that stuff. Lock your car, dude. Now, believe it or not, these grenade throws through the grates are not free. Oh, and neither of these shots through the grate. Spicy also that investing that four shells. Accident. That was fucking crazy. <laughs> nice. You have a fucking miss when you're grabbing me. I am just, I'm mesmerized right now. It is, it is so tough to keep track of everything. It I'm really just, is. It is fixated on everything. Orchlon going through the door here and will complete the chapter. Orchlon advances to chapter nine. Let's see if Spicy gets by without getting hit by the rock and does. QTT's turn now to make the temple run. While we're sitting here real quick, I just want to go over some more uh, contributions that have come into the prize pool. We had $20 from Detenchi1325, says, been on the edge of my seat the whole time. These runners have amazing skills. Yes, they do, Detenchi. Thank you. We had $10 from Saul Gonzalez that had to donate because he's commentator spitting. Entertainment W. Well, you know, sometimes you just you just got to spit it out. So thank you, Saul. Thank you. $20 from Captain Sevatar says, fly, Balk. You have to fly, little chicken. Oh, he's trying, Captain. Thank you all very much. Shit. I almost thought I shot Ashley. And as well, a huge... Off. 
five hundred dollars. You get this one, Enigma? My guy, they're calling I think that you one here. just came through, like literally. Take it, dude. Absolutely amazing tournament so far. Glad I caught this. Ella Jazz, thank you so much. Says you commentators are killing it too. Hey, you can't say that. I uh, I got warrants. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much that for this, dude. Is a this is you. appreciate it. We're just here to have fun. We want everybody watching to have fun. Runners having fun. It's all about fun. Thank you very much. All right. Said, now, you... Oh, oh, pardon no, me. No, please, seriously, I was go ahead. Say, we had we we have a ton of these. Uh, Kuza ninety six threw in thirty. Said my mom is happy to contribute to this uh, to these amazing runners. Good luck. Hey, Vash made the call for your parents' credit card, and Kuza ninety six answered the call. So I just wanted to throw that one out there too. I'll take the call from the mom too. Actually, <laughs> hey, hey, whoa, hey, is that another Tinder reference? It might. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this one just expanded the age range. Let's Perhaps go. We did. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> but you know, there's a Resident Evil 4 run going on here. Let's well, see. We are on we chapter actually, nine. We actually just entered the hedge maze, and I, I, I want to check this. I want to know who made a safety save here because this is what cost Nev's huge time. He ran straight through this segment before. He didn't save. He messed up a crucial skip, died, wound up all the way back here. Poor guy. No graph here. This will be the chapter that we reunite with Ashley. See back, back down there with Spicy. Is supposed to be flashing red? No, right? We are trying to lower the flags. We have three flags to lower. Orchelon has lowered the third one already. Well, and as well, thankfully, Orchelon does have the flashbang to invest here. Because yes. the idea is you're actually supposed to let Ashley get scooped up like she's right yep. now. Flashbang, very important for this. You know, Los Illuminados are very uh, accommodating of Leon S. Kennedy. Wouldn't you believe it? Like, they'll actually just walk Ashley right over to him and be like, oh, come on, man. I'll, I'll help you set up your flashbang. It'll be cool. Boom. Drop Disconnected, and Ashley should port over or just come right on through the bushes. I think she just spawned in right there. Holy right, there moly. Go, the teleportation. Right in for Mortal Kombat. Eat your heart out. If Nev just had, saved, if had Nev just saved here, he will be playing instead of QTT right now. Meanwhile, this is another run here for QTT. Literally, I just had to take the he has good the ammo here. This is what you want. We don't want to send a single handgun bullet into these dogs. These are very dangerous enemies. They can one-shot Ashley. They can do big damage yeah, to Leon. Like they can cause knife durability. We want to put... We want to give them the old yeller treatment. Nothing but rifle bullets and shotgun shells. Nothing but. That is a fantastic point that uh, I wanted to mention earlier, but there's just so much going on. Oh, we're looking at Orchelon. The dogs in this game are not free. Orchelon goes ahead and throws a grenade over there to skip this entire section to keep the enemy from raising the bridge. Got some magnum ammo, getting some gunpowder, got a hand grenade and some shotgun shells. Orchelon is rolling right now. He will be investing the flash grenade here. And when you're this when you're this far ahead, you can you can do your safety stuff. Do you figure he has his chat? Like, is he looking at his chat? Because they I, have to be telling him he's in the lead. Right he's now. got you know. I would say perhaps yeah. I, I don't see how you would not be. Because I know you can't watch anybody else's screen while this is going on. But I mean, he it's has true. his chat on his screen, so I would think he's got to be feeling the vibe from the chat, so to speak. That's fair. That's fair. I don't know. That's that's quite. But a I don't PMA know. You point. never know. Maybe you have to shut it off. Maybe you got to concentrate. It's it's impossible to know. That's the thing. All right, dude, we're sitting down for dinner. What are you ordering? Bread and bread. Do you think they had chicken tendies back when this castle was built? Uh, they may not have been tenders. They may have been something else. Like just like naturally shaped dino nuggies. Yeah, perhaps. Ooh, I hope they got ketchup. That's where they originated from. Spicy oh. going into the bridge room also oh. throwing the grenade let's see what kind of drop spicy Look. gets in here they're here and grenade oh, shotgun shells handgun ammo shotgun shells again oh, okay pretty good yeah, for yeah. him actually not good quite drops. a heavy grenade drop but it's no still really oh good. there's the flash grenade okay. oh okay i was wondering i was, I was wondering, wondering. <laughs> is that gonna reach right. orchelon is down there control. with the armored fellows Ashley right. will be helping from the balcony, right. from the mezzanine. 
Always so nice when she contributes, really. It really is. Tremendous. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be oh, seeing anybody cool. doing... Uh, Distortion has a bit of a different approach to this room where he'll actually stand in the fire because he's that guy. Pronouns him, him. Important to... Oh, go ahead. Important to note, Orchlon just picked up a heavy grenade. What the hell's going on? Orchlon okay. picked up a heavy Where's grenade. Those are going to be crucial. If you can pick them up versus having oh. to craft them, that helps a lot. And he just picked one up more rifle ammo as well he said you're getting through this segment just fine buddy don't even worry about it here i'll help uh -oh. he's surrounded by two ashley where's the flames where's the baja blast catches one looks more like mountain dew voltage to me because it's blue Look, this guy oh actually that's a good point i think i'm a voltage guy so oh you're not a code red carl oh, i am not i may cause may cause some more trouble Okay, I Definitely give me this man's address. I mean, listen, Dude, I'm from a different oh, I'm all ears. <laughs> I'm all ears. <laughs> That's all I had to say. <laughs> all right, spicy, putting some rifle bullets. Yeah. Okay. Shot and right now, if you're interested in, in the standings, as of uh, the chapter eight end, we got Orchlon in first at 52.38, Spicy in second, 53.42, Balk like, Basoop dude, in third at 54.35, QTT6, 54.46. There's only a two minute and eight second difference. In this game, that can change instantaneously. It is still True. pretty tight in my book. Okay, I'm not well, and as well, it's nice to see QTT is catching yes. back up right yes. now with Bach, given That's the uh, the good. time loss that he suffered in the Del Taco fight. It's beautiful to see. And that's the thing. Nobody's giving up right now. Just like you said, this could be anybody's game. It To the very end, it's anybody's. Even that even that darn jet ski. Like, it, you, you just don't know. Yeah, QTT almost died of that. <laughs> yeah. You, just, you never know. All right, Balk is doing his Mortal Kombat moves on the armored. Ooh, right what happened shells. there? QTT missed a bullet that looked like it went straight through the guy. I don't... Your Honor, roll that back. I, I think I may have gotten robbed. I don't know what quite happened there. He has missed quite a few shots down here, but thankfully he has rifle ammo to spare. Orchelon is going to be our first contestant going into the Ashley section. This is the third and final spot where lowering your FPS is a legal move. It's just a little bit more consistent to get by these armored enemies with the FPS changes. So this will be the last section where they can lower their FPS if they so choose. To give a little bit of a preview as to what our uh, our inventory and our economy is looking like right now, QTT just picked up a heavy nade. Orchelon has two heavy nade drops and Spicy's walking around tall. Eight Magnum rounds in the pocket. It's interesting there. Spicy was on pause for a few seconds. Wouldn't surprise me if he was washing his hands again. He says, I'm too sick. Could be. Said he was wondering if he was doing a safety save. Come on, buddy. It's Resident Evil 4 Professional. You safety save everywhere. <laughs> With this tournament, with as much cash as it's on the line, safety saves are the order of the day. I wouldn't crack my knuckles without saving first, dude. You can't. I wouldn't me? either. It's going great. All right, we're going to go into Bok Basoop's view three. here. You good luck. You as know long what? as we will get that go head. All right, he I is going to go one. get the goat head now. I need it He's chucking a flash theater. grenade. I don't know. What the hell? Is that allowed? Well, I thought this was a hand animal. grenade. Well, uh, anything that'll <laughs> stop right, that enemy from raising the bridge. Uh, I, as long as he doesn't wake up and go, oh, what was I doing? Oh, the lever. He invests too. You know what? There we go. Fair play. I'm a fan of it. Good moves for Bach. Although it didn't sneak by me. He got two Magnum ammo drops right there. And I think I saw some shotgun shells hit his inventory uh, too. Well, shotgun More shells. Magnum ammo. What is mm. happening in Bach's game right now? What's happening? Resident Evil 4. That's what's happening. Isn't Someone check his disc. Good. He's got Game Genie on right now. Wait, people still have discs? Oh, he might. I, I don't know. If that <laughs> Maybe that's the key. Maybe he had the disc version. Maybe mm. that's the difference. It's all coming together. All right. The spicy. legendary sub too. Spicy gets into the Ashley section now. QTT6 as well. Where a couple of the juicer boxes. Orchelon's still a ways ahead. Balk is now 
in the Ashley section. We are all Ashley all the time. I'm just going to start using yeah, that we are. Actually. with our four runners. Oh. Yeah, we are. That's what I meant. The four yeah. runners. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, 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 of course, dude. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Orchelon sneaking, sneaking. Now, thankfully, nobody is, uh, nobody's seen any quick turn nights here. I don't know if I've seen anybody die recently to this room. It's happened before. I think Nev's lost a run to this, but. It does happen, but it is not something that you see very often. This area does seem to be pretty smooth. It yeah. would just take a gargantuan weird enemy activity or just a, a meltdown player skill issue uh, for that to go, to go awry but it does not look like it will happen here. All right, Orchelon does the FPS correction. Did I just, just, call, get, did I just Orchelon's call feeling back? himself at this point. You can I'm see it on his you. face. He's just I'm he, telling you. He's I, doing I, great right now. I remember our village tournament from uh, two years ago. He, he yeah. It did not go well for him. It, this could be the big comeback. This could be the run back for Orchelon. He yes, will be the I first one to clear the, the Ashley section. Ashley Not quite an auto scroller, but definitely something that uh, gives a little bit of respite from always having to aim and having to oh, worry yeah. about timing your kicks so or manage your inventory. It's a good little mental just <sighs> little nice breather. Little exhale. Yeah, a breather for the brain. Which is fair enough, because coming up right after this. <laughs> It's time to start managing your money and chucking some nades, buddy. We're we're on our way down now to go pick up the heavy grenade recipe right, from the merchant because, because right after get we get introduced to the bugs. This is where it was very important to get your spinels to get the gunpowder because you need to make your heavy grenades for this section. And if, you, if you get more than one, I think there's one static heavy grenade pickup. And if you get more than one, consider yourself blessed. Yeah, very true. And we have two runners right now. They're walking around with two big ones in their inventory. They are. It's a beautiful thing to see. He's picking up There's a couple of large resources. Orchelon just got the recipe going to the spinel menu. There's all that gunpowder. Now, don't get it twisted. These are a big investment to make heavy grenades across two levels. Not only do you need one large resource, you need 12 gunpowder for the privilege. So thankfully, that saved Orch a lot of resources outright. Mm -hmm. But for some of our other runners, you're right. If you don't have those merchant tokens, those spinels to be able to trade away. What? I don't know if it's spinels, spinels, or spinels. But... I always say spinel. That's how I went with it. I try to get fancy with it. It's a spinel. Look at a spinel. Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay, I'm with it. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Mm -hmm. So this part right here, Orchelon just did a oh. safety save. If you get killed here, there's no there's no saving after the skip. Orchelon having a little... Uh, you, oh, there he goes. He got in. So if you get killed here, you got to go all the way back. <clears throat> and the Novies can be, you know, temperamental as they always are. Orchelon making his way up now. He only has one flash grenade to be able to invest. He has two levers to pull, though. Uh-oh. Only one flash. It's time to start eating some fish. Who wants sushi? Ooh, sushi sounds Ooh. nice. It does. I might go get some after this. Might be a good idea. <sighs> what about a cop? Ooh. No. Oh, oh, he's knocked down. He's right, right in the face. There, oh, my goodness. I'm downtown. He gets let off easy this time. He wakes yeah. that guy up for some reason. He just got to cause problems. He was able to get back down. He got. He took that one. That was Shaquille O'Neal spiking that basketball right back in your face. My goodness. But he good recovered. Old, he got up and got by it. Oh! 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 Orchlon using some heels right here. So far, we in this section. Two. A fish and a first aid spray, buddy. It's not the worst thing in the world. Like you could take a death here, but god damn, man, you want to get out of here quick. You really do. Throwing a flash. All right, we're not so out of the woods yet. The bugs Ooh, spicy got. Oh, up. spicy got knocked off the ladder. He needs health right now. A green and a red invested. Oh! He's not able to get up the ladder, dude. Oh I don't my even know goodness! If Chuck's an early flash. Got to throw a flash. Got to do it. Got knocked off the ladder twice. Unbelievable. This is still the first lever he needs to pull to. We have a long way to go in the Novi's room. Long way to go. And had to use a heal and a flash already.
So it looks like we have the tail of two runs right now. It looks like Spicy Fucking and Orchlon um, are, are in the top half. Balk Basoop and QTT6 are in the other half, but things can change really, really quickly. Absolutely. This can get taken away from you at any moment at right any now. any point. Right now, Orchlon investing his resources here for the double Garador. And there it is. The Super Garador brothers look like they're going down. I don't think they're going to have a movie made about them. I think they are out. Neither of them are going to be in Rush Hour 3. <laughs> they will not. There we go. There it is. The heavy grenades brought two unicorn horns. And we will be getting through here. Orchlon does it clean. Spicy now also running out on his way to the Novi room, but not oh, before getting the one last, last the kick out, in the Thank ass, you. dude. What oh, is it about you. Spicy that is looking so attractive to these Novis? I you. this is crazy. Well, if you see his outfit, I can tell you. I can tell you two things. I can tell Let's you two things, Enigma. What are these two things? <laughs> Listen, I'm a literal man in a figurative world. I need to hear it. Oh, here, it's... well, oh, there's two things in here. Oh yeah, that's Garador true. brothers. I don't know how many uh, how many heavy grenades this kid's got right now, but he needs at least three in a regular. He's got it. Yeah, he's got, got it three. saved. He's just I got think. it like that. He's built differently. One, two, three, and there's the, the other grenade. Oh, where, where was that kick? kick going, buddy? Oh, but they're still standing. Oh, that's the, there that's the didn't go down. Though. Now see, this is where oh, you don't. Oh, he got want. grabbed. He has no knife. He's got a mash. The oh Arthur my goodness. Up. Okay, the Garador brothers did go down. Oh my, oh, that was, oh, that was wild. Are we have time the for resources are looking a little lean right now on Spicy side. He can't take too many more mishaps like that. And Orchelon doing the wall clips. Bruh. All the way over Bruh. here. What, like, what is, what's He's on his way to grab the elegant here? crown so he can pay off Verdugo. Oh, QTT right now is baiting over the Garadors to chuck some nades at him. I do believe, unless my math is wrong, which it nice is, roll. that we still don't quite know the distance between him and Bach. But as of right now, actually, we do have current standings going into the underground yeah, section. Yeah. As of right now, in fourth place, QTT6, 10642, Bach with soup, about eh, 35 seconds ahead of him. In third place, Spicy in second, and first place leading with a 10442 as of chapter nine. It's Orchlon, man. No troll. And you know, for the trouble that Spicy no had in the Novi Chamber, Balk had an absolute opposite experience. His was very, very smooth, and he has reclaimed some time on Spicy. So he may be he may have closed the gap right there between second and third place. Balk had a clean Novi Chamber. And thankfully QTT is given a nice, handy, easy double Garador room. Bach though, knocking him around a little bit. Oh, Just they're coming this... through the doorway. Uh-oh. Oh, you don't oh. want this. Bonk, I'm so sorry. This. Oh, hey. Oh, oh my God. Tool? Free 99. Orchelon, by the way, we don't want right. to overlook him. Just bought the rocket launcher for Verdugo, hey, but I am locked into Bonk in these Garadors. There is some trouble brewing. <sighs> oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, Big damage. He's going to have to invest some resources. Make that herb, baby. Keeping an eye on Orchelon over here at the same time. Got to freeze Verdugo. <laughs> And hit him with a rocket launcher. Got to make sure that rocket does not miss, because it can. The way those grenades knocked him around was not good. Threw off the oh, whole setup. Is still getting clawed. Big slices happening right now on box side of the fence. Gets his unicorn horn. Another one on the way, and he's cleared out basically the entire room over the process. Meanwhile, down in cryogenics. Just one heavy nade will be fine. And that is the one seesaw heavy. of this game. Yeah, Balk yeah. has a clean Novi oh, chamber, and perfect. look what happened immediately afterwards. This game giveth, this game taketh away. Meanwhile, someone called the exterminator. Orchlon's about to hit it up. Verdugo's running go. around the corner. Oh, oh, there's the freeze, and the rocket hits. <sighs> you realized he paused there. The eyes went wide as hell for a second. He said, did I hit <laughs> But it was good. It was clean. Nice and easy for Orchlon. He's not reliving the meme. He says, waifu runs, eat your heart out. You're not putting me in the highlight reel.
now that Orchelon uh, successfully rocketed Verdugo, I just want to go back to these amazing uh, prize contributions. We had $12.05 from CO. Did I get that right? CO, thank you for the $12.05. We had $200 from Nice Theory, who says, what a fun event. People like you with these contributions, you make it fun. Thank you. We had $50 from Disappointed Buddha, who says, let's go. We had $10 from Carlos GM 096. Vash, you'll love this. They said, Carlos said these commentators are absolute gold. I had to donate for this reason alone. Good luck on the runs, everybody. Thank you, Carlos. We're just trying to we're just trying to hype up our runners and, get, and make everybody have a little bit of fun today. Thank you very much for that. That is very much appreciated. And $10 from Thy Cool says, liking the commentary, awesome runners. Hey, I'm liking the contributors. Thank you for the $10. Thank you. Big like in the chat right now. Gotta see how close we are to hitting our next goal. The other runners are looking through. We're at 82%. We're almost to that $15,000 cap. Keep them go, coming. Go, Dig deep. Second. Remember, <laughs> even even for everybody who's been eliminated, if you increase the You'll prize pool, they will get more. The, these eight runners have provided us so much hype and entertainment today. Even though they're out, they will get more if you put more in the pot. It is wide open, so don't hesitate. Absolutely don't. You got a mortgage? Why not two? <laughs> yeah, see? You want to take a Prison loan out against baby. your 401k? Yeah, dude. All right. Orchelon's going to go into Chapter 11. Go into our merchant. Going to do some deals. The merchant in this game is so good. He, you know, this is very ironic coming from somebody who's running his mouth, but the merchant talks a lot in this game. And, you know, that ton, that does tend to be a little hot button of a topic. Do you think the merchant talks too much or, or does he uh, or does he talk just enough? I personally, I think he talks enough, man. You As two as two voiceover artists, you and I both know this guy had big shoes to fill. He did. That is an iconic role, and I think he performed it beautifully. I think the work was tremendous. It's just, it's just, and the more I, the more that I've played the game, the more I warmed up to it. It's a, uh, mm -hmm. it's good stuff all around. Orchelon going in here first as we oh. go into chapter 11. There's going to be a lever that we've got to pull and you kind of have to finesse these enemies so that you get out back into the main area when the bridge lowers on a timer at the exact moment. So let's see how Orchelon plays this. He is in in, in first place. Oh, we could all get stolen. You saw him There's dodge that chainsaw, chainsaw in real life. Ooh. Ooh. All right, let's see how he plays this. Let's see if he gets out of the room immediately or tries to mess around with her. Oh, he's leaving. He's out of here. He's like, see ya. Said, I want none of that. He's Nothing. A little bit of time here. We don't want to see anybody get backed into a corner like Spicy did before. Shotgun shells, ammo, gunpowder. They're just giving oh, away. TNT baseball. right in the front, but it was not lit. It was not lit, fam. <laughs> oh, oh, the chainsaw, chainsaw is. is right behind. Oh, they threw a TNT right at the. Oh, He's going to have to defend himself here. Oh, oh, my oh, my God. Just in time. Woo, Jesus. That investment is more than worth it. He blows up the crate oh, down below. Oh, my goodness. That was unbelievable. That was so fast, man. He picks up his dynamite. Passes right past Wily Coyote. Chucks the nade. Ooh, knocks him in. Chainsaw's nowhere to be found. I think we're in the clear. Chainsaw out of here. That was unreal. We're going to Spicy. Let's see how it shakes out for him. Now, again, this could be a segment that could take everything from you. This death is, is absolutely possible. Something could go wide. The chainsaw could rev a little harder. Ooh, man. I, I'm not even playing, and I tense up watching that. Oh, using the TMP Ooh, to calm. do a, a little stun. Okay. Nice little bit of three shotgun shells that might save his life later on down the line. I don't care who says this is consistent. I don't buy it. There is, there is quite a divide on TMP usage. Some runners get it, some don't. Spicy is one of the ones that do, or at least in this situation felt like he needed it. You know, I've heard a couple of people say that TMP has actually cost them runs because of the widespread without the stock. But I mean, in other cases, if you're just going to be opening up crates with it, eh, it might Spicy be gets it. a lot cleaner of a route here. No chainsaw harassment this time. That's a good band name, by the way. Chainsaw harassment, I'd see them. <laughs> <laughs> I go watch them at the Lakewood Amphitheater in Atlanta, Georgia. Bok Basoop. Yeah. Bok Basoop. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, man. Oh, Orchelon. Okay, we're at the double. Uh, now, I used to watch WCW wrestling when I was a kid, and they pronounced it Eligante. So that's why I say it the way I do. So in case you're wondering, we're at the doubles. I think Orchelon has already sunk them. Good, yeah, he, good he night. Had a, he had a little bit of trouble getting down the first Iron Giant, but I mean, the, the nice thing is that there's still room enough for improv. Multiple ways to skin a cat. Don't know why that saying ever came into being, but it's true. Just because you mess up the quick kill doesn't mean you're completely gate kept and have to go through the longer segment where uh, Luis puts the TNT on the back of one of the Giants. Hmm. <clears throat> Orchelon is rocking and rolling right now. Action on Spicy right now to get his quick kill in the double giants. Hand grenade looks good. This actually gate kept him last time. Supposedly a couple of his hand grenades didn't do the damage he thought they would. Oh, that's just a bad foot. Get those toes get taken care of. Magnum shots right into the teeth. All right, armored. I can't, it's Eligante, or Armored Eon. That doesn't even sound right. Now WCW's got me tricked up. All right, we're going to drop it, the other one in there. Spicy gets through. All right, Orchelon coming up to the minecart section. There's, If there is ever a oh, physical sure and a, breather, a mental Luis. breather yeah, in this time. run, I know you worked really hard it there. is the minecart section. It is darn near uh no i may be it's creating here, some too. jinx energy here if you believe in that sort of thing <laughs> oh, wait, but okay. this is this is pretty uh this is pretty free as it gets Dude. so but we'll keep an eye on it you never know it's right oh, as well as qtt's turn now to see if he can actually clear the giants as well everyone's doing the quick kill strap Ooh, but, uh -oh. Chains chainsaw is attracted to bakba soup right now chainsaw lady right. wants that chicken plushie Dude, but but he gets away. He said no sale. Two attacks in right. a row. Ooh, that like, was close. Oh damn, Bach, nice QTT dodge. gets the Come iron on, golem down. Just as Bach, right? he, he was it's, shrinking away from the monitor. Bonus. You could see him. He got a little right bit smaller in his webcam when the chainsaw yeah. entered the room. I can't say I blame him at all. The oh oh oh, and and chainsaw oh, is back. Dude. Bach, what is it about the chainsaws? All right, I think it's gonna. Yeah, okay, there not, we go. It collapses. Thankfully, he run long for it, but. QTT6 is now dropping. All right. Is now by Ele the double Elegante. We're going to focus on Bokba Soup right now. See if any other random chainsaws come out of nowhere. No flashes. All right. He's going in. Gotta hope not. He's got his flash for the quick kill. He's got his nades. The question is, does he hit his magnum shots? Ooh, I wonder if that heavy grenade went a little low. It looked like it did. Magnum dental work being done. Oh, no. Ooh, got hit by that? the foot. How did that hit him, dude? He wasn't even the right postcode. Oh, another one. That's How better. did that one miss? Oh, well, right. still comes you, you think you're Come the here, one naked. that Fuck. missed. You ruined my last run. Uh, I, I can't even fathom. The one that was farther away looked like it hit him. That's what I was trying to. Oh, is he is he on it? Will one foot oh, count? Is. Yes, it will. Okay. If it's a pixel on it, it's very forgiving okay. in this one. Oh. How nice of Capcom. And how nice of our supporters. Once again, thank you so much for all of the wonderful contributions to the Waifu Open Resident Evil 4 Remake New Game Professional Speedrunning Tournament. Want to give a big thank you to Arctura Descent with the 1902, the Boa Noah, $10 reduced, cheering on all runners. Also, hi, John. YH Lee with the tenor says, really enjoying the tournament stramming. Good luck to all the runners. I agree with you, buddy. Bladester, 867 with the $20. Thrill rides! Gotta love them. Best of luck to all the runners. And Satana K, $50 down. You all are awesome. This is exciting to watch. You're it right, sure buddy, is. It is. Damn it. That's the truest thing I've heard all day. I don't remember telling you to stop. Oh, man, well. Our prize pool, by the way, is at $12,459. We're about 17% away oh from God, hitting 15K. And that pot things. will be open for you to throw into throughout the entire entirety of the run. We appreciate all of you that have thrown in there. Oh, we just got another one. We have a $50 throw in from Bubble Drifter said, good luck runners. I agree. Thank you, Bubble Drifter. And they're going to need it, because right after this, see, the castle segment, easy streets coming to a close, man. Almost there's a stop sign in front of you. There's there's only left turns. You're either going to the promised land, or you're going to hell. We're going to the island, buddy. 
This is where this is where it just bad things happen for no good reason. That's the best way I can think to put that it. That is Nobody's the best fault. way to put it. I can't look at anybody who's lost a run to Island and been like, "Yeah, they deserve that." No, it doesn't happen that way. It just doesn't. If you if you die to a turret skip, if you lose your duffel bag, I'm shedding tears for you. I gotta say, I just am. Just am. We just had another prize throw in twenty dollars from Mr. Dark Helmet. Nineteen ninety nine said, "I need to go help my family, so I can't catch the end." Good luck, all, Mr. Dark Helmet. Go help the Dark Helmet family. Go do what you need to do. We'll be here. Thank you very much for the twenty dollars. It's quite a responsible uh, person for someone who was born in nineteen ninety nine. The video will be there for you whenever you're ready and whenever you need it. Hats off to you. And also hats off to everybody who is currently helping set this tournament up, not just Waifu, not just Otten, but everybody who is providing live information to the to the commentators, myself, Eternal Enigma, Larksa, and Mute. In the chat, these guys are watching individual streams, providing updates live, helping us stay on track. This event would not run nearly as smoothly without your constant support. Thank you. They do a lot of work behind the scenes, and uh, it, it, it is they're they're making they're making us look a lot better so uh, that is 100 percent. i echo that sentiment you have any idea how hard you have to wrangle me in most cases i have no idea what i'm talking about <laughs> this is the well, first time a, i've ever actually seen a great this job you do a fantastic I, job this is the first time i've ever seen this game to be honest with you I don't... <laughs> you know I speed, I, stuff, dude. I speed run silent hill games but i watch resident evil speed runs and ever since the, the the release of this game the first thing i thought of is oh boy you know, these professional be, speed you know, runs because i remember oh, village of shadows like when it came out and how mm. how fun that was to watch really, for the first month or two like... and here we are again oh, two wow. years later resident evil 4 remake and we're first getting the same two. high level play out of everybody well, you know, at this point, right, like, did, did you happen to watch the most recent world record run done by The Distortion 2? I didn't even know about it until today. I was doing my taxes last night, so I was I was unaware that Dist got a new record last night. Big responsible over here. I love I that. I know, right? I have a few days left on the clock. <clears throat> well, I mean, the thing is, is looking at how that run played out, first off, fantastic performance by Dist. He did an amazing job, consistent play throughout at a very high level that was not given to him. The thing is, though, there's still a little bit of time save left in that route. But who here wants to go back and regrind against a 158, a low 158? I wouldn't. You couldn't pay me. Well, you could pay me. <laughs> you could. Not I bet you me. could. Yeah. But not but right I get now. What you You're mean. not doing it. I get what you mean. So one has to wonder not just what the end of this tournament is going to look like, but what the future of professional new game is going to be. If we look back at this run in a year, are we going to have shaved off an insane amount of time or will it have gone from like a 158 to maybe a 155? Hard to say. It'll depend for me on if people find more skips like the out of bounds that was already discovered immediately. It will depend to me on if people find those. I think that is what will decide the, sure. that's what will dictate the, the time notation of the run in the future. But who knows? You never know. We'll see. Now, Orchlon right now is running through his last little batch of Novista doors before we hit up our boy Krauser. This segment, just like every single encounter with an enemy is not guaranteed free or safe. You can no, get clipped. The bugs. They can bug you a little bit. And they that's ammo and resources. That's health you don't want to spend. And this guy known... is chucking them shotgun shells. <clears throat> Bugs are known to bug. They are known to do that. Honestly, if bugs were this big in my area, we're, like over here in Las Vegas, we don't have to deal with stuff like this. We mainly have to deal with like scorpions. They're about yay big. I'm not I'm not shooting them directly. I, I yeah. could, but I'm not going to. But well, I live well, in I'm, Australia. Whew. I'm from Georgia and we have roaches that fly. So that, that's, um, yeah. that's fun. Yeah, I, but we, I, we try I, to we try to soften it by calling them palmetto bugs. But I'm like, come on, they're roaches that fly. Just just call it what it is. They're they're gonna call they're gonna be called pieces by the time I, I run into one. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm carrying a nine millimeter everywhere I go. All right, we are zoomed in on Orchlon now, who is the leader of the pack right now. Ooh, got by the Novies after the minecart. I think unless oh, there's Luis right there. 
All right, there he is. The man of the hour, Mr. Red Beret himself, the guardian angel, Jack Krauser. See what happens. Fortlon did, did a knife repair, and I do believe the knife will be upgraded to max damage right before this. The big objective here is to sneak in swipes while you can, and the kicks, the kicks are what really handles it, dude. It's the Air Jordans making contact, the Butters, the Timberlands hitting hard. Ooh, took a hit right there. Down to about 40% HP. He's trying to put boots in ass right now, but he also needs to hit. Ooh, Ooh. really solid. Leon really leaned into that one. I can't he believe did. it. Oh, he's getting a good little cycle here. I'm liking this. Not the fastest thing oh, in the world. Oh, just got really swiped. Got a lot of healing, though, in that attache case. Oh, and he's cleared of it. Krauser one him. down for Orchlon. <laughs> Spicy on deck now. Orchlon will advance to Chapter 12 first. Oh, my God. This is looking like a, a, a typical British day. A man in a nice blouse getting into <laughs> knife fights. Here we go. <laughs> The dodge prompts pressed. Krauser holding his hand like, oh, I can't believe you've done this. Ooh, thankfully. Ooh, big parry segment here. Big open. Parry. This. Four parries in a row and a dodge. Now this is big hits to the knife durability. Boom. Right in the nice face. Damage right in the left ear. Ooh, he came in for so many quick stabs there. Ow. Clean, clean, clean. Spicy. The Hall of it, Fame rush down. It is no, it is no worthy. Spicy has really closed a little bit of a gap here on Orchlon, and we're gonna see what happens with Balk and QTT six. <coughs> Balk right is gonna now. go to the merchant, gonna fix up that bulletproof vest or that damage vest, and take a little train ride. Yeah, because coming up next is the clock tower. QTT though is still down in the mines. He's fighting off the former captain. Mobster style. He's even dressed for the occasion. Ooh, catches a quick one to the side of the jaw. Ugh. That's not going to do much for the dating profile, buddy. I'll keep it a buck with you. Good parries will, though. Chicks dig that kind of thing. They sure do. Ooh, a little bit of unfortunate mashing here. Terrible for the wrist health. want to let everyone know going into chapter 12 Orchlon is only ahead of spicy by one second that gap has closed up and that one second could could bleed out anywhere through a small like menuing change it could bleed out through you know going to pick up one last thing could be a missing shot anything right now could tip the balance of who takes home all of that money UTT6 oh, now advances into Chapter 12. It's Balkabasoup's <laughs> turn. He's already investing some healing pretty early he on into this. Is low on heals. Only has one full heal left and two greens in the case, it looked like. I didn't see if there was any first aid sprays. Krauser says, I taught you to knife fight better than that, rookie. No. Ooh, Not good parries, Scava. though. Ah, uh, unfortunate little bit of uh, mashing here, but I think, I don't know Crown. if you get damage out of this or not. I never looked into it. Major. What's gotten into you, Major? Oh, but you do get damage out of stabbing major. somebody in the face. That's for sure. You're a Major douche. That is a proven fact. True fact. Yeah. Ooh, also out of it. That looked pretty, pretty clean. Fight. Yep. There we go. We're yeah, all in chapter 12 man. now. Oh, Orchelon and Spicy are the two to watch right now, but... You never know what's going to happen with this boulder that comes down the steps. If it hits you, you're dead. Now, Spicy I think here. is already on the already on the bridge. Yeah, now the lift here is not for free. You have to defend this with your life. If even a single enemy touches this, one of these cultists could graze it with their toe. The lift, oh, it's too much for me. They have to stop. So accurate use, good accuracy. If a, if a skin flake from an enemy drops on that thing, it will stop. So you've got to keep them off your tail. And that's and harder to do than you'd think. There's a lot of bald headed dudes running around here and you know they don't moisturize. There you, there you go. And as a man who has dermatitis and, and, ex, and expels skin cells, it is very difficult. I can only imagine being bald with that. 
because my I hair catches a lot of it and i have a lot of hair yeah I, yeah I, I i don't i don't have a lot of hair man <laughs> <laughs> but do you have dermatitis <laughs> Yes. Oh, oh no, dude, no. I, yeah, absolutely, my guy. I I, oh. I I shake flakes like a snow globe. It's not even funny. Oh, man. I'm right there with you. I feel the pain. Really high jump All right. There. Spicy blowing up a barrel. Orchelon going up there. QTT, oh QTT going to climb a ladder on the on the side of the ladder, but still gets up there. Oh, okay. He's Fine. electing to not shoot the back of the... I'm confused as to why he didn't shoot the back of uh, Salazar's statue. Oh, well, I guess it's already over. Ooh! It said it was, it said it was beneath him, I guess. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Ooh. I'm just making noises. I'm just making grunts at this point. I mean, it's tough to grimace right now. Because you got to hope that nobody messes up this next segment. Because dying here is not fun. Losing time here is bad, but it beats the hell out of seeing the restart Wait, timer. This crossbow... While we're while we're going up, uh, Vash is going to keep an eye on this train card. But going in to chapter twelve, in fourth place, QTT six, Balk Basup in third place. There's only a fourteen second difference between them. Spicy in second place, Orchelon in first. There was only a one second difference. It is tightly packed at the top. Now, in an interesting decision here, Spicy has actually decided that he's uh, he's a man of charity. He's going to let a couple of Ganados actually touch the cart slow him down a little bit just so we can oh, line up a nice yeah, shotgun shell to the back of the dome okay, okay, okay. Fine, fine. now or do you remember that uh okay, that little golden egg that we picked up back at bach island i do yeah and the health discussion that followed yes yeah so believe it or not um golden eggs are the bane of manlets everywhere if you ever <laughs> want to get rid of one of them oh yeah look them. at that reaction <laughs> magnum bullets also they don't like no, definitely not. It's like those ads on the internet. Manlets hate this one trick. And it was a golden egg. Uh, a golden clean by Orchelon. All right. I think QTT died on the staircase. Yeah. I think I saw him have to reload at the bottom. It looks like he got crushed by a ball. Unfortunate there. That's one of the risks you take when you try to get through the cycle early. You try to save time, it might cost you a whole lot. If that is not the nature of speed running, I don't know what is. If that ball touches you, you are out of here like last year, and it did. That is a huge loss for QTT6. But that a will put a for us are these donos big thank you to horizon 2082 awesome experience all around more, love less, the suspense and the commentary that's a hundred dollars into the pot uh muchos gracias unloading magnum rounds see this would fold me like an omelet no i don't have any law files i don't know if i could take six magnum rounds before. let alone the golden egg Balk is still shooting the Red Zealot on the lift. QTT6 is on the lift now. Now for the second time. This is this is a heartbreaker, really. That was for bullshit, QTT man. to just skate by and get into the get into the top four, only to take a death here of all places, one of the yeah. worst oh, places no you could hold that. Pistols and I, I I think it was just the uh I think it was just the enemies that Ooh. killed QTT. I don't even think it was the, uh, it wasn't, oh, the I, I, was it the ball? Oh God, it was the ball. It was the ball. Yeah. Up, but it was I am so, the I, uh, there's so much action at the top between Spicy and Orchelon. It's just, it's so easy to miss something. There is a lot going on. There is top play with all of this. Speaking of missing, Bach is having a little yeah. bit of trouble hitting these shots, keeping his lift safe and secure. They keep getting Who right on it. Guy? And it is island time. Orchelon is on the island. This is going to be a Jesus. <laughs> momentous section of this run. God, yeah, Superman is on the fucking Truly, if you ladder. think that anything right now is solidified, Anytime, right now yeah. Orchlon is ahead of Spicy okay, by just 15 sightseeing? Holy seconds. Shit. Now, if you nice. think that's now a safe lead, on, welcome to professional speed running, kid. I'm Here's walking. the problem. So I much of this I'm run well. is backloaded onto the island as far as yeah. big skips and safety. You can die instantly so many times here, not just by massive waves of enemies, but by this upcoming trick here, the turret skip. 
Now, all throughout the island, there are death traps, turrets that'll get you up if you cross over into their laser line of vision. You see that there. You don't want to walk into that yourself. Beautiful. Instead, you shot enemies oh, to shit. take the fall for you. The oh, now, I don't know why Orchlon shot that guy in the I head. The cuts and You're supposed to I think he's cuts he's thinking to himself about what he what he just did. Oh, it was an instinct. Oh, so he shot the enemy in the head right before he paused the game. This is okay. huge. Uh oh. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, that enemy was not supposed to be killed. I, I don't I know what sure. happened there, but Orchlon has to reload this entire section. And look who's coming behind him. It's spicy. Spicy throws the. I think that was the grenade. Yes. Yep. Spicy do what Orchlon can't. Oh my goodness. I would be very curious to know what that sniper shot was about. I don't know if it was just instinct. He tr he tried it again. I don't. He went, I don't he, he went to he went to shoot it again. I guess maybe to shoot the gun to make something come through the door. Oh, mayhaps. But then why wouldn't he just keep things rolling? I'm uh, call me Jigsaw, baby. I'm puzzled. Oh, he's just tanking. Oh my oh, god! But the boots. The boots, the forward roundhouse. Oh, he barely skates he through. He just skimmed through point. that. Oh, oh my goodness. That, that could have been tragic. Oh, shit, he's but now that little mishap has now created a little bit of a gap and possibly a fight for third, okay, is, depending on how the rest of the island goes. Spicy, though, is leading the charge right now. Do I have enough nades for the AA hole? Breaking into the compound for the first time. We are on the quest. Oh, the Ashley's been taken way. from us. And he uses that not leaving. And uses that TMP. The, the TMP will be picked up for shots like that to blow up barrels and explosives. That is why those who pick up the TMP do. Because I didn't have a grenade, Snareverse. I didn't have a grenade, a regular grenade. So supposedly the reason that all that happened, Orchlon didn't have a grenade after all. So we had to oh. rely on a backup strat and it went awry. I was I was wondering, it's so hard to keep up with everybody's inventory. I was wondering because I saw Spicy use a grenade and Orchlon was not using a grenade. So I guess that was sort of a a second a second strategy there. He did not have any grenades. Oof. Picking up another ornate crown here. Orchlon on a little bit of a detour. Almost catches a rocket to the back for his trouble. But he's able Spicy. now to make the run. Spicy just cleared. Spicy is, a, is about to meet <clears throat> some of our new friends in this section of the game. Do you mean? Oh, I do. You do? Oh, I do. You know. Does anybody hear clapping in the distance? Just, just, just <laughs> faintly? Well, Somewhere. no, but I am eating some cake uh, right now, so uh, I don't know if that's relevant. Well, it's appropriate that we're just running past an entire bakery. <laughs> Spicy up, uh, fixing that bulletproof vest. I don't know what they call in this game. I'm used to Silent Hill 3 where they call it a bulletproof vest, even though no enemies really shoot at you. Cost? Spicy's pausing Whoa. the game right here. I guess another another emergency hand wash. Whoa. Oh, potentially. Let's take this opportunity ammo. right now to pump Magnum up ammo. the chat while we're here. You guys have been fantastic so far. Oh. And I got to tell you, listen, every single player in this tournament has been trying to get this top spot. That's what the fight is going on right now between Orchlon and the Young Spicy. Damn it. We're seeing it right now. Bach right now is risking his life walking in front of laser beams guy. that will shoot him if he crosses it wrong. Skip it now. That's his task. It's a dirty game. He's got to be the one to clean it. Let's see if he clears it. Ooh, this is tough. I don't know quite where he should be aiming on this one. Initially, I thought they... Oh, he wants him to kick into it. He's taking the blocks. He's through. Balk also did not have a grenade right there as well. Uh, this, this is now listen, bad, though. I, I, we need you to contribute to our prize pool right now. Type exclamation mark prize in the chat or click the pinned comment if you're watching on desktop. That'll take you to a page where you can help us get to our $15,000 prize pool goal. And if you do that, Every single runner that didn't qualify for round two, including the Heartbreaker Trey and your boy, Distortion 2, they'll get $375 a pop. Now, let's get them all some of this compensation for this absolute blender of a run. <laughs> yeah. 
in QTT6, there's so much action going on. QTT6 has to, had to go all the way back to the beginning of the section. I admittedly missed what happened with all the action happening up at the front. Let's see if QTT6 can get by the turret right here. Chucks there's the, the grenade. Nade. Pushes the enemy go into it. There we go. All right. Through. All right, I used to... I would get this treasure, but I'm just going to... You got to watch the island. Yeah, Things are going to happen here. It, it's, it's hard for us to even keep up with it. There's so much that is going to happen here on this last big section of the run in these last three chapters. Right now, Orchlon is currently on the run from Count Chikula. Did I just go the wrong way? <laughs> As Spicy gets jumped by Bootylicious in the freezer. Orchlon. All right, here we go. We got the key. Oh, shooting it in the leg. Okay. They will drop, but they will regenerate. Use the shotgun to shoot it in the leg. Now we're using that uh, rifle scope glitch here to make ourselves safe-ish. We'll see a little bit later that you're not perfectly protected. Your hitbox is extended back behind the wall. Now, hold on. Something's going on with Orchlon. I, I think there may be a, a forgot to turn on the power or something. Oh, it looks like he's running Something back. Something got un just rav unraveled right there and got taken down. Okay, not a huge mistake. Now, see, even his chat is not yeah, happy okay, with Okay, here we go. Wow, wow, wows. That's a mistake. I'm telling you, tournament pressure. There's a lot of money on the line. You're, you may see things you don't normally see. Now, speaking of positive us. mental attitude, his own chat is flaming him while all this is going on. And Spicy is going for the stealth kills and gets it. Gets the first oh. stealth kill. Stealth kill is going to be very important in this section that Spicy is on. Because you can get, you can just get wombo comboed. And there's another stealth kill. We're coming up to the room now with the four regenerators. And you have to find the one with the wrench in it. It's random. We'll see which one's got it. Now, any Distortion 2 fans in the chat, you need to pay big attention to this. I want to see, I want you to guys see how this can also go wrong for other people too. This is not guaranteed, all right? So the objective here, we see a wrench embedded in Bootylicious. What do we gotta there do? We gotta hit a collateral. You gotta, you gotta explode a lot of those bulbs at once. There and we go. Good. Spicy clean, and you, you, you saw distortion. You saw how quickly that can go wrong mm -hmm. and how not easy that is. If you fail to pass that accuracy check, you get swarmed. It so just happens hard. immediately on professional. So Spicy did that clean, clean, clean. Meanwhile, Orchlon just knifed his Ganado. He's still in stealth mode. Nobody's made eye contact. The station is not on alert. He gets this stab for free too. Spicy's putting his hitbox in the wall to avoid damage right here. No, While things happen, Orchelon, Orchelon is now going to go in here, get the scope, and Orchelon's going to find his wrench. thing that can go wrong here for Spicy is if TNT lands near or around him, you're taking the bombs, buddy. They don't care that you're in the wall. Oh, They'll break those Orch down, too. Orchelon, it was the fourth one that he looked at. It was the last one. And he wasn't able to set up a collateral, but he was able to get the kill really quickly. He nice kill aim. pretty quick. Hey, you want to play Valorant later? <laughs> I don't have that installed. Oh, we got to fix Let's... that. I've got Silent Hill 4, though. Oh. oh. <laughs> Not a multiplayer game. So, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. That was that was my first speed game ever. What a game to pick. Is, is the baddie in that game Eileen? Do I have that right? Yes. Oh. Big ups to Eileen. Yep. Especially that nurse outfit. Which she has costumes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. How uh, soon's your next run, buddy? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I go day you, by you, day. You didn't say anything about all that. Well, well we're here for oh, RE4. Oh, Sp oh, Spicy has gone to Chapter 14. Spicy will be our first one in Chapter 14. Orchlon right now is fighting for his life in the regenerator room. He just barely barely dodged a kill from that TNT. Picks up his level 3 key card. Now he's got to move his way back through the maze. He's dodging dynamite. Got to get by those TNT. I would have died if it wasn't for the water. And he's out. He is Ooh out. Ooh wee. I honestly thought if that would have gone off near him that it would have been death. I thought he would have been turned into a nice red mist. Powderized. So Spicy just, uh, just did another door clip to get by this entire section. If you don't do this, you have to go through an entire section with uh, yeah, with all these enemies and all this whatchamacallit action. But the door clip right there will take us all the way through. 
We're waiting on this platform to come on down. Mr. X will not be on it, thankfully. And we're just going to wait. And all of a sudden, there's Ashley. Hello, Ashley. Yeah. We're waiting on it to come down. All right. Merchant, why don't you sell shotgun ammo? Like, seriously. Heavy oh, grenades yeah. will be needed like, here. Make a fucking and I kill, think dude. Spicy will be going to a merchant. Because Krauser Part 2 is coming up soon. And you'll need a Killer 7 for that one. QTT escapes from his encounter in the freezer. But now he's got to run past this one. Expends a shotgun shell. He's a little low yeah. on reserve ammo. That's putting it nicely. If he were to reach for an extra shell, he'd bring back an empty uh. hand. Uh. Meanwhile, right. Bok thankfully is able to get his stealth kills. Bok, Bok will now be playing the game of Find the Wrench here shortly. Stealth kill on deck. Oh, QTT nice also kill. gets the stealth kill. Nice. I think we're four for four in these runs. Yes. The stealth has been on point right here. Well done by everybody. Snake would be there. It proud. is. Bok found it on the second one. Got to get oh, the collateral. Oh, that. Oh boy. I think that was two. No, there you go. No, it was not. Oh, they got it though. Clean, 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 clean. All right. Thank you, Frank man. Man, that's tense. Uh oh, we just Frank got a raid Frank. from Mister Distortion dude. Two. Yo, fail the guy. You guys are just the time for my world absolutely record. killer Another run, my guy. Thank you so Frank. much for sending your viewers over. I'll be over to watch later, my guy. Like we have too much. We have too. Do we have too many? Welcome heavy raiders. Mates? Good to have you here. Yeah, I can't even use these for anything. Maybe Krauser. Yeah, spicy. Yeah. Is it the merchant? That killer seven life. I don't know what I'm doing with all these nades. Why am I getting pushed? Making our way now. I would and there's the safety phase. Some more stories. Oh, I would be saving all oh, over this. Oh, that's a keycard yep. dispenser now. Or even. Okay, now we're in a corner. Saves are going to be very important. Now, the start of this is going to look a little goofy. Leon's going to take a couple of uh, TMP shots to the dome. That's not going to phase him, though. No, nope, he doesn't even feel it. Shots off. And the browser flashes out. Spicy's attempts at Krauser 2 typically are very, very clean. So we're going to see a bit of a clinical, hopefully a clinical attempt here. But... Again, not guaranteed. This could be a chance for Orchlon to make up some major lost time. And Bok Basoup will now join us on Chapter 14. Spicy shoots out a laser. Now Orch here is the that man. Out. Oh, missed that shot. Ooh, dodge the rocket. Oh, oh ran right into the laser. That's going to cost him some body armor. He's going to want that back. That body armor looks like it's down to about 55% on spicy. Those lasers will chew right through it. Now, I don't know. I got to believe he could have he could have shot that. This might be intentional. They may have been routed in damage. I believe. Perhaps. I believe. We will see. We'll see how it shakes out. I put nothing past He's taking the safety there. safe here as well. Yes. Right around the corner. Orchlon as well, expending an, an additional Magnum ammo. Now, see, this is a difference between Spicy's and Orch's route. He's made that whole crown so that he can fit an extra RPG purchase into the run, and he's going to use it straight up Krauser. And Spicy is crouching under those bow shots. Excuse me. Yeah, Spicy is crouching under those bow shots from Krauser. If it hits you, it will break your armor outright. But dodged by them excellently. And we've seen several runners in the first round take quite a bit of damage during the second phase of the Krauser 2 fight when he's all uh, roided up and super juiced. But, ooh, interest. Oh, it's going to put it right on top of him. He takes zero damage. That was a really good way to do that. All right, here we go. Krauser has jumped up above. Oh, there he is. He's back. Takes a wry swipe there. Not as much right help to the back. Lost. He will invest the first aid spray. All the same, though, he's heading toward the summit, the arena. By the way, all of our runners have joined us on Chapter 14 in fourth place. QTT6, Balk Basoup in third place. 
Orchelon in second and Spicy in first. And there is quite a gap now. There's about a minute and a half between Spicy and Orchelon, but there is a lot that can happen here on the island. So keep an eye on everything. Now we're going to see the Killer7 approach to this fight. We're going to be unloading on him. We're going to be kicking after three shots in order to reset that stagger timer. And the rest of the time, we're going to be playing defensively. Good dodges. Oh, Ooh, got grabbed, grab. but can knife out of it. That'll cost him a blade. And that's it. And he gets a clean kill. Very quick there. Fighting knife for his troubles as well. Some more TMP ammo and two shotgun shells on his way out. Decent little inventory here for the back half or the back section of this. Yep. Not flawless, but no. very, very clean. Took that one hit and that was it. At this Spicy point, we'll advance looking, to chapter 15. Now, this chapter right here, uh, buckle up, cowboys, because anything can happen here. This first section right here is on a little bit of a kill count, and the second section will be timed. So, but we're going to take a look at Orchelon here in his in his adventures or maybe misadventures with Krauser. We'll see what happens. Having a little bit of inventory management issues here, if I'm not mistaken. Heading up top now, he's got the army up to the arena. Now this one will be quick. Don't blink, you'll miss it. There's the rocket launcher. Orchelon uses the rocket on Krauser. Shit, my armor's so you're seeing different strategies from every runner at the top. It's not one size fits all. It is not cookie cutter. Orchelon went with the rocket launcher there, and he will uh -oh. advance to chapter 15. QTT right now seems to be struggling to make some progress upgrading his Killer 7 here. He's making some tough decisions. Looks like he's doing some mental math right now before the Krauser 2 fight. That mental math, though, has got to go quick. You're losing precious time. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know either. I honestly don't know what could have happened to his economy to where he's this hard up for cash. So slow he's selling all of his handgun ammo. And he's still not able to get a power upgrade. Oh, oh, no. Good grief. Not like this. We're having to dip into the health reserves. That's four. Four her full herbs, or full red and greens at least, down the hatch. He's selling his two first aid sprays as well just to try to keep up with the route. A storyline also to watch here talking about economy. Orchelon bought a rocket launcher for Krauser, will he have enough for Saddler at the end? Oh, you gotta hope. He made a big detour to get that crown, bud. But at the end, if we see Orchlon scratching his head, sitting there just like QTT did, we'll know something didn't go according to plan. Every second of that, it, it, it feels like a minute almost at this point. All right, we are All right, down to the last right here. 30 minutes. Once again, we need those donations coming in hot. We want to juice up this prize pool. Every runner that dropped out in the second round. Once again, your favorite Trey, your boy Distortion 2. Once again, thanks for the raid, bud. They get 375 instead of 250. Go ahead and juice it up. Exclamation point prize in the chat. I'll spice you right there. Use a heavy grenade and a regular grenade to take down that AA, uh, that AA contraption. And you need to do that to get rid of it, or else you'd have to go all the way around, I think, up a ladder, so it saves a lot of time to do that two-grenade strat. Is Orch at the end of Krauser yet, guys? And you have to be careful in this section for turrets. Oh, Spicy is paused. I think another another hand wash. He does have a little bit of hand washing buffer time, if that is what needs to be done. I don't know. Ooh. I can't see what's going on. I feel like but, that Magnum ammo shot went a little wide there, what he tried to do. I don't, yeah, I do not believe it hit. Now you can knock people off the turrets, but here's the thing. There's other enemies that can get back here. on the turret. So you're not completely safe. Got to pull these two. Oh man, you got to pull these two switches. The flash grenades are going to be very, very needed here. Going to jump over the barrier and go to the other side. Right now, he's got two flashes left in the bag. I love when he doesn't die to that strat. It's my favorite. There's one. I better hustle, I guess. Not. Oh, I don't know if that was considered thrown a little early. Ooh. Thankfully, he has one in reserve, but he's not out of the woods yet. Ooh, okay, catches pulled. a bolt for his issues, dude. Had to use a first aid spray. Got to shoot to get by. Goes over the barrier. I couldn't see if anybody got on that other turret. I don't think so. No, it's clear. Okay. 
There you go. Nice little bit of reloading. Nobody's trying to hit his ass on the way what, out. Now it's time to see if he goes finish? for duffel bag. Um, it's my understanding happens. he's trying to discern Orch's pace to see whether what or not he should even six. go for the skip. Because it may not be worth it. Yeah, if he's that far ahead, he, I think he's asking his chat. Um, from what I can tell, I can't, I'm not watching the stream, but perhaps he's getting, or the chat is at least contributing the information. But there's a lot of time here at the pause menu. That's true. Officer, I don't know if he can be getting away bad. with all that. And going and in going into this chapter, I think, let me pull it up here. I think Spicy was ahead by about a minute and a half. I would like to at least finish the now, That may be a lot of time, but depending on how many times he dies to turret two, that might not be worth it. Sometimes you just kind of got to meet yourself where you're at. Meanwhile, Orchlon like is he, meeting himself in the hell room. Looks like, did he do it? I, I don't, I, did he fall through? I wasn't looking. No, he would still be falling right now if he had I done it. he it did not. Like he yeah. did not do it. He said, just go. People are telling him, just go. He's not doing the duffel. He, he says, I'm not doing, doing the duffel glitch. Ride. Meanwhile, QTT is unloading Magnum shots into Krauser 2 quite a ways back right now. He rounds out his segment there. Bach, Yo, not too far ahead. by the way, can I just say, we just got a $1,000 prize pot contribution from Never Ooh. Walker alone. Yo, thank you for the $1,000. And Orchelon crazy. has done the duffel skip. The he got it. Let's see what happens. Now, see, if it. your mom asks why there's a hundred thousand or why there's a thousand dollar charge on the credit card, <laughs> just say you gave it to charity. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. The Resident Evil 4 speedrunning uh, brain health uh, charity. Yeah. We'll come up with a better name for that later. But it's the PMA fund. The PMA that's basically fund. what it is. Yeah. All right. Orchlon did do the duffel skip. Let's see what happens. That's going to come down to two big things. This is Orchlon's last last real hurrah, really, to get back uh, into the first place, skills, you know, shot at this. On the turret skip. Spicy right now is heading up towards turret two. He's practiced this so much. You'd think it'd be free, but there's a price tag on this one. Oh, he misses his first shot. Not looking too crispy. Second shot hits. Now he's got to position himself close to the lasers. He's not even, is he not doing it? He's not doing, he's not doing, it. doing it. Oh, that's a that's interesting. Look at that. He says safety first, kids. That This is a choice right here. Seatbelts on in the car, Durex in the wallet, always. We will see what happens. Honestly, I like it. I like the decision to play to your out in the tournament environment. And you do have you do have the option. That's the beautiful thing about the tournament. You have the option to do it whatever way you feel the best way to do. Now the tough thing here is it's going to keep him safe. It's going to get him moving. But right now, Orchlon's not taking that chance. He's smiling. He knows he's about to get devious. Here we go. He knows what's upcoming. Ooh, one Magnum took out his whole intestinal tract. He'll be feeling that one in the morning. Orch now, he's got the health, he's got the armor, he sets up. Here we go. Oh, oh, and he takes the death! Oh, he took the death! Oh! Oh, man. He says, I'll see you in fourth, kid. Go back oh, to the man. race car time. Oh, no. You are dead. Look at the respawn screen. Oh. The kill cam is still loading. Oh, no. Rabby boy's there. Absolutely brutal, but who's coming in right now? Mm -hmm. Trying to make his way into the hell room. It's Bach. What? Let's take his mic so Spicy right now is taken. He's walking. He's the tortoise crossing the, the finish line so, so safely, so surely. And you can see now why Spicy played it safe. I mean, it was, you just never really know, but here now you, you kind of know a little bit. So he didn't do the duffel bag skip. He didn't do the turret skip. And it is, uh, it is paid off. Yep. Orchlon right now, he gets a second try turret skip, provided nobody shoots him aggressively. No, he's through. The problem is he's lost his duffel bag. So he's going to take quite a bit of time loss right now. Yep. I already lost the whole bag. Should still be good for that second place finish. At least at the okay, pace things are going. You know what? I apologize. I just no, forgot. I hex spicy. He's crashing in the jet ski. 
Doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh oh. I well, I don't have anything to do with that. All right, I'm just calling it like I see it. But you know, you do what you need to do. I'll do what I need to do. And I want to thank everybody and let everybody know that our prize pot just went over fourteen thousand dollars. We just had two prize pot contributions. Never Walker alone is back. Two hundred and fourteen dollars and thirty one cents. And Halal with two hundred and fifteen dollars. Halal said good luck to all the runners and thanks so much for the brilliant commentary. Oh, well, thank you. That's very nice of you. Thank you. And it's very nice of all of you. Let's get this thing to 15K. We're only seven hundred and eighty five dollars away from 15k make sure all these runners get a as Alice. big of a piece of the pie as yeah. they can no she drives a uh, lexus they're all gonna be Alice. needing an ooh Jesus. shots to the guys. back right now for qtt trying oh, to get his way out of there it's a 12 year old meanwhile bach does complete his duffel skip as to whether or not it'll be honored only capcom knows we will see because <clears throat> it is random and, uh, anyways it's, it's not it's not I really from what i understand it's not a okay. guarantee sometimes okay. it just won't work Supposedly, it's more consistent on 60 the FPS, but ah. it was not allowed for the tournament. It was not allowed. They did not make one more FPS change That's concession the before the eve of the tournament. Village. So best of luck to Bach there on his duffel bag. Meanwhile, QTT also getting his duffel bag set up correct. Let's go. But now this is just the first part. Now you got to survive the real gauntlet. Roll that dice, baby. Hope you get a 20. It's time for turret two for Bach and QTT. Oh, wait, I accidentally clicked split for West Crash. Oh, man. Also, wait, what a crazy, crazy tournament we've had so far, huh, Nick? You said it. You said it. That that first round was was yeah, wild. It was heartbreaking. <laughs> only, only with Resident Evil 4 speedrunning. That's true. If this had happened in uh, Silent Hill, or, well... Actually, I don't know about that. Do we have like a lot of uh, homegrown people that we really like in Silent Hill? Would people be looking at like someone getting robbed in your community and cry like they did for Trey? Not too well, sure. Well, I remember uh, um, one time I was on a world anyway. record pace on Silent Hill Downpour, and that that run takes about two and a half hours, and I was like two hours and ten minutes in, and my game crashed. So that was pretty heartbreaking. <laughs> okay, be nice, fellas. God. Yeah. Yay. That's about all I can think of in terms they of heartbreak. Were nice. We're looking at Bok Basoup right now. Bullshit part. He's going for the turret skip. He's saddling up to it. What is he laughing now, at? Now, even though the setups are fairly consistent, the results are not always guaranteed. I don't know if he's close enough to it. He gets hit, and he's there able to get go. through! He got it. He got it. Balk Bazoop got it. Meanwhile, action oh. now on QTT to make his attempt at it. <laughs> As of right now, we're waiting for the setup. Spicy leads with a 158.32 at the end of chapter 15. Orchlon, two minutes behind with a two hour 37. Oh, oh, and another. Oh, that, wait that, a minute. That, He's that, not out that, of the woods that, yet. That, 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 An that, urban of fish. Well garnished. Season to perfection. <laughs> that gets him back up to full health after his turret to QTT making his way downtown. Meanwhile, Spicy walking in. Having words with Saddler. Bach thankfully does get his duffel bag set up committed. It's honored. Spicy's got to wait for the rocket launcher. There it is. And... Saddler down. Oh, but he's not alone. Although the... The IGT is like quite far apart. Orchlon now is also getting ready for his time on the stage. This will be the first time no I Magnum in the inventory. The He's going to be waiting for Ada to drop off the uh, the, the 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 so ticket home, so to speak. That's how that's how sharp the run was. Spicy, I do believe we were. I was so focused on um on the other ones that Spicy, I do believe, ran out of ammo and had to wait for the rocket launcher and just had a comfortable buffer time to wait on that. I mean, we'll at the very least, happens. if you don't get the Magnum shots off, Ada always comes through clutch. It is jet ski time. Now, this still isn't free. You're not safe here. You're on the boat, but I've been hexing you the whole time. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I, I just want to say I have nothing to do with that. I'm just, uh, 
I'm just I'm watching. Just say, I, I've got, <laughs> got is, I've got everybody's. I've had the entire run. I've had all of their Twitch URLs and their PayPal link just in a little <laughs> circle. Made sacrifices to it. Been sprinkling cayenne pepper. Don't worry about do, it. Like the old sumo wrestlers, did you throw sh salt over your shoulder? Or maybe to reverse, if you want to have negative energy, you bring the salt back over your shoulder. You know, maybe that's what he's been taking. Spicy's been doing all these pauses for. Hand washing is just a meme. He's just trying Throwing to cleanse himself of the bad energy. Yep, the salt over the shoulders. Mm -hmm. All right, spicy. Let's see what it. let's see what happens. This this could be it right here. Doing some flips, doing the flip. There's uh, there's some fire, some explosions. Looks pretty clean thus far. Nothing at risk of hitting him yet. Nothing Not but yet. raw user error is going to keep him from taking this tournament. No Side one's told flip. me how to do flips. Do you know how to do that? I have no I idea. I have no clue. I didn't even know you could until this tournament. Can someone tell me how to do that? I have no clue. It looks cool, though. I thought it was a mod for a second. Backflip. Man, Wade Lon is now getting on his jet ski. Looking right now Ooh, out over the right side. Staying to the right. It's looking pretty clean and clear. See the daylight. Done and dusted. I think I see first place. And he's and there good. Is it, dude. Spicy wins it. I don't, I don't, I can't, I don't. Two even, hours, I, three minutes, 48 seconds on the Probably button. Sick. Spicy takes first place twice. Yeah, you want to talk about consistency? Sick. Give me your money. That's Spicy, not everybody else who qualified for this tournament. That's him to waifu sick. right now. Hard fought, well earned. Enjoy your cutscene, Ashley. It's beautiful. We actually did it. Also, just want to let everybody know real quick, the uh, the donations will be open for 30 minutes after the tournament. And we're about $750 away from 15K. And if we get 15K, every runner from fifth to eighth place will get $375 instead of 250. Now, so let's see, get to 15K. Enigma, I think there's somebody waiting for you in the donation queue. You know how to pronounce the name, I do not. Ah, yes. Oh, do I ever? <laughs> Rodion <laughs> Konek, $1,000. It's now at $15,000. Oh, yeah. There we go. Claps in the chat, everybody. That's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. Thank you so much. Everybody. Unbelievable. All of you are incredible. The runners, the viewers, the prize pot contributors, the organizers. This has been one hype Saturday. It absolutely has been. These runs have been simply incredible. They've been heart-stopping to watch at so but many I, I, intervals. Bok Basup now getting ready to board his here. jet ski. No, no, no. Oh, man. man. And that, that means over. now, Game's since we got over. it over to 15K, Game's that our, our contestants that oh, didn't make it to the finals, dude, they will oh now God. be receiving $375 for their participation. It's so good when everybody gets something. And oh. all eight of these oh, runners have provided us some unbelievable entertainment this like, evening. So uh, it's it's and wonderful that everybody came together for this the way they did. And everybody coming together, thank you so much again. Coming back. He says, I'm not done giving you money yet. Never Walker alone. $700, $49, 31 cents. Roll it all up into a donation. He says, 16K. Let's go. True. I appreciate you, buddy. I appreciate you, Enigma. This is awesome. You can Bash, I appreciate you. We did this thing two years ago. And I mm. thought we were pretty good. And we came back together two years later. No prep, no real warm up. And I thought this was I thought this was even better. This was fantastic. I had a wonderful time. Yo, oh my goodness. Never Walker Alone is back in the chat. Seven hundred and forty nine dollars and thirty one cents. The pot is now at sixteen thousand dollars. Oh, oh my goodness gracious! Thank you, you everybody. What can you say? The money is good. 
paying out everybody. Now, see, this is nothing to you and I, Eternal Enigma. It's my understanding you and I are getting $120,000 a piece for our <laughs> Yeah, right. The same cost as a rocket launcher on a professional. It's actually 160000 Well, I'm going to need every dollar of that so I can hit five foot eleven. okay? I'm just saying. <laughs> just well, saying. Just making a note. Much appreciated. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know you appreciate it. <laughs> Bach here. Bach the soup. There he is. 206.50. 206.50. <laughs> You know, for not being a reset run, there's no reason to be upset about that. Like, honestly, for has for how hard everybody had to try to get into the low two-hour segments, right? There was a time when you thought you were safe in this... <laughs> what, 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 what I'm so I think Orchelon was looking up computer parts already on his screen. <laughs> I'm telling you, this, you only see it here. He's already looking at motherboards, I think. <laughs> Damn, he said, I, I'm getting how much money? <laughs> oh, man. And QTT6. Bam, there it is. 208.51. Hoo, <laughs> wee, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. Unbelievable. So just to recap, QTT, six, finishing in fourth place, two hours, eight minutes, 51 seconds. Balkaba Soup finishes third place, two hours, six minutes, 50 seconds. Orchelon finishes second place, two hours, five minutes, and 43 seconds. And the winner, Spicy, two hours, three minutes, and 48 seconds. Spicy finished first place in both rounds today. Unbelievable. The back-to-back, -back, the two-time champion. What do you even say to that, man? Just the hard work paid off. It did. And all, like, all these all these folks worked very hard uh, this week just to even qualify. There was a lot of work put in. Like the consistency of practice. Honestly, I think the predictions were, were dead on at least as far as I was concerned, right? Orchlon puts in tons and tons and tons of time, nonstop, several days worth of just raw practice and getting runs in and learning how the game works. Spicy, streaming nonstop since the game came out, competed back to back, consistently took world records off of Distortion 2, one of the most legendary and dedicated and consistent new game speedrunners on Twitch today. It was an all-star cast. And even hailing from Taiwan, we had QTT come through who consistently performed out of his mind over the course of the tournament qualifier and the tournament itself. You know, it does take a lot of positive mental attitude to be able to come back from mishaps, which QTT had a lot of in the first round and had again in the second round. He stayed in it and he still turned in a good performance. Same thing with Bach. This guy qualified in eighth place. And here he is. He's here watching from Grand Finals, beating out Distortion 2, who everybody thought, well, a lot of people thought, was going to take the W, beating out Zeke, beating out Trey, everyone's fan favorite that got bent over the table throughout the whole run, undeservedly, yes. might I add. Heartbreaker. It's Absolute just a, heartbreaker. Just the way it goes. Also, real quick, you know, I love to keep track of these type of things and let you know what your hype goes back into. Our prize pot right now is at $16,048.07. So as of right now, the pot is still open, but here's how it all shakes down. I just want to let you know what all of our contestants competed for today. Finishing in fourth place, QTT6 has won $1,504.80. Finishing in third place, these are US dollars, by the way, Finishing in third place, Balkaba Soup has won $2,257.21. Second place, Orchelon, already looking up those motherboards, getting paid $4,514.42. And our winner, Spicy, first place, $6,771.63. You all made this happen with your hype prize pot contributions that you are all incredible. I just want to say you have made this worth everybody's while who participated today. 
Oh, man. One of the biggest payouts you've seen in any tournament on Twitch. Well, not counting like Dota tournaments. We're not esports, you know what I'm saying? But as far as speedrun is concerned, that's true. Well, for casting, of course, I'm saying $200,000 in appearance fees. Sure, sure. yeah. But, you know, for, for runners who put in so much time and so much effort into learning these games, for them to have opportunities like this when a game is hot off the press is arguably the most fun time you could ever have learning a game and grinding it is when it just comes out and when there's so much room for improvement. For everybody to have put in so much they deserve every dollar of this and so much more. And I can only thank you watching and everybody who contributed to make this prize pool what it was. And I just want to say a uh, special shout outs to Spicy as well. He is having quite a five day period. Uh, not only did he just win a payout up to $67, $7,100, he also became a Twitch partner five days ago. So everything is turning up quite well for spicy absolutely it's probably one of the best openings to a game he's ever had easily um you know just it goes without saying like this here's the thing about this this tournament was about just more than money right like going back and forth with distortion over who has the world record for spicy to get the first sub two and then to get bopped again just the night before the eve of tournament start Yep. The only Turns question it is, all upside down. Exactly. The only question is, is who the hell wants to keep grinding this category? It's going to be interesting to see. It's keeping up with the community to see who keeps on this category. What's up, you guys? How's it going? Are you on? Are you live? Yeah, I'm live. What's up, everybody? Oh, you're with us now. Okay, all right. Hello, the waifu. Young waifu. If the you guys man don't know behind me. it all today. <laughs> yeah, if you guys don't know me, I'm waifu. I put together this whole thing, but definitely not um, only myself. Is also humongous help from my uh, assistant tournament organizer, Oten or Chicken. He's a legend. Me and him probably put together like you know ten people's worth of work it, and by ourselves to do this event and. Really big time crunch on it and stuff, but I was really happy that we were able to put it out so much. And thanks again to uh, Joey, who runs the run.gg. Um, I really wanted to do an open qualifier this time around instead of an invitational like I did for Village. And it would not have been possible without his platform and his direct help. He was in Discord with us all the time, on call the whole time, uh, getting us anything we need, helping us with uh, the open qualifier and all that stuff. And I just want to thank you guys so much for coming out and supporting. $16,000 is absolutely insane. Um, I definitely couldn't do a prize pool like that by myself. I threw in as much as I could. It's about two grand, but you guys just totally blew it out of the water and put it all the way to 16, which is absolutely insane. I also want to thank everyone for participating, all the runners and stuff. I know that it was stressful with the open qualifier and all that stuff, but I feel like it uh, was the best choice to give the best possible showing and give everyone a chance to do it. Because that's why I, I do stuff like this. I, I love having community events like Games Done Quick and and tournaments and all sorts of stuff. It really brings the community back together and it's like just a really great time. And me particularly, I owe most of my content creation career to specifically the Twitch Rivals tournament for RE2 Remake that happened many years ago now. As uh, I couldn't afford to buy a PC um, that was good for streaming. And uh, I was running that game at the time, and I got invited to that tournament, and I was able to get third, and that prize money helped me buy a PC so I could actually pursue what I was doing. And I hope that the money really helps the people that got it. That's why we always try to pay out everyone that participates, at least in the, uh, in the finals, in the, in the semifinals. Um, and that's part of the reason why I'm doing an open qualifier as well. It's really... Really cool. I'm so happy with how it went. Thanks so much for supporting and helping and making it a success because we put a lot of work into it, but you never know. People could not show up or, you know, not be as supportive and all that stuff. But you guys really, really came through and I really appreciate it. If you guys have any parting words, go ahead. Man, I think you, uh, <clears throat> you took, you took the words out of everyone's mouth, but I just want to say, uh, an eternal enigma here. Uh, it was a pleasure to be invited. I know there's a lot of 
there's a lot of trust put into me because waifu, you know that I, I don't really run Resident Evil, but I am an avid follower of the community and I definitely do pay attention to everything that's going on. Speed running is a big part of my life too. It kind of helped me kind of get to where I am over in the Silent Hill speed running world. But um, I just want to say thanks to everybody who comes out and came out to enjoy this. Uh, I was amazed by the turnout. I was amazed by the prize pool contribution. And I am always, always honored to be put in a position to where I can make other people be even more hype than they are. And, or they could be on their own. It's all a, we are, it's a community effort. We're all looking to build each other up here. And um, I just, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of that. Thank you for letting me pump up everybody else. Uh, it was an absolute pleasure. And I uh, just want to say thanks. I'll never say thank you enough to everybody who appreciates anything that we're involved in. So thank you. And I got to say thank you as well. Of course, obviously, for as much of a risk as Enigma thinks that Waifu is taking on him, he took on even greater risk by bringing me onto this thing. You know, Enigma <laughs> is, is an accomplished full-time streamer who's done hosting for big events like Games Done Quick without saying, and of course, doing live events for um, wrestling, if I'm not mistaken. Me, I'm just a simple 20 viewer Andy. I'm big chilling. I could fly off the handle or I could not put any effort into this at all. But Waifu has consistently um, valued what I can do. And with me, it's all about bringing positive energy, putting smiles on people's faces, helping people understand what they're seeing so they can get behind the, uh, the runs and the efforts that all of these fantastic runners put into all the time, literally every second of this. They, they, their truly is, it's our job to make that connect for every opportunity that I get to do that. Obviously with support staff, wife who trusts and brings on to you, Trent, thank you enough. And to the viewers, thank you so much for all the, it's because of you that we get, that I yeah, thank you guys so much. It's awesome. I really also want to shout out the people that I didn't get to. So thank you, Enigma and Vash, for casting. You guys do an amazing job. Like, the just most insane casting. Better than, like, pro CS casters, honestly. It's it's crazy. Oh, thank and, you. Appreciate and, it. Um, as well as Mute D6 and Larksa, who also did, like, a really amazing job. All, all of the casters did a bunch of their own research and also learned a ton um, just for this event, which I really, really appreciate. Um, and, and thanks as well to all the helpers and the verifiers and all the staff like DTW and JAMA, Poison, Harvey, Salted Crunchy. Um, I, don't, I shouldn't have started naming names because I'm going to miss some now. I'm sorry, but like, you know who you are. I really appreciate you. Th thank you so much. Couldn't do this without you. Spartan, Spexy, um, anyone who is moderating chats, like really this is a fucking ginormous event way bigger than i thought i could ever run myself um and quite honestly i we don't really run it ourselves we just put a lot of faith in people and they're pulling through and we really really appreciate you for doing that um with that being said that's going to be it for for me um if you really enjoyed make sure to throw a follow i do speed runs as well full-time streamer and youtuber um i'm going to be running a lot of re4 remake i have been routing all achievements and that's what I'm gonna run after I take a break and hang out with my girlfriend all day Sunday because I have been so fucking busy with this tournament. Um, so I haven't been able to do any of the real life stuff that I should be doing. So I'm gonna go do that at least for a day and then I'm gonna go come back and do some all achievement runs. Um, so if you're interested in that, definitely stick around. I'm gonna raid Spicy, um, say what's up to him, congratulate him uh, for the huge win. Ginormous dub boss man. Um, shout out to as well to Dist and Ella for rating as well. It was really huge. Appreciate it. Um, shout out to everyone for participating and everyone for showing up. I love you guys. Thank you. This is amazing that we could do stuff like this. And it's all thanks to you. Spicy just stopped. Kek, wait. All right, we're rating someone else. All the right, rate orange. next. Boy, how are you going to call me a Zoomer when you just said Kek, wait? Holy yuppie, rubber ducky. This is where the stream ends. Stop talking, Vash. <laughs> 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 Go say out a horse then. Horse has gotten two, bro. Actually, what are you talking about? Man? Is this fake news? Hey, Oton. Hey, uh. Good job, dude. Thanks. That's fine. 
Chat, who's alive? Who's on? Who's not ending? Well, uh, pretty, it's a pretty broad question, bud. That was in finals. Bach? Bach is ending? Do not. Okay, what about QTT? Is he still going? Red Orch, I thought he's ending. He's been streaming for nine hours too. Maybe I don't know if he's ending. Well, this is awkward. Well, while we're waiting, any final contributions to the prize pool are more than welcome. It'll change the final payout, but in a good way. Exclamation mark prize in the chat. All the runners are ending. Okay. Let's raid somebody else then. Let's raid Frenchie. Yes, Frenchie 09, legendary RE4 classic speedrunner. Just learned new game pro. Too late for the tournament. He's washed, but say hi. He's going to be bummed. Hopefully he's there. I didn't check. Later, guys. Thanks for